Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Rebecca Reed, be quiet, please. <laughs> Rebecca Reed's in the gallery, everybody. Causing, it's because Susie's brought cakes in and they're next to Hannah in the gallery, you see. So everyone's going and going, morning, Hannah, morning. They're not going to see Hannah. Like, uh, no, it's not because they're like you. It's because you've got a box of cakes next to you. Anyway, gorgeous show coming up today. But before we do any of that, let's do the early bird. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Oh, do you know what I was going to do? I've got this big plan. Hang on a minute. Wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there. Wait there, wait there. I was going to do this. It's the early birds. And I was going to juggle the early birds. Because look, they're coming up later. Yeah, look, 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 look. They're, they're not, we're not demoing them. We've just got a few in stock. If you like that, I'll show you in a minute. Anyway, they've got to fly away now. Here's the early bird. Here's the early bird. No, I don't think I'd be very good as a child. I'd say I think I'd frighten them, wouldn't I? So it's four meters, four meters of your white cotton. I know, brilliant for your stash. Actually, brilliant for backing for quilts coming up later. So how what? How about getting a meter of that for free? So you get four meters. Pay. I can't do three. Pay for three. Twenty-two seventy-four. £22.74, 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. <gasps> Doesn't have to be backing, you can use it for fronting, can you use it for backing or fronting. Like we had this yesterday, didn't we? In, what was it, in dent and out dent. We all laughed at Hannah when she said out dent. Uh, Julie Vaughan says good morning. Trudy says good morning. Julie said making the pars pockets today. Pam Minihani says good morning. Anne says good morning. Claire says good morning. Please can you wish my beautiful daughter Zoe a happy 14th birthday. Zoe, happy 14th birthday. 
Now, don't you be a typical teenager now. 22.74, message on the bottom. Bon anniversaire to the birthday boy, love Yvette. Scott, he's not in till 12. It's Scott's not here till 12. He's having a light one, no, because he's got, he's got to take the kids to school. Then he's got to come in and do our show. He's got to do his proper day's work. Oh, hang on, it's Thursday. Don't work Thursday. It's Thursday's day off, isn't it? Then he's got to come here. Then he's on cardboard this afternoon. 22.74. Are you getting a metre for free? Metre free. Uh, Sue says good morning. Jan says good morning. She says good morning. Gorgeous, actually. Jill says good morning. Catherine says morning. Claire says thank you. You're welcome, Claire. 22 pounds and 74 pence. It's four metres. Half the stock's gone. Half the stock has gone. Oh, thanks, Kat. Half the stock is gone. 100% cotton, white back. They called it a backing bundle. You can use it for whatever you want. It's 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. That it's our, um, Rose, uh, Rose and Hubble. Yeah, Rose and Hubble core fabric. Oh, that did, you know when you say something, you think, that doesn't sound right. Oh, now I can't wait to get home to watch Married at First Sight Australia. I got home yesterday and watched the night before. I can't go on Twitter because everyone talks about it, gives it away. So I can't be doing that. But it's, it's it, people. Uh, there's nothing more fascinating than people, is it? You put putting different kind of people together. It's just incredible. 22.74. What are you laughing about? I'm worried now. Hannah's just called me cute. I'm a little bit worried because she hugged Rebecca Reed this morning. Now, Hannah doesn't do hugs. But I, the first time I hug, hugged Hannah, she just went like this. She doesn't hug, and then she's just gone like this to me. That means heart, I think. She's a bit worried about her boyfriend because he's got to do a presentation at work and he hadn't washed his uniform last night. 22.74. Is he gone to, has he gone to work with it damp this morning then? Oh, that had the heat it on. It, was, it wasn't even, oh yes, it was cold last night. It was free. Oh, yes, I had to, that's why I was a bit late this morning. Not that anyone would notice, I was still first in. I had to scrape my car this morning. Yeah. No, my phone said it was, uh, it was about, going to be about eight degrees. You don't get frost or ice at eight degrees, do you? There's something going on in this world, isn't there? 2274. Yeah, <laughs> Hannah just thought she was freezing. Uh, good morning, John. Love your shirt, says Catherine. Thank you. Beck says good morning. All low says morning. You missed me. I missed you where? What, when you... Oh, there you go, up there. From sunny Stratford. From sunny Stratford. Only 15 of these left now. Only 15 left. Sorry, Lo, I didn't see it. Can't see everything. So much to do, a sad old life. I had a very important, remember yesterday I said to you, I've got to rush off to go to my Zoom meeting. Got back there, there was a message, canceled. Canceled, no explanation, just canceled. I know, 2274, two things happened yesterday and I was like, this is just not right. It's not right. I know, I'll be fine. Marilyn says morning. Oh, I love your name, Marilyn. Loads of you there, loads of Now, if everyone checks out, they're gone. If everybody checks out there, it's gone. Now, don't, don't blame me. Don't blame me when we come to do this later and Susie says, oh, some white fabric would be lovely to do a backing on that. Don't blame me if you haven't bought this because you've just got, you've just got four metres for the price of three metres. You won't need four metres for that. You don't need a couple of metres for that. But even, one, I think you need, I need one and a half to back that actually. But, um, don't blame me. Don't come crying to me when you've missed out. Right, I'll put that there. Shall we look at today's menu? Because I've got to be very butch now while, you do, while you're reading this. Miss it, miss out quilts. Now, if you go, oh, thank you. If you got the email last night, it said that there were quilting tools there. It's because they had to have a mis me me we had to mess everything around because Scott wouldn't do eight o'clock because he had to do the school runs. So we had to move everything around. So we've got miss it, miss out quilts this hour. Then we've got the log cabin quilt with Susie Duncan. There it is. Oh, I say, that's a funny angle. Is that you, Bruce, standing on a stepladder? Oh, it's Bruce's back garden. He took it home yesterday. Doesn't it look different when you look at it from a distance? I haven't known. Oh, it's because we've got it hanging a different way. That's why. We've got it hanging a different way to that. Uh, what the little plant pots? Anyway, Amber makes birdhouse peg bag and doorstop with Rebecca Reed. So we've got... 
there's the door stop we've got it in uh, now it's in uh, lavender house or bluebell house we've got the peg bag in lavender house and bluebell house aren't they lovely I don't know why people... I've got a peg bag at the bottom of my stairs for my receipts. So, uh, Crazy Lorraine made me. Then moving on to Sunshine and Showers duo kit with Susie Duncan. There you go. Lovely. You get a free template in there. Umbrella. Sunshine. Sunshine on a rainy day. That's what we could have sung for that one, isn't it? Then at 12 o'clock, Scott's here. I wonder how old he is. Should we have a guess? Should we have a comp... You think 62? Oh, 52. I said 47, didn't I, yesterday? We'll ask him when he comes in. Anyway, 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 it's happy with it. So basically, you've got manager's deals for an hour. Manager's deals for an hour at 12 o'clock. Oh, no. So uh, there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by email. Studio, oh, no. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. The second way is on Facebook Live, which ones I've been shouting out. Margaret says, morning, John and team. Love the Amber Makes Birds. Oh, yeah, there's only a few of those birds. We're not making those today. Good morning, my lovely, says Sharon. I'm off for a swim now, and I'm taping the show to catch up later. Hope I don't miss out on too much. We don't miss out, Sharon, because I'll show you how to go to pre-order in a minute. Morning from sunny Barnoldswick, says Hillary. Sharon says, morning, sunny in Wakefield. Laurie says, John, you make my day by putting a smile on my face. You need to get out. Out more lorry uh, i could have had come have cocktails with you low but i was very busy yesterday it wasn't, it wasn't the only thing i was rushing home for yesterday uh sanchez morning jog glory sunshine up in glasgow viv says uh stratford oh she's in east end viv's in the east end of stratford right the third way is oh blue tits there's bertie blue tits there's only five left i don't think we've got a picture of that i'll show you that in a minute anyway uh, uh, email, uh, yeah, not email, uh, website, website, website. Here's the website, and Hannah presses on this. Press on, watch the show live. Oh, now, there's a special web deal for Scott's birthday. You need to see that. You'll have got the email last night. Anyway, see the what box on the right-hand side there? You write your message there, and they come on the bottom later. Then, if you scroll down the page, there will be two columns in a minute. There's only one at the moment. The, oh, a burly bird, burly bird. That burly bird, that burly chassis, has sold out. Here's everything in this hour. Now, some of these will get crashed. Some of them will be crashed. So if you check out now, because you've got to go out shopping or swim in like Sharon, some of these will get crashed during the first hour. What sold out? Oh, Love Confessions are sold out. Oh, is that that lovely pinky one? Oh, I love that one. Anyway. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, hang on. Can we can I have it on the big screen, please, Bruce? So uh, there you go. There's Su Susie's uh, bundle. Because it's made with a jelly roll and a piece of fabric. And then log cabins and rotary cutters and clips back in stock. 100 for 14 99 Then we've got, oh, there's the birdhouse uh, as the um, peg bag. Then we've got the... Um, now, there is a bundle where you can buy... Oh, hang on, where is it gone? I've lost it now. There was a bunch. No, hang on, where is it? Doorstop and peg bag. There you go. You can buy the doorstop and the peg bag there in both colourways if you wanted to. Uh, what else? There's, oh, no, 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 Bertie the blue tit. There's only five left. There's only five. I don't know. I've got him on the table, but I don't need him on the table now. Five of those left. Oh, Bonder Web sold out. That's a good start. The little one, the big one will still be there. There's Susie's second hour pattern and uh, on its own and then uh, bundles. Little ruler, oh, there you go. Um, and then, uh, is that it? Oh no, now, it's 12 o'clock. There you go, now these are Scott special deals, but they are not necessary. Oh, that one will be, because that's too low as it is already. Some of them will be crashed. Some of them will be crashed for birthday deals. Oh, he's got the hemline gold in his hour. That's moved. That's jumped. That's supposed to be in Rebecca Reed's hour, that one. Right, back to me. Back to the quilts. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So these are quilt kits that you will love. Miss it, miss out. Where Now, uh, Hayley's told me to say, miss it, miss out quilt kits. If you don't understand the reasoning behind it, it's because if you miss it, you'll miss out. Because it's one or two in stock, that's all. Just so you know. Yeah, Hannah needed that explained to her because she didn't really understand. So where am I going next then? William Morris, Azure Astra. Now, 
There is anyone now, this one, I only had one of these the other day and it sold out. So whoever bought it obviously didn't check out their basket because it's definitely sold out the other day. £100 off that price tag. I know, I know, I know. And it's on split pay. $199.99. Uh, yeah, $199.99. Three split pay of $66.66. I'm not going to open it because you're going to get this one. But it has the most beautiful William Morris fabrics in it. All blues. Beautiful. Gorgeous design. Um, it's got 13 fabrics over nine and a half meters plus your instructions in there. Stunning. Absolutely beautiful. 199.99. Three split payments of 66. Or oh, what's the finish size? 142 by 172. Is there it in the graphics? Only one of these because that's it. Miss it, miss out quilt kits. Gorgeous. Oh no, keep going through that now. There's lots of you there, but nobody's checked out yet. All it takes is one of you to check out and this one's gone. Ah, oh, absolutely beautiful, beautiful fabrics and stunning design. You've got a bit of Strawberry Thief in there. You've got my favourite ever William Morris fabric in there. Then you've got the Tiles fabric in there. Come on! And all it takes to get yeah, the seven people got it in their baskets. <laughs> um, £199. Now, uh, Beck Shree's just come in and asked for a stepladder. We have no idea what she wants it for. We're just giving it to her. Okay, there's nine of you got it in your baskets and no one's checked out. Is there an issue? Is there an issue with the web? We'll take that, we'll keep an eye on that one. We'll keep an eye on that one for you. Oh yeah, it's fine, it's fine, fine. Next. Be a star, be a star. All the world loves a star. Uh, I'll just have to wait to show you this because Kat's just had to go and get some step ladders for Rebecca Reed. Oh, that's Rebecca Reed falling off the step ladder. Uh, now, this one was $219.99. This is your price, $179.99. Now, I've only got how many available on the show today? Okay, I've got limited, limited. It's miss it, miss out. It's miss it, miss out. That's on the show. Now, this could be one that they have on the web as well. So if, you, if I tell you it's sold out today, I might send you towards the web later. So, it's William Morris Be A Star Quilt. It's, it's huge. It's 215 but Oh, do you want me to move these, actually? Don't. That can get you a better picture. Oh, there you go. That better picture for Bruce there. There you go. Gorgeous. Now, uh, we've not demoed that one, but Emma Bradford did the um, K Facet version, Sol, didn't she, in the K Facet fabrics during birthday week. I think it was something like the 26th of February, something like that. But 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 that's the day that she did that's the day that she did Sol. It's exactly the same as Sol. There are eight Y seams on it. That's all the rest of it is you just cut strips. You just cut strips and then you cut them on a 45 degree angle and then you just sew the strips together to create that brilliant Lone Star design. 179.99 It was 219, I think that one. Let me, I'm just going to go into, push these across there so I might ruin Kat's shot there. Because I'm just going to show you inside this one. Beautiful, it's so heavy this box, hang on. 11 metres of fabric in here, of 11 metres. There you go. So this is what I was saying about, you just sew strips together. And then you cut it on a 45, I think it's 45 degree angle anyway, and then that cuts your strips. And then you sew them together and you make eight of those. Then you sew two together and two together, two together, two together, making quarters. Then you sew one of the twos to one of the twos to make a half. And, that, and there's just eight Y seams in it. Here's the gorgeous fabric. Oh, beautiful, beautiful fabric. Look, stunning. 
Then you've got your Michaelmas daisy there in the cream. You've got that, so you get a lot of that one, look. That, oh, that, this is the one you cut your big squares and triangles out of at the top and the bottom of it. Then you've got your uh, bow or leaves. I can't remember what that one's called. Is it called willow bow, that one? Then you've got that beautiful, oh, lovely. Then you've got Br'er Rabbit. Is that Br'er Rabbit? Yeah, Br'er Rabbit. Yeah, we all know that one now, don't we? It's, it's uh, Baff Baffer's favourite William Morris fabric, that one. This is gorgeous, isn't it, as well? Willow Bows, we were right, we were right. Willow Bows. Or was that Roy with the ruler? Then you've got acorns. Then you've got that lovely purpley colour there. It's stunning, isn't it? So much fabric. Message on my bottom. Morning, John. Just ordered the lavender peg bag. It looks fabulous. Watching Sew Street while I was making summer dresses for my granddaughters. Loving the show from Anne in West Yorkshire. Do you know what? I love West Yorkshire. The one of the most beautiful counties I've ever been to. Because I went to college there. My first college was there. But also I used to go up and um, interview people when I was on this morning. I used to interview the Emmerdale people. And just going up there was just stunning, wasn't it? This kit's 179.99. Stephanie says, morning, up early, laundry day. Got your newsletter, thank you. June, slipped a disc yesterday. Propped up on sofa. Oh, June, get better soon. How on earth did you do that? J yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, no, they're here. They're here. Um, oh, Roy, they're here. I think that's them, isn't it, then? Lynn to it says, beautiful morning here today. Adele says, good morning, John and team. Gloriously sunny in Skipton. Uh, who else? Tracy's in. Good morning, John. Sunny Lincolnshire. Beautiful. Keep going through for that, though. Keep going through. Beautiful. Right. 179.99. Make sure you check out on that one. Make sure you check out. I'll just wait for Hannah to tell me which one to go next. Yeah. Can I tell you which one's next? Oh, you know the first blue, William Morris? Nine people have got it. Right. There must be an issue because there's nine people got in their baskets. 14 people got in their baskets now. 14 people got this one in their baskets now. And there's only one. Don't get, what do we used to call it as rocks go? one itis, thinking, well, I won't get it. I won't get it. 14 in baskets and nobody's checked out. Yeah, ring the customer service. If you are having issues, or let me know. Not that I can do anything about it. Really, it's, a call, it's a free phone number. 0800 001 4433. They're upstairs. They're upstairs now waiting for your call. That's weird, isn't it? 14 in baskets and no one's checked out. Right, moving on. Oh, checkerboard of checkerboards. Right, now this cave, look, this appears, you don't get this book, but I just want to show you, it appears on the front of his, uh, is this his most, no, he's had another book since then, hasn't he? He had the, oh, it's gone. It was up there yesterday. But anyway, this one first, checkerboard of checkerboards. Now this is fantastic, because this is easy, this one. It's big, it's absolutely enormous, but they're just nine patches, look. Really easy nine patches in there. Oh, 199 is your price? No, it's not. 179 pounds. 179 pounds that's 218 by 218 which makes it even bigger than that sole that's hanging up in between us there and that's enormous uh how many of these have got only two of these left now miss it miss out two left two left two left i think i've got the idea now 179.99. No, Hannah's still confused. It's fine. Nobody watching this Thursday. They all got the day off, haven't they? So, Scott, so Scott's going to come in on his birthday. It's his actual birthday today. And there's nobody here because everyone takes Thursdays off. Ah, oh, 
Did we did they send you the cake or any balloons or anything? Or any set decoration? Oh, oh, the set decoration's just arrived, apparently. It's huge, apparently. It's massive. Let me just go and open the box and see if I can find it. Oh, my word. They've really gone to town. I, can, I can't. I don't think I can manage on my own. Look. He's going to remember this, isn't he? Unless I'm supposed to just wear it like this. That, like that, you know. Oh, like my Thai calendar. Do you remember? Like that. That's it. That's all they've done for Scott. Now I'm putting it under here in case we all panic later and can't find it. Anyway, check out, check out on your checkerboard of checkerboards. Yeah, of course I'm. Well, wait, there's only two of those left. Only two of those left if you want that one. No, and then I've got the other one. The other cave one. This is gorgeous. Now I don't remember even seeing this one. Or do, no, I do. I do. I tell a lie. I tell a lie. Uh, right, how many of these have I got? Limited, 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 limited. Well, it's finished. I keep saying that, it's missing miss out, isn't it? So, 149 99. that's a good price. That's your price, but, 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 you get this for free. That's right, isn't it? You get the book for free with this one. This must have been a special one for birthday or something like that, mustn't it? Oh, okay. K Facet Vintage Library, 169 by 184 with a free K Facet Quilts in Wales book. The, let's, let me just show you the book to start with. Forget about the quilt, but the quilt, the, 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 look. Forget about the quilt for the time being. Look, all those quilt patterns in there. This is, you get this completely for free as a gift with it. And then the, that's the back half. And then the front half is like a coffee table book. Look. It's where they run into a castle in Wales and they throw a quilt up or stand there with a quilt in front of a very important painting. Take a picture and run. Oh, look, it's the same one. Do you think they did that one as a, as a standby just in case they didn't get into the house? Beautiful, beautiful. But that's just the book. Here's the quilt. So in here, you get eight and a half metres of fabric plus your instructions. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Look at all those fabrics. Beautiful. Then that's how you make it, look. It's a medallion quilt. You start at the centre and you border, 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 border. Yes, I'm bored too. There we go. Okay, now be, please be careful. Again, we've got loads of people in the basket. This is Miss It, Miss Out, remember? Yay, guess who got the William Morris? Hubby said I wouldn't get it. Whoop, 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 happy days from Carolyn. Oh, Carolyn, you got, oh, well done. It's beautiful, beautiful. So in this one, jumble. I'm in the right place, yeah. Jumble in the yellow and the blue. Then you've got the Millifiori in the browns and in the oranges. Then you've got the Missoni-esque zigzag chevron. Then you've got the polka dots. Then you've got your shark's teeth or your bunting. Then you've got that, I never know what that one's called. It's lovely, that one, isn't it? Beautiful flowers there. It's Philip Jacobs one, that one. And then we've got that one in the purple. Oh, I can hear Hannah scrolling, scrolling, scro No, no, it's not a bad thing, just saying. Oh, look, it's cut, both of them are cut off without the name. Never mind. Then we've got a look at these leaf ones here. Oh, that's not, sorry, I lift a leaf one. It's a big flower one, that one, sorry. I could see, my eye was looking at this one, but my hands went for these two. So look, there they are. Then you've got your crisscross. Oh. Then you've got your little paperweights, your glass uh, balls. Then you've got the one that says Kaif. Can you see it? There. Then you've got your geranium leaves in the red and orange and green and pink. Then you, oh, and then this is your centre square. Oh, well, there's another leaf one. This is your centre square one here, look. Well, oh, it's a, blimey, get a lot of that. Oh, my word, that's your centre. Okay, look, that's your centre, but look how much you get. 
Morning, John and team went to a cast, went to the castle. And he has a quilt show at the moment. I know it's going around. The, it, it's, he's got a quilt show going around because he came to um, Chipping Camden recently as well. Beautiful. I wonder why you get so much. That must appear elsewhere, mustn't it? Because that can't just be for your centre square, surely. Check out, check out, check out if you want it. Free book, free book. Lovely, isn't it? All of that. 149.99. When they've gone, they've gone. I've got no more. I've got no more. I've got no more. Because I've got no more. No more. Poor Scott, not even a single balloon. Uh, oh, hang on. Who needs to... Right, Julie said they need to call the call centre. Who does, Julie? The people who've got it in their basket. Is there an issue? Julie knows there's an issue. It's gone now, it's sold. Carolyn got it. Uh, what's not tell about William Morris? Sarah Beanie, totally decorated bedroom in the Strawberry Thief uh, fabric and the wallpaper this week. It looked amazing. Sarah Beanie does that TV programme. Well, she hasn't been in Sarah Beanie's bedroom. Hannah, not everyone's like you. Yes, you do. I've heard. You've never been in mine because there's only four buses a week and you wouldn't be able to get there. Yeah. Oh, be careful, be careful, be careful with that one because it's going to go. If you want it, you need to check out. Uh, hello, John. My nanny is loving, is loving the quilts this morning. Got to go to school now from Emily. Yes, Emily, get to school. It's half past eight. You'll be late. Don't forget your coat because it's cold day and your duffel bag and you've got your PE kit and you've got your packed lunch and you've done your homework. Oh, there's so much to do when you're a 10 year old. Have you got food tech, Hannah says today? Have you got all your food? Yeah, or you go to do PE and you have to take your PE kit. Or even worse, you leave your PE kit on the bus going home. That's, I did that quite a lot. Okay, so Hannah had to do a, a, a fruit salad and her mum gave her a coconut in its shell. You could chop it open like that and use it as the bowl. I had to get a hammer. If I had a hammer. Next. Uh, be careful, be careful, because they're going to go. They're going to go and they're going to leave the building today. There's just two not checked out. That's it now for that one. Right, next. Fly with me, come fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly. It's only one of these. £249, it's Passiflora, fly with me. Anna Maria Horner. £249.99. What's your matter in, Hannah? She's going to do a spot. A spot. A Scott birthday special. She's going to do a Scott birthday special. She should be crashing to 169.99. She's taken a hundred pounds off for, to celebrate Scott's birthday. Hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Ray! Ray! Oh, just the one. Just the one. There we go. Oh, there was music as well, is there? I can't hear it. What kind of music's that? No, you haven't missed Scott June. He's not until June. June. He's not until 12. They're loving the music in there. He's not until 12. You haven't missed him. He's on at 12. We just took about 100, because that's how old he is, Hannah said. She doesn't want a job after today. How old do we reckon Scott is then? Yeah. Oh, Kat said 70. So many people are going to be fired at the end of today. So Hannah said 100. Well, she said 80 first, then she said 100. Kat said 70. Uh, no, you said 57, didn't you, in the end? What did you say? 54. Yeah, it's about £54 off wouldn't have been as good as £100 off. Loads of you there for that one. I'm not surprised £100 off. Not surprised. 
Next. Take it to the tropics. This is using the ski on, as, ha as Haley says it, or the scion, as they say it. Fabric, but Hannah knows best. Uh, Haley knows best, sorry, Hannah. Hannah knows nothing. Take it to the tropics, 176 by 207 centimeters. Now it's got all that gorgeous fabric in. It's all half square triangles, look. 149.99 is your price. Three split payments of 49.99. And how many of these have I got? <laughs> Hannah wasn't concentrating because she got a nice email from Scott. No, it only shows from I need to know. <laughs> I said, how many? Well, it's from, John. I've got one. And this is the one you're going to get. I've got one of these. Last chance, last chance, last chance. The other Jan says, morning, John, and all late today, be making cheese scones for the coffee morning. Oh, lovely. Warm cheese scones. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Susie's May does caramel. Oh, they caramel cakes with gold on the top. They're non-gluten-free. And then the gluten-free ones are carrot. Why can't I have caramel in mine? 149.99. One left. Oh, here we go. Hi, John. My hubby Neil asks, what are you on, John, to be so lively? And please say thank you to him for the challenge of buying the quilt. Oh, the challenge? Oh, I see, he told you to go. So he thought you weren't gonna get it. He said, yeah, go on, darling, buy it. And then you got it, didn't you? This is just, I'm high on life. It's not, because you watch as the show goes on, the five hours goes on, I start up here, and by the end, I'm down here. Yeah, we know that. Thanks, Hannah. It's all right. Hundred forty nine ninety nine. Sheila, it all goes to the recyclers. Hundred forty nine ninety nine. When I say recyclers, I mean cat. It all goes to cat's house. Yeah, she's disappeared a whole bathroom. Like Ben, producer Ben has decorated the whole of his downstairs toilet in um, beer mats, and then he gave up drinking halfway through. The poor people, the girls that are buying his house, right? You're going to hate, because you're not going to want beer mats on the wall, are you? I just scrape all of those off a wall. Yeah, I'd reduce the price if I was them. £149.99. Right, moving on. Now, last one in a box, and then I'll be going over to the other table. And also from Skion, or Scion. This is called breeze block. What it is, is all the outside is made up of one fabric and then all those lovely breeze blocks are made up of like, um, they're not pastels, but they're, um, uh, oh, 99.99. That's good. Very reasonable, says Bruce. Um, I don't say, dem not demure, uh, what word am I looking for? A what, pallid? Insipid, I can't say insipid on air. Muted, that's exactly the word I'm looking for, thank you. Insipid. <laughs> Morning, Jan. The Tropics Quilt is two, and then that's just all of it. The Tropics Quilt is two, and then she's not finished her sentence. Too much for her. Too good for turn down, too good to be true. Keep going through now. That's only ninety nine ninety nine. Look at the split pay. Two split payments of forty nine ninety nine. Unless you want to pass them to me, you sure? Right. Well, under that, while that stills up, I'm just going to move tables. Make sure I don't trip on the cable again. We make. We need to make Scott stand at this table here, so he trips over the cable. Not that I want to wish him any bad luck or anything, but he needs to see what hazards, I, what hazards I have to put up with while I'm here. No, no, hang on, that one's sold out there. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. That one's sold out. Right. Oh, something else is sold out. Bertie, the blue tit, has sold out. 
Oh, loads of the birdhouses have gone as well. They're flying out. The amber makes flying out. Absolutely flying out. Oh, have I? Amber makes curvy log cabin. You don't have to have a ruler for this one. You don't need a ruler for this one. So here's the instructions. How much is it? Oh, 84.99. That's good. Oh, does Rebecca Reed know that? What's she doing up? What's she doing up a step ladder? Okay, she's getting all her Amber Makes products and taking them upstairs. We've got a staircase. She doesn't need to go up a step ladder. She's going up on the outside of the building. Anyway, look, instructions. Shows you how to make the block for the bag as well. And in there you get all this lovely fabric. Oh, these are nice. I've not seen these. What are these fabrics that it say? Curvy log cabin. Oh, it doesn't say. Lynette Anderson. Lynette Anderson. Are they? Oh, yes, I can see. Oh, look. You can see where Rebecca Reed st stole the idea of the bird box from. <laughs> Inspired, not stole. Inspired. Lynette Anderson garden flower. It's beautiful, isn't it? You get 16 fat quarters. Are they the ones I'm showing you now? Lovely, aren't they? Gorgeous colours. I should have been able to guess that they were lit and in the Andersons. Yeah, because uh, Hannah was telling me it was Annie Downs. Those two in her mind are the same people. But then she also thinks that, hang on, there's two of our guests that she thinks are the same person. Yeah, Catherine right, Susie Duncan, she thinks they're the same person as well. Well, you never see them on the show together, do you? Uh, then you get two and a half metres of your beige. 74.99. Hang on. Jan says, I started the message with Morning Gorgeous. You must have only caught the tail end of it. No, because it says Morning Gorgeous, the Tropics Quilt is two. Oh, the Tropic Quilt is as well. As well as what? Oh, as well as me. Oh, I'm so confused. Are you in English? I can't do compliments now. I put a picture up of me when I was at college in 1979. Loads of people went, oh, weren't you handsome? Didn't you used to be good looking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you really? No, you didn't. <laughs> Anna just said, with a straight face, you're more attractive now, but normally old age turns her off. 74.99. How old's Steph? Thirty-three. Seventy-four, nine, ten. How old are you? Oh, thirty-one. That's nice. Just to check her birthday. Oh God. Oh, I didn't know that. In some cultures, when you're born, you'll become one the minute you're born. You're not naught to one, and then after a year you have a first birthday, you're one straight away. I didn't know that. So that made me, oh no, I don't want to move there then. Do I have to be a year older? When I'm 64. It's a song, Hannah. I think Scott's older than me anyway, isn't he? Anyway, moving on a little bit. Next, Alice Caroline. Now, have you seen on my Facebook page, I'm doing an evening Zoom with Alice Caroline next week. I think it's Thursday. Uh, yes, not Anna Sanders. Oh, no, you're not talking to her. She'll be there, she says, lurking in the background. So, yes, yeah, just me and, and uh, Alice Caroline herself on Zoom on Thursday. Go to my Facebook page or their Facebook page. You can see which one I'm doing first. Summer. Well, that's because, see this price? We don't stay at that price. Oh, to be 31 again, says Julie Vaughan. You can't be much far past 31, Julie Vaughan. Uh, anyway, 54.99. 
this is beautiful it's uh, what it is is the background is your uh, quilting weight fabric and then all the rest are your tarna lawns i'll just show you these all these Yatana lawns that you then do raw edge applique, EPP or piecing with. 54.99, it measures uh, 17 and a half by 17 and a half inches. And it's very cute. Gorgeous, lovely fabrics. Not sure when Anna's in next. We've got a great bit. We're doing a block of the monthy thing with her at the moment, aren't we? Yeah. She's now Hannah hasn't seen her for ages. $54.99. Beautiful. I've also got that one in autumnal. And I hate it when people say autumnal. There's wires swinging from the ceiling over there. Did you just walk through them, Kat? Like a bead curtain made of electrical wires. I bet they're all still switched on. Donna says, good morning. Morning, Donna. This is lovely. So you've got your uh, churn dash there. You've got your berries, your mushroom, your butterfly, your maple leaf, your turnip. Pear and acorns. Uh, I don't know what that, that one's a bear's foot, isn't it? Or is it meant to be a maple? No, that's maple. So what's that one? Anyway, mixture of piecing. That's EPP, that one. But then so is that one. Oh, is it? Oh, is it? Oh, is it? No, no, it might not be. No. That one's a plique. That one's a plique. Mix of skills, and it always looks gorgeous as well, doesn't it, when it's made? Fifty-four ninety-nine. It's 17 and a half by 17 and a half inches. You get everything you need. You get everything you need there. Apart from you don't get Bonder Web. Fifty-four ninety-nine. Don't forget that boy that did use the photocopier got the sack. <laughs> Five. Fifty-four. That's not here. That's somewhere else. Hannah and I worked. There was somebody using the photocopy machine when nobody was there to do his flyers for his other business. You see, and. Uh, the machine blocked and nobody thought anything when we came in on the monday morning it unblocked and suddenly 200 flyers all came out yeah every week beautiful um oh hang on julie vaughan's got a son just about to turn 33. oh blimey so 31 is a distant memory oh julie vaughan uh quote behind me this one wonky stars these are lovely, aren't they? So you get all of these fat quarters, uh, eight of them, bumbly bees and flowers. And then you get your cream. Oh, hang on. It's in two colorways. Then you get your cream. There you go. So that's the one. We'll make this one behind me. 46 99 Beautiful. That one is actually not pieced. That one's actually a print up. But what um, Amanda does is she always prints them up before she comes in. Huh? Yeah, no, Amanda gets those printed. Gorgeous. Missing Miss Out, single figures, remember? Single figures, the wonky stars. Quilt. There's a bit of FPP in there as well. Very simple FPP, but it's all explained in the instructions. Oh, I think at that table swallows everything, doesn't it? It had the patterns, it had a muffin, everything on it. Her second chocolate muffin of the day, everyone. And it's only 10 to 9. Youngsters. They don't realise, do they? Then we've also got that in the lovely, gorgeous pastel leaf colours. Wonky stars with your cream background there and your instructions 46.99 
demoed on the 4th of December last year. Oh, what's the matter? Morning, John. Finally home from hospital after suffering a broken hip. Oh, then complications. Wish me a speedy recovery. Missed your shows, Veronica. Oh, Veronica, you take care, my love. Oof. Broken hip. Oh, I bet that was painful. She didn't send anyone in, look, to fix the blooming papers last night, did she? Yeah. Chloe said she was... Chloe. Oh, so they came in, but they didn't fix it. What did they do to the other lights? Oh, the other studio, not our studio. Oh. No. It's because it's bleaching out the colour here, look. Waiting for the guy who is going to paint my shed, fix two slabs on the path. He'll probably turn up just as Susie starts her demo. Well, he might be watching with you. Invite him in with a, have a cup of tea and watch with him. With him, yeah. Only what if he looks handsome? <laughs> okay, what's next? The big snowflake, that's this one here, and that we've got that one in a bag, haven't we? Oh, what? Oh, wonky star instructions on their own. I'll do that quickly. Wonky star instructions on their own. Got the colour of the snowflake just in the blue. Because we had it in another colour, didn't we? And that sold out, I think. Uh, 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 wonky, wonky star goes there. Right. Um, this is a pixelated winter quilt, like a great big snowflake. Thank you, cat. Oh, there you go. Can you see it? Have you seen it? You don't get the full effect when you're holding it. One day I'll do that and I won't be here. <laughs> well, that's how I arrived, Bruce. That's how I arrived, yeah. We, they filmed the first bit the day before and the day I arrived, it was me behind her. Anyway, you get a meter of blue, a meter of blue, a meter of blue, three and a half meters of white, plus your instructions. Now, this quilt is, um, it's not difficult, Amanda says, but she, she's done it in a peculiar way. It's a bit like a, a Sudoku. But she takes you through every single stage of making it. And that's a quarter, that's a quarter of it there, you see. So block A1 is quite easy. It's a four patch, and a square and a rectangle. I think C3 gets a little bit more complicated. Oh, actually, no, it's not. Anyway, uh, 58 99 for that one. 58 pounds and 99 pence. The other colorway is sold out. However, if you'd like the pattern on its own. Oh, you want to do it in lilac and purple? I think that was one of the colorways they did, wasn't it? Lilac and purples. I said rainbow. Working out from red in the middle and like kind of exploding out into different colours. Oh no, Hannah doesn't see that. Hang on, that long green plant with a green stem, that's most of them, and then a purple flower on the top. Do you mean an orchid? Allium? member of the onion fabric a fabric family and the trouble with alliums is they're gorgeous in a vase but after a couple of days the water smells of onions doesn't it you have to keep changing the water baby no an allium from the top a bird's eye view look there you go oh yes looks like an allium Bird's eye view. 
Moving on. Now I've got the Rose Garden applique in two different colours. The orange one. No, I haven't got the sample. If you watch Sunday's show, you'll see it's on last Sunday. We did it on last Sunday. So what you get in here is you get half a metre of your gold, one metre of your ivory, half a metre of your... What colour would you call that one? Peach. It's a bit dark for a peach, I think. Anyway, then you've got two metres of your hot tomato or your paprika, and then you've got a fat quarter of your green for your leaves. Oh, it's salmon. <laughs> I don't eat salmon, you see, so I don't know these things. At uh, 39.99, now it's a mixture of applique and piecing. This is called the Road to California, the one in the corner, at uh, this block here. And then this is an applique, like a Hawaiian, Hawaiian. And then you've got all your applique bits in here, templates, not bits. You've got t templates at the back there. We've got um, Kevlar. No, it's not called Kevlar, is it? Mylar coming up later. Cat says, morning, John. This isn't one of our cats. This is Cat with pink hair. I'm going, it's a beautiful day. Oh, I'm dyeing my hair flamingo pink today. Oh, it was flamingo pink, wasn't it? Or was it more of a fuchsia pink when I met you? Anyway, $39.99. There it is. That's that colourway. Beautiful. Then we've also got it in another colourway. This colourway is rather gorgeous. Look, so you get um, a metre of your, <coughs> of your cream or your ivory, two metres of your purple, Half a metre of your magenta, half a metre of your lavender, and the green fat quarter for your leaves. That will look lovely, won't it, in the purple. I don't know what Hannah's talking about, but she's talking about putting the graphics in for a washing machine. <laughs> she thinks she's on the generation game. I, used to be, I told you this, I used to be on the generation game. As an expert, I did it three times. I had costumes from famous films and they had to guess who wore it and what film it was. Oh yeah, probably like that. It wasn't me. Right, am I finishing or am I carrying on? Got the pattern on its own for that quilt. Nine ninety nine. Yeah, just make it bigger because you'll just make more blocks. You just keep going, wouldn't you? Making more rounds. Lovely. How big is it anyway? Let me have a look. So, so if, um, from the bundle that we did, it was forty six inch square. But you can make it much bigger. But obviously, with this, you're going to supply your own fabric, aren't you? Is Susie Duncan ready? Don't know. No, she might be holding the ladder for Rebecca Reed, might she? Are you going to bed? See you in four minutes. Susie Duncan will be here doing a log cabin using jelly rolls. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. 
follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again.
Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. I'll be with you in a minute. It's very busy on the top corridor today. No, there was no, Hannah said earlier, right, we're prepping here. And she went, fancy bringing your dog into work. She was like, fancy bringing your dog into work. She went, oh no, it's the cleaner hoovering. <laughs> vacuuming, 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 because it wasn't a hoover, it was a Henry. Anyway, Susie's here, wave Susie. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. You're very welcome. Don't know why I said you're very welcome then. No. <laughs> I'm very happy, you're glad. Oh, I, I, my words aren't coming out in the right order today. No, I'm having a day like that. Yeah. And I keep dropping stuff, like cups of coffee. Have you just dropped a cup of coffee? Yes. When I left yesterday, you know I have my ginger water like this. Yeah. Normally at the end of the show this is almost empty, but yesterday I didn't fill it up until the fourth break. Oh. So I didn't drink it. I went to leave and that door bounced back on me. It tipped all down oh me gosh. and then bounced on the floor and <gasps> it sprayed like this. And all the, all the cardboard guests all just stood there going, oh dear John. I know, Charming. and then one lady who I've never met before went, oh, my mum loves you. I mean, she was, the mum must have been very, no, no, you came to help me, Hannah. Cat came to help me. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, should we do a log cabin? Let's do a log cabin yeah. on point. That doesn't mean you've got to be doing it while you're dan ba ballet dancing. It well, means I the do. blocks go on point. <laughs> and I've noticed we've hung it up a different way yes. to the way you've got it on your yeah, um, thing. Because it doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter. Right, so the Log Cabin On Point quilt is here. It's $59.99. You do get this beautiful Modar uh, oh, mini. Uh, what's the name of this? What's the name of this one? It's what? Is it Newport, isn't it? Newport. Yeah. I've got mini. mini oh, that's a name. Minnick Simpson. That must be the designer. Yeah, is that's it? the designer. And anyway, it's Newport. Plus, you get a meter of the navy blue fabric. Plus, you get Susie's instructions. Fifty nine ninety nine. Please read all of the instructions <laughs> before beginning. Oh, okay. Fifty nine ninety nine. Now, now, I had a pin show the other day. Maybe I sold them all out. Here we go. Fifty nine ninety nine. Beautiful. Now, do you, now, will I use all of this? Um, you will use all bar about five right. strips. Right. Okay. And you'll have odd snippets left over. Okay. Um, it really is a use everything. If you do the twelve inch size. Right. If which you, is the one that's behind yeah. you. If you do eight inch, then um, probably have a bit more left over. It depends how many blocks of eight inches you do. Yeah, of course. And can but you do it in six inch as well if you wanted to? If you wanted to. Because one yeah. of the rulers it is six inches. It would be half size, which would make a really nice, like, pram quilt or table runner size. Oh, hang on. So if you make it with the six inch block, you don't just make extra, extra blocks? Well, you can make extra blocks to get to this size, but um, you can also, if, you, if you're making only six inch, obviously it's going to be half the size. So which will be a table runner? Or you might want placemats instead. Yeah, exactly. You don't want a quilt, you no. want placemats. Don't make a table runner though. <laughs> All right, don't make a table runner. Uh, 59 .99, half the stocks in baskets. Loads of you there, loads of you there. So you get a metre of your blue fabric. 
Uh, you get the design roll, or I could call it a jelly roll, because it's Moda. Yes. And you get Susie's instructions. Thorough, thorough, thorough instructions. 59.99. Loads of you there. Oh, the man's on the seat. Now, Catherine said she's got a man coming to paint the shed and somebody to fix the slabs on her path. What do you bet they turn up as soon as Susie starts? They've arrived. Okay. The guy's here to paint the shed. So can watch. Oh, no. So you can watch Susie in peace. Now, why doesn't he? Why don't you invite him in? So have a cup of tea with him and you can watch it together. Yeah. Or take the telly out to the shed. Or could you send him round so he can paint my fence? <laughs> or uh, we've got a fence that needs painting in and um, a shed. Worcestershire and, she and a shed. Warwickshire. Do you live in Warwickshire? Yeah. I thought you lived in Worcestershire. No, it comes up as Worcestershire. Worcestershire I don't on know the thing, why. that's what confuses us. I'm in Warwickshire. Oh. Definitely. Oh, you're going to come for the after. You're near Roxall. Anywhere near Roxall? Wren Hall in Roxall. Okay, so no you know, idea. if you go to Hatton, you know yes. Hatton, and uh, coming away from Stratford and just keep going, you come to all the lovely little villages. Yes. There's one there called Roxall. Yes. It's ca caught next to a village with a rude name, and I can't, <laughs> I can't say it because I never get it right. And I'll offend people if I say what right. I think it is. But it's got a, a doorknob in, as, part of the, as part of the name of the village. Anyway, right. on June the 10th, we're launching a charity cook, a cake cookery, bakery cooker. And they do uh, afternoon teas in there every Sunday oh, at 2 o'clock. Oh, I will have, definitely So come on go. June the 10th. Anyway. Okay. Okay, I will. 59.99, that's the blue one. That's, go on. Okay, so a third of the stock has been checked out and then half of what's left over is in baskets. So you be careful, be careful, be careful. Okay, brilliant. Then we've also got the other colourway, which is the one you're going to see demoed. Yeah. Which is this one here. Yeah, now the blue's most popular because nobody's seen this one yet. So you will do because Susie's about to start making it. It's what, yeah really pretty what you get what you get is you get a meter of the green you get the jelly roll here which is called that's not on that what's it called grace grace plus you get the instructions 59.99 and if you're wondering what grace looks like here she is beautiful you're gonna see Susie making this but really really lovely now because obviously with a log cabin, you need to divide. I'm not going to take away from your demo, but you need to divide, don't you, you into do. dark and light. Yeah, I'll explain how I've divided this jelly roll. Yeah, because this isn't as obvious, obvious. as the blue, no, is it? it isn't. But it's no. lovely, isn't it? So you get the jelly roll, you get the metre of shutters, and you get the instructions. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> instructions on their own now do i need a ruler to do these you do need the, a log a trim, cabin, tool, trim, a trim tool. tool if okay. you haven't got one it's possible to do it just but it with makes a straight it much, ruler much but it, this just makes it brilliant quick. i'll introduce those to you in a second so this is the pattern on its own 9.99 third of the stock of these went before we even came on air Oh, I know. That's because it's hanging up the right way, I think. <laughs> also, Susie, where's this in your house, then? That's not in the house. That's in my garden. Well, I meant in your garden. Yeah. yeah. It's... Were you standing on a stepladder at the time? No. Oh. No, no, no. That's a low wall um, and a higher fence above. That. So have you put the fence into the next door neighbour's garden? Uh, no, it's their fence. Oh, okay. It's their fence. And then, oh, but it's your, but you're on the but right side. side. You've got the, you've got yeah. the nice side. And we've got that side. When I side. had to do Perfect. my fences, right? Yeah. So my garden down one side, yes. it's really, really, really long. Yeah. And then on the other side, because the garage and everything like that, yeah. it's only two things long. So the one that I have facing me is the little one, which is completely covered with bushes. And the one that faces the neighbour is the really, really long. So they got this really beautiful new fence and everything. Oh. Anyway, yeah. no, it's perfect. And then what are those in the pots there? So they normally they're, there. They're little viola that I plant up. Oh, so, and they normally sit on top so of the... So our rainbow pots. No, they don't hang because they're just annoying <laughs> and fall off. Oh, OK. And I like to see them because our barbecue stand is in front of that wall. Oh, OK. So these So there's no picture of, Mr. of Dunks there in his well, apron. he wasn't even there. No. I don't know where he was. No. I, I, he's always out and about. He's he out is. and about today, isn't he? He is. He is. Yeah. Even though he's rung. And he asked me to say happy birthday to him. It's not even his birthday. I know. Anyway, <laughs> oh, do you know what you've most probably said? You've most said it's Scott's birthday. He saw John oh, Scott's prob birthday. Yeah, probably. And that's he, why he was saying that. And I, yeah. I thought he wanted me to say happy birthday to him. Anyway, trim tools. So yes. that one up there is a 12 inch. This is, is using the, the log cabin trim tool 2, which does a 12 or a 6. Yeah. 
or finish or uh, 12 and a half or six and a half unfinished okay but yeah i think you've got the eight and a half one as well i've, okay. I've got the eight one which one so you're using this I'm one i'm using the big one yeah, yeah. i love a big block quilt oh the big quick. one's just sold out so many of you came in bought the big one now you can make it in the with the eight inch one can't you but yes. it just be a, it won't be look the same no, as that it'll be it'll be a different size you'll have a few more blocks yeah yeah so the finished size would be the same size, but instead of being yeah, big 12 inch. Yeah, you just have to do extra. Yeah. 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 It might vary a little because of the maths, but yeah. if you do 8 and 12s, yeah. yeah. There you go. There, there's your fine. eight inch log cabin trim tool. The, 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 the technique is exactly the same on Absolutely. this as it is on the other yeah, one. Yeah, it is. And the thing to do, remember, you've, you have got enough of your plane to be able to vary the size of your sashing and your borders right. to make it the size you want it to Perfect. be. Perfect. So Perfect. I would suggest you make as many blocks as you think you're going to need. Yeah. Make uh, and then work out on just by laying it on the ground yeah. the size you want. I usually use a piece of newspaper actually. Oh, do you? Um, and cut and and sellotape that the size I want. Right. Lay my blocks and then I can work out how, how much I need. Oh in wow. Yeah, that's my tip. Or you could use yesterday's early bird, which was the pattern paper, the 30 meters of pattern paper. Yeah, that would be even better actually. <laughs> anyway, this is a brilliant <laughs> one, 22.99. You do your eight inch finished, eight and a half inch, unfinished that, right? Eight, eight yes. finished, yeah. Yes. yeah. What's the matter? Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. We're going to do. We're going to do. We're going to carry on with the twelve-inch one, which you've right. done there. But if at the end we've got time to yeah, show the, the eight-inch one, we'll show, show the eight-inch one. one. But it, the, the technique problem. is exactly the same. Technique is exactly it the is. same. Yeah. The rulers are identical. They're just different sizes. Okay. So shall we? Because I've done. I've done the two bundles. I've done the pattern on its own. Done the two rulers. Don't need anything else just now, do I? Not at the moment. Make me a quilt, Susie. I don't know if I dare go over because she said this, the desk <laughs> isn't big enough for her, which was a hint to say she didn't want me over there. Well, so that? I've got these carrot cakes oh, I can eat over here if you want. Exactly. You carry yeah. on then. But don't eat the wrappers this time of the bunnies. <laughs> I thought it was gold leaf. I saw these cakes arrive this morning, didn't have my gloves on. I was like, oh, she's done posh this week. They've all got, you know, on those posh programs, they get that gold leaf and they put it on. And I said, and I just put, took one out of the box. And it's got, I said, oh, yours have got rabbits on them. And Hannah was like, they've all got rabbits on them, John. And I was like, no, no, Susie did something with gold leaf. She didn't. Go. <laughs> it was the wrappers that the others had thrown in, probably. Yeah. Okay, so um, the first thing you're going to do is organise your strips. Um, and I've given, in the pattern, I have given an indication as to how many strips of each type you'll need. As John's already said, with the Newport Jelly Roll, it's obvious your light and darks. You can organise them accordingly. What isn't obvious is when you're using Grace. And what I, the way I got round it, if I show you my finished block, is I chose to do rather than lights and darks i've gone color scheme so i've gone greens blues pinks and yellows nice so that i'll get a color scheme going on and i just it was then easier to pick those colors out. yes yeah um, and i just graduated them so i got darker with the prints you could Ooh. also would this work if you didn't want to look happy could you do your cortez steps the same way or Absolutely. could you not can you use this ruler for cortez steps you as can well? yes you and for half log <coughs> cabins as well half log oh, cabins brilliant. so if you wanted to end up with squares here and your log cabin going out you can do that oh as lovely well. so yeah you have there's plenty of flexibility you see because i think people think oh am i in a ruler it'll only do me no, a log cabin not. but actually that's three patterns straight away straight that we away said you and i do. use this ruler a lot for different things because you can it makes a m really quick cushion mm -hmm. cover as well so it's it's a good one to invest okay. in if you haven't got it so when you've opened your jelly roll yes. have you divided it into different colorways i have yes yeah. so then i label them all of course mm -hmm. um and put them in the rounds so you're going to have three rounds after your centerpiece right of um, going round the middle yeah so I then organize them into my rounds so right. it makes it really quick keep the strips whole 
because you're going to make a number of blocks and it's quicker and less fabric hungry if you keep the strips whole. Oh, okay, so you haven't said in the, in, in the instructions for round one you need a 10 no, inch, round two no. you need... And I would always recommend you leave you know, the strip on because then you're going to waste less fabric. Yeah, perfect. It's much better. And it also allows for accidents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, you're going to start... <coughs> sorry. You're right. Talk some water. Um, no, I think I'll be fine, thank okay. you. The um, beginning of it has to be a three and a half inch square, but obviously we've got two and a half inch strips, mm -hmm. so I thought I'd show you how I achieved a three <coughs> and a half inch square. So you're going to choose two of your strips that are left over once you've sorted out all your surrounding strips. So these, okay, so these aren't in the, the pink, the blue, the yellow, no, or the green. No, these are just what was left from sorting it all out. I've still got some more left, I can show you. These are all left as well. Oh, okay, but you just chose I've these I've just two. chosen these yeah. two as my centres, and I've um, just pieced them together with a quarter inch seam. Mm -hmm. Then I want, I'm gonna subcut this to three and a half inches. So I've pressed it with the seam open, so I've got, got it as flat as I can, and then I'm gonna subcut to three and a half inches, which works this way. Mm-hmm but obviously doesn't work this way. So I need to make sure that's in the centre. Half of three and a half is one and three quarters, or it was when I went to school. Mm -hmm. So I find a straight line on my ruler to line up top and bottom, because I know that's a straight edge. One and three quarter inch line is down the middle, and I can take off this right hand side. So that's waste. Or Turn it round. Susie scraps. Or Susie scraps, yes. <laughs> Actually, you'll need it for my next shows next time I'm in. Why? Because I'm doing the triangle pillow and you can use it for your stuffing. Okay. So there you go. So that's now created an exact three and a half inch square. Lovely. The next thing I would do is f with those scraps is check your sewing machine is running a true quarter of an inch seam. Right. And actually, I say a true one, you want to be just a tad under. I'll use that word scant quarter of an inch, mm -hmm. which I hate, but um, you do want to be slightly under on this. And the reason for that is this ruler is reliant on accuracy. So if you're not accurate, having it scant just gives you a bit of wiggle room. Okay. Okay, so but now... When you say scant, you don't mean any... It's a hair's breadth, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's literally... Rather than, if you've got a, a guide on your quarter inch, you know, a quarter inch foot with a guide, mm -hmm. don't rub the fabric up against the guide, bring it just short of the guide. Yeah. Um, so then you take your first strip, which in this instance is going to be a green. I'm just going to press out that centre crease. Why have you got two pressing mats? Uh, I don't know, actually. I, this is what I do at home. I don't know why I do it here. What? Two pressing mats? Yeah, I have two pressing I'll tell you why, because last time I was in, every time I put the oh, yeah. iron down, I had nowhere to put it. That's why. I knew there was logic there. So you can decide, obviously this is a two-pieced centre. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to start with my piece this way round. Does it matter which edge no, we start on? No, it really doesn't matter. Um, but what I do tend to do is to start with the non-busy piece so that's the strip at the bottom because then it's not going to catch in my feed dogs right and i'm just going to stitch my quarter of an inch so this is we're doing round one now in fact it would be even better if we'd set the machine up properly so so let's unpick those ones right what did you do well n this machine is fabulous because it remembers your, li your last stitch right okay and i Obviously, when I came in here, didn't do my last stitch, so I'm just going to remove those. Oh, look, what do you call those scissors, Hannah? Oh, she, yeah, she's got a great name for these. Well, that does now mean I'm the backwards forwards backwards forward scissors person. Yeah. yeah. Whoops, caught that. Why are these so special? Can I, sorry, I'm going to interrupt you a second. So, Why are they so special? Um, first of all, they're really sharp, uh -huh. all the way to the tip. Yeah. The tip isn't a point but it doesn't mean to say they don't get to a point. Yeah. It, but not being a point means they're not going to pierce anything in your bag or any or fabric when you use them for mm -hmm. anything else. So you can actually push out a corner. 
They've got um, this loopy handle, which is the bit that Hannah likes to call the backwards forwards, but which means that if you're left or right handed, you can still hold them and right. they work both ways. The blades are sharpened accordingly, but they are soft grip as well. So they're really easy to use. If you're doing lots of fine cutting, you've got the close hold position. If you're doing wider cuts or you've got arthritis issues or any other grip issues mm -hmm. you've got a wider position and you've still got that control over your scissors so i've they are the scissors i use all okay the time. they're the taylor seville ambidex scissors 11 pounds and 99 pence yeah. they are, right they aren't just in my bag to look pretty <coughs> so we'll reposition and start on a quarter of an inch okay <laughs> make sure it's right this time i am yes i've just double checked so we'll stitch that down And normally I would then place the next one straight, leave us at least a quarter of an inch Oh, if between. you're making all the blocks yeah. all at the same and time. And you just yeah. keep going all the way down your strip. Oh, so now are all the blocks then identical fabric placement? I do, yes. It's not, that's what I've done with yeah, mine. Okay. Because that way you waste less of your strips yeah. and it's quicker. You can assemble the quilt really okay. quickly. So now you need to press out. Sorry, John, I'm going to be in your way all the time. No. Um, and I press all my seams open for this because okay. then I'm reducing my bulk. But it is your choice. In the instructions given with the trim tool, it doesn't say, it just says press. Yeah. So you get the choice. I prefer to press open for this because I find it lies flatter okay. towards the end. Um, the other thing, because I've got a guide on, the step I now do, which isn't in the instructions, is I trim off those dog ear bits for my next round, right. because otherwise it will get caught under my guide. Mm -hmm. If you're not using a guide, you don't need to do that at okay, all. Okay, lovely. So I turn it my next piece, and we're gonna repeat that process. Now my tip for this, the piece you've just sewn should be at the bottom if it isn't, you're putting the next piece in the wrong place. Even if you're left-handed? Well, if you're left-handed, you'll be going the other way, so it will still work. At the bottom? At the bottom, yeah. So this is, and you carry on adding, and each round has four sections to mm -hmm. it. So I won't add another one to this because I've got one already made so I can show you yeah, how yeah, to yeah. trim. So that I would then press out and we've You're got right. the next one started. So I'm just going to attach that back in there so I know where I'm up to. And you carry on doing all four and then you're going to end up with something that looks like this. Right. So you're going to press out that last one. Thank you. These are such pretty fabrics, beautiful mm. for... Yeah, because you wouldn't automatically, when you think of log cabin, you wouldn't automatically go for something like no, that, would you? Because no. they're all of the same value, aren't they? Absolutely. So this is round one. So this is now where you bring in your trim tool. Right. Now the trim tool, if I put that underneath, Bruce can probably pick it yeah, up better. Yeah, the, the big one sold out now, this one. Yeah, but, um, so the, the eight inch is exactly the same. It's got the same sort of markings. You've got your middle square. Yeah. The square you start with is a different size for the eight inch as it is for the six inch, hence the different size right. squares. Yeah. So do read the instructions as to what your center square is supposed to mm -hmm. be. Okay. <clears throat> so you've got squares going down the diagonal. You've got your quarter inch seam allowance and you've got your non-strip grip non-slip grip, mm -hmm. non -strip grip. Yeah, non -strip. Um, one side does your 12 and one side does your six right so follow the right yeah. side so what you're going to do is find the first big square and you're going to line that up and this is where you can see how accurately you've sewn mm -hmm. line that up so that your square as much as you can matches that square don't beat yourself up if it's slightly off. It's not the end of the world. What I do is concentrate on these cross lines as yeah. well and make sure they're all central. You're then going to hold it down and you're going to cut up the side and the top. Okay. 
And we've got a rotating cutting mat, which isn't going to spin in this space. Yeah, it's a bit, there you go. Saves you moving your block. This is the larger 18 inch one. Yeah, I need one of these. I've only got, I've only got a small the 12 one. inch one. Yeah. Which you think, oh, that's fine because it's a 12 inch block and then you forget that actually overhangs yeah. the side. So I'm going to realign my ruler. So I'm still on that square following the midlines again. Hold it down, cut up the side and cut across the top. So I have now tidied up round one yeah and then you're going to go start the process again and you're going to always start on the next side so you're going to keep going round in the same circle right okay so my next piece will be a green one which happens to be this one and so that one will go in there mm -hmm. and then i'll carry on round and i will get to round two which is this one okay so and you trim it off in exactly the same way so you still line up i'm going to show you okay brilliant. okay so round two is finished it doesn't matter where you line up because you're aligning with the center square yeah so this time it's a white square that you're lining up in that across that middle square so you're still lining up the original middle, middle square, square but you're using a different square on the ruler each time you just yeah. move down the ruler yeah okay um Ignore the first square for this unless you're doing a half lob cabin and that's when you use that one. Yeah, okay. but for, for ours you just for do ours, the centre. use the centre. So again, I'm trying to line up as much as I can so I know it's straight. Hold it down and the, your guide is you should have, because we've used two and a half inch strips, you should have about just over between quarter and half inch protruding. Right. If you've got less, have a look at what you've done yeah, before you cut if it if you've got none you're using the wrong square yeah that's the easiest way to check it but again it's just a question of cutting across and then we'll turn it round oh. oh i've come off the grid there we go back again so we realign making sure it's as square as we can get it. Hold it flat. And we're good. So it's a really simple process. You're doing the same thing each time. And obviously if you've strip pieced this, then you'll be making it as you go. Yeah. So you then go on to your next round pieces. Right. And you'll start the process again. Okay. So, so there's only three rounds then. There's only three rounds. Four if you count the middle yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then, so I'll be putting that one on there, mm -hmm. that one on there. Now when you get to this stage, you will be using, you won't get as many on one strip, which is why in the instructions I've told you to allocate more strips because you oh, run out. Oh, of course, you're going further around. Yeah, Absolutely. of course, yeah. So let me get to where we are here. Have I got one that's half done? Yes, so I've started on this one. So we'll finish this one and then we'll cut it so you can okay. see the finishing. So I've got those two already done, so I've got these two to do. So let's choose two. Again, I'm just gonna iron If you've got bigger patterns, would you save the bigger patterns for the outer ones or not? Um, I try to do the darkest pieces on the outside, okay. so it sort of framed each block, but it's entirely up to you how you do it. You may want to put, you may want to do these. I mean, you could do all whites one side, but there'll be a mix of colors. Yeah. Um, oh, and then mean, yeah. have the other ones the other side. Mm -hmm. So thi this, grace jelly roll actually gives you quite a lot of scope for playing around yeah. with fabric um, more than the Newport so again this was the last piece I've added so I'm just going to trim off that edge because I am using a guide but as I say if you're not using a guide on your sewing machine you don't have to trim your dog ears yeah Yes, yeah, so you're not trimming down then, you're no, literally I'm just literally getting rid of anything trimming. sticking out. Yeah. So this is the piece that we're going to stitch onto. This one was the last one I added, so it's gone, gone towards the bottom. Uh -huh. Now these are quite big. If, you, if you're a beginner, this is easily done by, by a beginner, by the way, because it is, so, it is literally sewing straight lines. Yeah. Um, I would tend to pin or clip 
this just to hold it. I've got both. Mm -hmm. I think so we've sold out of all of it. Oh, we've sold out so the clips matter. and the pins, so oh, it doesn't right. matter now. All right yeah. then. Well, for speed, then I'll clip. Um, to be honest, at home I would wing it, but given today, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those days today, isn't it? We all have them. Mm -hmm. just going to trim making sure I've just left a fraction and we'll press that out and then we've just got one more to do and mm -hmm. we're good to go on this one but it makes you can see how quickly this comes together yeah. as a block it's a makes it a really quick project so your center square yeah. if you use the six or the eight that has to be a different size yes, so the center square for a six i think is two and a half uh, two inches right so i would imagine for a, the eight it'll be two and a half but right. i will double, no, 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 double no, no, check right, your yeah. instructions yeah so don't cut your no. one and then use the six inch one yeah yeah so if you're doing the six inch obviously you're going to just have to trim down a two and a half inch strip you won't need to strip piece yeah. to do that so i'm just trimming those little frilly you keep, bits you off. keep putting your scraps in your in, in your, my yeah it's because they clips. look very similar and no, normally that is my scrap box okay right what's matter they don't look anything like each other one's about well, four the times the same yeah but one's the same they're the same fabric <laughs> listen i'm surviving on like two hours sleep so why <laughs> i don't know i just didn't sleep last night mm. was it because it was too cold no because i did a hot water bottle last night oh honestly well my feet were frozen i'd oh, been dinosaur got... hunting all afternoon in the garden i was cold oh did you have kids yesterday i had ben I was looking after Ben and we were doing a dinosaur hunt yesterday afternoon. It was brilliant. Did you find any? Yeah, loads. Although we are now missing Triceratops and Parasolophus. Oh, why? Where did they go? Well, we're not sure. But ben who put them where? Ben they... hid them. Oh, okay. And couldn't remember where he had hidden them. And <laughs> so, so somewhere in the, in the garden is a Parasolophus and a Triceratops. But he hid them. There was not much of a hunt if he'd hidden them. <laughs> yeah, but he's three. He thinks it's brilliant. Oh. Can't you do a, uh, one in the house? No, because it was sunshine. In the house. Sunshine. It's good to be out. We did oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it sunny yesterday? Oh, yeah, it was sunny yesterday. Yeah, we did a bug hunt. We did dinosaur hunting. Oh. We did all sorts. We built a, a hotel for the insects. Blimey. Yeah. And that was after we'd been swimming and been to the park. We had a oh, really busy word. day. Yeah. We used to sell, when I worked on jewellery, we used to sell dinosaur bone <gasps> in a ring. Did you? Didn't we, Han? Wow. Dinosaur bone, when we used to sell... And then a lady called Wilma bought it, and Hannah thought that was ever so funny. <laughs> that is hilarious. No yeah. offence if you call Wilma, but you know, Wilma Flintstone, that's yeah. why Hannah. That would be very good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, um, uh, Jean bought Jean from um, Gloucester. Bought bought lots of it for for Brian. I think that's a brilliant idea. But there's, there's different um, there's different uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Different not standards qualities of dinosaur bone. Oh, because apparently they? when you go gem hunting, you come across loads of it, but most of it isn't yeah, gem it worthy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I'm just going to make sure that they're all together, so I've got those for the next when I finish this. <laughs> yeah at leisure right so this is the last one and okay. then we can trim this off because then i can show you how to trim your last block brilliant and you can see now why you need a bigger rotating cutting mat because yeah. it's a big block uh-huh so how many of these do we make then just you five make, no you actually make 
12. Oh, because there's only five on the... Five in the main bit, but yeah. then you want you need your diagonals to finish oh, the point. Oh, and the diagonals don't just one cut in half, then? Well, you can get away with it for one of the... Or two of them, obviously. Oh, OK. But because of the seam allowance, you're yeah. just shy, which means yeah. you have some l bits left that you can turn into cushions. Perfect. But I actually think this size makes a really good placemat size. Yeah. So if you don't want to do the quilt. Yeah, you do 12 placemats. Why mats. don't you do your placemats for picnics and for yeah. summer? Or cushion covers, which would be really nice yeah. as well. So I think this is just so beautiful. So the last cut then with the ruler, you're going to use this centre black square. And right. again, you're going to go back to that centre square, line it all up as as near as you can so you've got lots of horizontal and vertical marked dotted lines that you can try and lay into your seams mm -hmm. so you're tr keeping it as square as you possibly can all the way through um, it's not going to be absolutely perfect even on the videos theirs aren't perfect but you know it's a quilt it's yeah. an organic object um, and then again, we're going to come up the side, hold down, and go across the top. Always miss that little bit. Just that first one, isn't it? Yeah, it's because you're cutting across. Right, and then you're going to do the swizzle and knock everything off the table. Mm hmm. Oh, cat's mountaineering. Yes, I know. So this time. We've got a clean edge, so I know that that all needs to line up as well. Yeah. As well as my centre. Yeah, because this is the final one, this isn't it? Is this has got the quarter inch seam allowance on yep. it as well, hasn't it? So we're at 12 and a half inches now. Mm -hmm. So that is my block done. So you'll need to do 12 of these in total. Right. And then you're going to decide how you're going to lay it. So let me grab another one. So when they go diagonally you're going to have them if you want all your points at the top then you're going to have them lying like that and you'll come this way so that is a row and i've marked on the pro um program program you go to the theater <laughs> <To> the program <laughs> i have allowed you a space for your own notes as well yeah. which is useful but i've given you a diagram that gives you the full layout and what i how I've called them rows. So you've got row one, two, three, four, yeah, five. Yeah. So because you actually assemble them on the diagram. It's saying we did Yvonne's like that yes, yesterday absolutely. with the Hachevron one, one we did yeah. that, yeah. Because um, when you assemble it, you start off with that, don't you? Let me just think, and then you yes, do that, yes. then you do that, then yes. you go to that, and then you do yeah. that, yeah. But what you actually do for this yeah. is you'll do, um, you put your sashing on the sides of your main blocks and then you'll come to piece these corner pieces. Oh, okay, in. okay. And the reason I, <coughs> I did that is because you allowing for the sashing before you cut yeah. is a pain. Yeah. So, and also you may get away with using up bits somewhere else. Yeah. So if you do it like that, then it's easier. Your sashing um, pieces, I chose one and a half inches. If you want to do more, then just cut them bigger. Again, keep them whole. I'm just gonna iron out the creases on this before I put it in and then we're going to join them together and join them once you've decided which way around you're going to have them so you're sashing to start with aren't you haven't got to deal with long pieces you're only you're only doing the length of the block yes yeah yeah so when this is the right way around yeah. it's between it, the the blocks in a row are sashed together yeah. and then it's the rows that get sashed with the longer yeah. pieces yeah um so decide how you're going to have them. Doesn't really matter on this because it's you know. It's well, next it you're going to have to finish it off when you get home. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'm going to just sew that one to there, and then it gets sewn to there. Right. So again, I do it upside down, just because it's easier to hold a big block out the way than mm -hmm. it is this, and it's a quarter inch seam. So we'll sash these. Actually, what I want to do, how are we doing for time? It's in front of you, the oh, clock. Is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, right. You've got about 10 minutes, 11 right, minutes. Right, so I'll do this. And then. 
do that. I don't know why I do that. It's got an automatic lift on it. And I was going to say. Lifting it. Yeah. <laughs> it's because it was delayed. It didn't lift straight away. Straight that away. Time. Yeah. How rude. So rather than put the other one on, which we can do, but I thought if I show you how, what I've put in the instructions about trimming the diagonals. Yeah. Now these sashing pieces I've pressed towards the, the, the sash. sash. And the reason I've done that is because I like my sashing to sort of lift slightly. Yeah. So it gives that sort of puffy look. And because it is so small, you'll find that the seam allowances will actually meet. So in the it middle, does yeah. make it. Um, I've got a quick question then. Yeah. When you sew the next block to it, yeah. how do you make sure you get them exactly right. level? Okay, so I know you were planning it. on going no, on it's something fine. else, we'll but do it's, do a, that. it's the and first thing I get wrong, back. I think. Yeah. So I place the block the right way round, so keep checking that it's going to be the way you want it to yeah. be. And then I line, ignore, oh, okay. ignore your sashing edge, because that may not be right. Yeah. Make sure that your blocks align. Right. And then I get to the first seam and I roll that seam to the edge of the sash. Right, okay. And then I know that that's all lining up. Okay. And then I would go in with my clip. Yeah. Like this. And then when I get to the other end, make sure that it is lined up there. And again, roll the seam yeah, down. Yeah, because I think what a lot of us do is we cut the sashing and then just automatically yeah. match the sashing to it. Then when you've sewn them together, one's just one's a little bit higher and a bit lower, off, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So let's sew that and then I can do the other bit that I was okay, going to do. Brilliant. do is so another bit of sashing you can just press that bit for me thank you mr scott because then we can do the that's long enough at the middle isn't it oh yeah yeah it's fine just to stitch it on there i like working with strips rolls mm -hmm. however they are because it does make <laughs> it really quick and I thought you were going to say <laughs> so I, I like, like working you, on John. a strip no yeah. I like working with you John that's what you thought you were going to say of course I do re-thread and start what oh you? no isn't that just typical but I'll do recaps while you sort that out thankfully it has an automatic needle threader so it doesn't make it a chore all right well hang on a second there you go so a recap in the bundles, got the blue one here. That's your pa instructions, your, uh, your meter of blue and your uh, jelly roll. Say this again, Hannah. Seven left, there are only seven left when you all checked out. Oh. 59.99. Now, Fleet, then we've got the Chatchus, which is the one you're seeing being worked on right now. So you get a meter of the Chatchus, you get that lovely uh, jelly roll plus your instructions. I'm with Susie, I love a hot water bottle, says Claire. Yay. Oh my goodness, Susie Duncan, I had my window open last night and I got a one tog duvet because she was too hot. Yeah, Gemma says, good morning, Susie. Morning, Susie, says Leslie Joy. Nice to see you this morning. Julie says, morning, Susie. I love pink and green together. Lots of people coming in today. Anyway, that's, that's that one there, good. 59.99. Pattern on its own. Single figures on the chartreuse one as well, once you've checked out. There's the instructions on its own, 9.99. Now you can make it without the trim tool if you want, but the trim tool just makes, because the whole thing about a log cabin is, is precision. And the whole thing about the trim tool is you get that precision each round that you do. Because imagine if you didn't get it slightly wrong on the first one, by the time you get to the second one, it's a bit, bit, bit more obvious. And by the time you get to the third one, it's even more obvious, isn't it? Uh, 9.99. Now we haven't got the 12 inch trim tool, uh, 12 slash six inch one, it's sold out. But I do have the eight inch one. Yeah, the one Susie's been using is the bigger one. This is the smaller one. But we'll explain, we'll, we'll try and explain in a minute how you can use this one. Yeah, I 
Yeah. Lovely. Mesh on bottom while I walk across. What quilt would you recommend for somebody with very little sewing experience has never made a quilt before from Joe in the West Midlands? Uh, well, the easiest one to do, Joe, would be just to cut squares or strips and stick and stitch them together. And that way, by the end of it, you'll have practiced your quarter inch, mm -hmm. um, which would be a good way to do. I mean, that's a simple one to do. Sorry. Then you haven't got to think about um, placement either because you could just orient the fabrics anyway. Yeah, but if, which of your patterns would you so, say was the easiest? Um, most of mine are beginner friendly, apart from the da the medallion type ones. Yeah, yeah. Because um, I n I don't like to exclude people, and I also have an issue with being labelled a beginner or not a beginner. Yeah. I think everyone. We're all beginners We're at some all beginners. Point. When you pick up a new pattern, we're all a beginner. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, if you do Drunkard's Path the first time, you could have been quilting for hundreds of years, Absolutely. but if you've never done one before, you're a beginner yeah. on a Drunkard's Path, Absolutely. aren't you? Absolutely. Um, but so try nine patches and four yeah. patches and things like yeah. that. Yeah, and then experiment with those. Yeah. This, um, a beginner can do this. If you don't want to do it on point, just turn it square yeah. and just join all your squares together. Mm. You don't have to do it on point. You'll make a bigger quilt if you don't do it on point. Or, or if you really, really, really want to start from the June Taylor quilt as she goes. Oh gosh, that would amazing. be brilliant yeah. to start with. You do do it slightly differently because you don't make a block and make a sandwich, yes. but you quilt it as you go. Yeah. And the lines, the placement lines are already there. Yeah. So, because this just reminded me of a, a June Taylor one, because they, and you just literally yes. follow the lines. We sell them on our, on our website. Yeah. And they are super easy. They're yeah. my go-to when I've forgotten a birthday present. Oh, are they? Or I need a new bag. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Um, right. So, for, the the uh, row two and row four so these are the sharp angle ones yeah you're going to be cutting your you'll have another square here and you're yeah. going to cut those away and it you may get away with using these cutoffs so when you cut you want one side to be going from top left to bottom right and the other side to go from top right to, to bottom, bottom left, left. Um, and obviously for the other side this side it's going to be the reverse yeah yeah so to do that, you also need to allow for your seam allowance. And I would normally, longer yeah, ruler. let's have this ruler. Could they? I know, you're the right. The yeah. hooks on these are crazy, aren't they? So again, if you've got your creative grids rulers, in fact, most quilting rulers now have a quarter inch mark. Yeah. What I, my trick is place that quarter inch mark or line the out the inside of it not the out yeah. outer edge on that join of your sashing with the block right and oh, i have to move it down a bit and then this at this point at the at the diagonal you want the quarter inch line on the diagonal on the point on the point right not so it's not going to be an exact pure diagonal line no, is it no it isn't but it doesn't matter because you're then going to square it Oh, no, off. no, no, I didn't yeah. mean that, but don't be thinking, because what you normally do if you're in a half square triangle, you get, get go point to point. Absolutely. You're not going point no. to point on this and one. And the reason you're not is because we're going to square this off, and if you've cut it exactly in half, you're going to find you're a fraction short. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this way you're just making sure you've yeah. got your seam allowance. The other so. thing that I would do is, if you've got leeway on your sashing, leave your sashings a bit longer as well right. like, and trim them all mm -hmm. at the end. Don't start trimming down at this stage. Okay. Trim it all when you square it off. Yeah, because also, when you, it's going to look a bit odd, because when you cut down that, you're not actually cutting no, through, the, through centre the centre of your, of your square, square block, and if which you is why you can't use that one flipped over onto this no. side because you've taken a quarter inch extra, extra there. Extra off it, yeah. Right, okay. But you can use it like to, in to the make corners. your corners. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you can see when you analyze the quilt, you're, you're not got these bits. The center square is not a half. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know it looks like it is on the pattern, yeah. but that's because well, no, that's computer generated. But also that, that you can see that you've got yeah. a bigger bit of that, that than you have of that, that. yeah. And they don't match. Yeah. Um, so yeah okay but it's if you don't do it on point if you do them all in rows, rows horizontally you don't need to do that cutting you don't need to do this cutting and you will make a slightly bigger quilt yeah 
So it's yeah, your you choice. Anyway. But that is so you could. Allowance. So you make twelve of these. So you could make. A, well, you'd make a, a ta long, very long table runner. Couldn't you? No, because we don't have a table no. runner. But no, but, yeah. I I would make a um, pic a picnic rug yeah. or a lap quilt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I would also use it. I mean, would I you do four by three or something yeah. like that, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. I would. Yeah. I would do four by three um, and use it that way. Or you could do three by three and have two cushions. Of course. You know, you can. Yeah. So the you can do whatever you like, really. Exactly. Of so you do you want me to quickly show quickly shows the eight inch one? Yeah, that's all right. So the eight inch ruler. Oh, let's bring that underneath because then you can see is exactly the same principle. So you'll do your center square, and your center square is a two and a half inch cut. Um, we haven't got time for me to actually do it, have we? So no. Um, so, so if you've got a jelly roll, you've just got you two and a half inches that way, you just cut two and a half exactly. inches that way. Exactly, and then you'll add on a, um, how we have before, and trim. It's exactly the same process. So, so, you so do the a strips that you add on, are they narrow as well? They can, they must be at least one and three quarter inches oh, wide. Oh, but you just sew on the jelly roll and trim. Uh, trim. I know trim you'll off. hate that because you'll waste it. But well, no, I don't because then I keep that. Yeah. For so, so you project. would basically, as long as the centre yep. square is two and a half inch square, yep. you could still add on your yep. two and a half inch jelly rolls. But then when you put that down, you will be trimming off more at the corner. You off will, the edge, yes. Won't you? But what I love about these rulers is exactly what you've just said. You can pick up all your scraps then. Yes. So you can make a scrappy one. And with whatever you've got left over of this, save. Because even if it does make you just a smaller block or the six inch block, you've then got that to add into a scrappy quilt. Exactly, yeah. Or, any, well, you never know. They make great sides of bags. Mm. I mean, I've got um, a tote bag with a log cabin either side and a bit of a uh, um, border. border. And it makes a great little tote bag. And as we also saying earlier, you don't just use it to make a log cabin. You can also make a courthouse yeah. steps and you can make a half log cabin yeah. on it as well. So courthouse you? steps, I don't think I've got mine with me. Normally I carry my kit. Yeah. Um, instead of going round, they go step outwards. But you still sew them in the round? Um, you do sew them. No, you sew them opposite sides. So oh, okay. You, you do top, bottom, side, side, and top, then bottom, trim. side, so side. So you do the yep. centre square. Yeah. <coughs> you do top, top, side, side, trim. Yeah. Top, top, side, side, trim. Yep. Top, top. And normally, what you do is you do all of those like in the blue. Yeah. And all of those in the cream well, or whatever. Yeah. I mean, you? yeah. Exactly. Or you can do them however yeah. you want. Then you've got half log cabin. Yeah. Where your square will be in this corner, and you're trimming at each stage with the square in that corner. Right. Oh, um, okay. Fine. Yeah. So you never so move So you it from end that. up with like a chevron pattern. Yeah. Which can look amazing. Well, especially when you start laying them out. Exactly. In different ways, yeah. you can cause all sorts of create all sorts. But of it means that your eight inch block you then piece into four to create this sort of fanned. Yes. square yeah. and you'll suddenly got a 16 inch block yeah it's just yeah it's brilliant so i love this ruler i use them a lot fantastic right things. so you'll be back in an hour I when will. she's been doing going doing the sunshine and the sunshine and showers showers cushions uh in the meantime i'll just do a recap very very quickly of the bundles because the blue one so many people got this in their basket <coughs> three left once you've all checked out three left of those once you've checked out but you do need to check out you do need to check out on that one we also oh, on both of these because we also got the shutters one which you've just seen demoed shutters so many people got them in baskets there'll be eight left once you've all checked out Pattern on its own. Oop. Doof. <laughs> Just rolled off the jelly roll. Rolled. It's a true jelly roll. Huh? It's a true jelly roll. Yeah. Trying to escape. Uh, anyway, 9.99. 9.99 for the pattern on its own. And then the 8-inch ruler. Bruce is joining the jelly roll, he says. <laughs> on an escape route. Now this is the eight inch. This is the one. This is not the one Susie used for the big quilt. That twelve inch one sold out. This is an eight inch one to an eight inch version. Right, don't go anywhere. Rebecca Reed is up next. We are doing birdhouse peg bags and doorstops. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? 
You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. 
Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Do you know, Rocky Reed, people have been caught out for worse things than that. We were having a good old gossip then, and Hannah went, your microphones are live. <laughs> they weren't, they weren't, but they, she was just picking on us because we were gossiping about things we shouldn't have been gossiping about. We love a gossip. Everyone loves a gossip. Of course we do. It's harmless. It's harmless. We never do malicious. Anyway, have you seen her? Rebecca Reed's here. Oh, yes. Wave. Morning. 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 Oh, I can see you now. <laughs> so how come when you do your shows, when you're presenting, you wear fabulous, like, crochet and crochet print and uh, oh, well, I have to dresses think about made out sleeves, of curtains? Oh, well, I have because a lot of my um, dresses, like, they have sleeves. Oh, uh, and you don't do sewing and on you those. You try sewing with sleeves. <coughs> Oh. different clothes for different sewing oh you? cool yeah. so like when I'm doing like well no I've got many things with sleeves that well, go like, like when that when I'm doing <laughs> video tutorials and things I have to have things that you can pull your sleeves up yeah. on and you know so I can't have sleeves oh do you just look very casual that's all mm, like casual. on your summer holidays <laughs> yeah, you have a lovely drive home today it's gorgeous it out is there. gorgeous and I actually drove up in the light today yeah oh yeah 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 amazing yeah. I've never been in the services in the light I don't think do you get to of services on your way in <laughs> always like that coffee. Rages. I know it's lovely. I <laughs> and love it. Do you know what? I'll go on the way back as well. Oh, don't blame you. Mm. I don't blame yeah. it's, When Joe comes, she has to do Stafford services because she hasn't got like a Gloucester service oh, on her way up. Can't build their oat milk no. latte. They're what? Their oat milk latte. <sighs> With a bit of syrup, um, mm. vanilla syrup. And they do the biggest pan of raisin you've ever they seen. They do. They do. Oh, it's gorgeous. And nice clean toilets and everything. Lovely. Anyway, enough of that. <laughs> enough of that. We've got a new project today. We've got a birdhouse and we've got a peg bag. We have. So, oh, Hannah, where would you like to go first? Rebecca Reed, where would you like Hannah to go first? She can't <laughs> make up her mind. Well, good to get me a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you want, you've seen Hannah's coffee. She don't want one of those. Um, I don't know. Door stops because they're in front of you. Door stop. Okay, so now we've got the door stop. Everything's available on its own. So let's do the things on their own first. So door... Door... <laughs> door stop in lavender is this one here beautiful isn't it uh it's a bird top and you get the door stop kit you get the instructions of the panel so have a ground it beautiful now the reason this one looks light is because there's only wadding in this one you'll put heavier weights in yours so the panel is here oh get it right way up john scott so you get the panel with extra bits, look, you've got a water fountain. Uh, say that again, Han. Well done if you've already got a pre-order because they're flying out. Absolutely flying out. That's your lavender house doorstop. Beautiful. And you get the instructions, the birdhouse instructions, designed by, with love by Rebecca Reed and Amy Gorn. Now, has this got a code no, on no, it? No, no, that's fine. Codes. Then I can turn it over. <laughs> instructions instructions pictures how to get in touch with them and they all have video tutorials free like where did it say that then? on the front cover that orange blob oh there <laughs> <laughs> the big orange blob yeah. on the front i'm looking here again i can't see anything so that there's says a that. qr code inside that you can scan hang on hang on hang on before you say that there's, i didn't even know this they just pull it it's got a little door that opens and shuts, look. <laughs> look! Of course, and a perch. I know, I've noticed the perch. It's like a nose. 
Yeah, that's how I picked it up, like a Pinocchio's nose. <laughs> but look, I didn't know that until I just read it on the front of the cover. <laughs> that's gorgeous, isn't it? So this is your lavender house. You get your panel, you get your instructions. You'll need um, weights and you'll need some toy stuffing. And a bit of wadding because I've put wadding in all the pieces. Because wadding or H640? Well, aren't they the same thing? No. Oh, they are. Wadding, no, H640 is fusible, fusible fleece. Fusible wadding. Oh, I thought it was fusible wadding. Well, fleece wadding, H yeah. I used H640. H640, I'll come to that in a second then. Something right, we're only doing, obviously that picture's both of them. You're just getting the lavender one, the lavender one and that one. Now we've also got it in the blue bird. Now, is it a blue bell, sorry, blue bell. Has it got the same bird inside? Yes, yep. So the name blue bell house is on the panel, so you don't have to put that on. I appliqued that on. Oh, that's one here. Yes. That, so that's a bleak case. If you don't want that, you don't have to have no. it there. Uh, most popular, this one. Is it? <coughs> yeah. Most popular. Oh, uh, the instruct on the website, there's a picture of the lavender one, not the blue one. <laughs> So it, the, the, the picture of the back panel is right, but the picture of the finished one isn't right. But we know that Rebecca Reed finished them in time for the pho photography. Anyway, look, so there's your blue one. Slate roof. How many birds has got slate roofs in your neighbourhood? Yeah, posh ones. Mm. Yeah. Well, I wanted it to look like a little sort of shed, like a proper little house. Okay. So it's got wood panelling and slate and a picket fence and a swing, obviously. Obviously. Oh. It's a posh bird house. Third, the stock of those have gone straight away. So you get the panel and you get the instructions to make the, the blue one. Righty-ho. Now, we're moving on to the peg bag. Peg bags. Now, you don't come with the coat hanger, which is just as well. Imagine trying to send that. Lavender in first. Aren't they cute? Look. Quarter of the stock of these went on pre-order. Look, that's where you put your pegs in. Isn't it lovely? Matches perfectly with the uh, little doorstop. So, hang on, where's the panel? Here you go, lavender. What's the matter, Hannah? Oh, she thinks cute. She made one of her funny noises, but it was because... It was... Oh, this is a bigger panel, this one. Okay, 14 99 now I think that's a fourteen ninety um no, Oh it doesn't matter. You had it the right way round. It's just to get yeah, them I can in, see the upside down to fit it all on. Isn't it? Down yeah. To, yeah. But there's loads of applique pieces and then Amy filled the gaps in with some like charm squares. Where is Amy things. today? She's in Crete. On holiday the again. She messaged me yesterday, she said she <clears> hasn't actually left the hotel yet. She's been there since Sunday, hasn't left the hotel. What, because it's so gorgeous? Yeah, I know. Well, what, don't blame her. She said, her. I might watch you from my sunbed. Maybe we should leave the hotel. She hasn't left it. Oh, I'm just, she's watching. She'll message you, won't she? She's, she's just lying on the sunbed, drinking cocktails. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'll, I'll do that in a second. I'll just finish this one. So this is your this is your birdhouse uh, peg bag in the lavender. You get the instructions and the panel. Instructions and panel. Do you want me to do it now, Hannah, when I've done the blue one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's fine, that's fine. We think we had a bit of an issue with the, with the uh, lavender house. I'll go back to it in a minute, but I'll carry on doing what I was doing because we're now moving on to the peg bag in the blue bell. There you go. So you get the panel and the instructions. And what's down the side there? Look at that. It's just like a little salvage. Say that again, Han. Oh, right, now, you know how many hundreds of these are. We've got less than 40 of these, fewer than 40 of these, of the blue peg bag already. And what time is it? It was only seconds in, in minutes into the hour, look. So that's that one. Now, Hayley has done a bundle where I've lost the interest for that one now, where you can buy the lavender peg bag with its instructions and the lavender house with instructions. The po pictures are wrong again, right? It's not wrong. 
Oh, okay, okay. This is what you're getting. If you buy this bundle, you get the instructions and the panel to make the birdhouse in lilac. Doorstop. And you're getting the la la lavender, sorry, not lilac, lavender peg bag instructions and, in and uh, panel. $29.95 if you want the peg bag and the matching doorstop. Oh, yeah, that's, I see. They're all the same colour. They're all the same colour. Gorgeous. Oh, here you go. I'm watching from my son lounger. Still haven't left the hotel. <laughs> yeah. I know, she still haven't left it. She's told me all these things she was going to do in Crete. And she just hasn't left the hasn't hotel. Done. She's lying on the sun lounger. Well, so what? Yeah. She has so many holidays. She can do exploring there on the is, next one. Yeah, I know. She said she was going to go walking and everything. No, I think she she's got on that sun Amy, lounger. Amy, walking. And got her cocktails and that was it. Yeah. Hmm. What time? What time is it there? It's quarter past ten. What time? Are know. they backwards or forwards there? Forwards. Forwards, like forwards. you're saying, I should know. Forwards, John. Forwards. 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 A couple of hours, do you think? Oh, okay. Oh, so it's lunchtime. Oh. Two hours forward. Yeah, it's lunchtime. Okay. That's fine. She can have a cocktail. <laughs> it's all inclusive. Yeah. She has as many drinks as she wants. Well, I don't know about drinks, but she did say it was all inclusive. So I bet it is. But she had a great big breakfast. Yeah, and I bet she had. Well, I love yeah. a hotel breakfast. Yeah. Oh, so do I. So do I. Right. Okay, so that's your lavender one. I've also got the same bundle in the blue. So if you want to buy <clears throat> the panel and the instructions for the blue doorstop and the panel and the instructions for the blue peg bag, you can do. $29.95. Oh no, that's the right picture. What? That picture's right. No, what it is, what it is, is it looks like you get more than... Oh no, that picture is right. Yeah. <laughs> oh okay okay so that one's that's the right question but on the other one you've just got two picture of two finished things oh okay just to confuse yeah. matters yeah right it's just hannah's confused that's yeah. all yeah no she's not no i am not confused john scott she said right i've just got to go back to the door stops just very quickly lavender door stop there you go lavender door stop to make that fourteen ninety nine, yeah. I don't see upstairs one there, so it's, there you go. So that's your lavender uh, house doorstop. Two hours, at, two hours ahead. Just <laughs> ordered my first cocktail, pina colada. No, that's my favourite. Oh, is it? Love a pina colada. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. I like a mojito myself. Followed by an espresso martini. That's my second. Oh, favorite. what mixing? It's now got cream in it and everything. Mm. Oh no. Has yeah. pina colada got cream in it as well? Um, coconut, is it coconut Ooh. cream? It's lovely. Oh, well done, Amy. Right, anyway, that's your, that's your, lav uh, your lavender house doorstop. Then we've also got the blue doorstop. We just need to reiterate those because we think there was something wrong with the web when we did the first time. Oh, it's very dark here, isn't it? It is very dark. Someone turned the lights off. No, it's because the grease proof paper's fallen off that one and there's no light on this side yet. Oh, okay. But that looks incredibly dark, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> it's like a little nose but you see how does the bird get in without a perch yeah oh, no, no, my, no birds have moved into mine I bought a really expensive John Lewis's one not really? birds haven't moved in well you should just get one of those and put it in your tree and you can pretend yeah, well no it could be next to the Hedgehog Hotel which is also empty in the garden it's not funny is it oh toad about and we don't have toads in the garden I absolutely love these all drink for my lovely mum that's uh, Kerry from Living in Loveliness. Oh, thank you, Kerry. Viv says, I'm with you, John. Nothing better than the lovely... Uh, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's meant to say mojito, and it's come out as monitor. Oh. And I was like, well, what did I say? Oh, I do like a mojito Oh, as but well. Julie Vaughan likes a pina colada. Yeah, I love a pina so, colada. Is that on holiday? Right, other things that you might need in this hour is H640. Yes, so I have listed, if you go onto the website, you can see I've listed what things you need as well. Right. Oh, this so, is a big bit of H640. I know, we didn't have any half metre pieces left. Okay. So you just need half a metre of H640. Yeah. Soft toy filling. Yeah. Something heavy. And, yeah. Oh, where are, are they there? there they yeah. Are. Oh, now, oh, I've just caught the coat hanger on the bag. I might have split the bag. <laughs> oh, so hang anything. on. So this is your H640. That's twice as much as you need. Do I need it? For, I don't need it for. Do I need it for both? No, for no. the burp peg bag, you, all you need is a coat hanger. Right. And okay. I've just used a dry cleaning one, so it's right. nothing special. Yeah. 
If I can't get any 8640, what else can I use? Because that's wadding. sold out. Any wadding. Any wadding, 8020 wadding. 80 if, wadding. if you haven't got fusible, just sew it on, and in the instructions I explain yeah. that. It's just to give it some body. So would you uh, 505 spray it to it when you're in the wadding? No, I just tacked it around the edge. Oh, okay, perfect. It's 244 centimetres wide, so you'll get an awful lot of um, door stops out of that. Oh, she's not going to wave today. Oh, was that not Dolls and Jackie, was it? You see, it's rubbish standing here because you see everything. Did you know that the two people in that office have a kiss every morning? Do they? Yeah, they're on holiday this week. So they're not Are they supposed to be having a kiss every uh, morning? Hmm? Are they supposed to be doing Yeah, that? yeah, yeah. They're, they're husband and wife. Oh, oh, OK. I just like to make it scandalous. <laughs> yes, that's all. Oh. Right, then we've got the stuff in. Now, <laughs> this looks much, much... Rebecca and Amy should design a fairy house. Yeah, that was a good idea. Okay, that little yeah. Paul, you know little Paul? Yeah. He goes walking looking for fairy doors. He's got a rucksack and a water drink and everything. Has he found any yet? Yeah, he takes pictures of them. Under bridges, down the canal. I'm saying nothing. Well, I've never seen a fairy door. Have you been walking with Paul? No, down clearly not. No. Uh, yeah, now look, this is your polyester craft filling. It looks smaller, right? Mm. It's the same weight, 200 grams, just been crammed into a smaller bag. It was quite a loose though before, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, less waste, you see. 499 and Hannah's very very uh, impressed that it's made in Shipley in Bradford <laughs> does she have connections to Shipley then no that's not where that boy lived was it she went on a date with a boy once and he got there and his wife the mother of his child and he uh, she wasn't yeah she didn't like Hannah because she was on a date with her <laughs> anyway uh, now what's the iron interfacing for uh, well I put some on the door on the door. That's it. Well, it just gives the door a little bit of substance. Okay, a so. little bit of substance. But you on know, the door. if you haven't got any, don't worry. You don't have to have the it. The thing is, just if you just put a, a double O fabric inside I know, it, some of the white from the outside of the thing, that exactly. would just work. Exactly. It, it just anyway. gave it a little bit of yeah. stiffness, so I put that in. And that, that was your that was your eighty twenty wadding then. Oh, it pellets. Just, yeah. Let me make sure I haven't put if you, put. if you wad it and quilt it first, it gives it more structure. No, it didn't pierce the bag. It's fine. There was all time we went through and every time we had these, Hannah would put her finger through the bag and they'd all fall out on the table. We used to have a nice big container of them, didn't we? We used to have a bit, that was in the old the studios. Ones. Yeah. It was lovely, wasn't it? Pretty fancy. Yeah, yeah, like a plant, yeah, square plant pot, yeah. Okay. Uh, 5 99 Now, we, we, it's 3 95 that's a kilo, that is, you see. And they're recycled polyethylene pellets. See, I would probably use half of that. I've got an expensive bird box. They've nested in my old barbecue. No <laughs> accounting for taste, says Hayley and Ken. Mine just, they, they, they go and they look at it. They've been there for three years now. And someone said they won't go the first year. They'll go, was, they'll yeah. go looking at houses for next year. Never came back. Hedgehog, I've had food, I had straw, I had everything. That's Water, really disappointing. nothing. disappointing. Can you buy hedgehogs? No, you, you can, you can, you can adopt them. But I, I, I got in touch with them. They weren't particularly... I even cut holes in my fence so they could get in and out. Anyway, shall we go on with some sewing? I'll bring these over with me. There's no accounting for taste, is all I can Well, I just say. don't want to live in my garden. No, well, I would be very, very upset about Oh, now, that. am I coming over? Because you can come a bit closer, <laughs> stand here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, don't invade my <clears> personal <throat> space. Yeah, it's just a bit... Where did the idea come from for these, then? Um, I just really wanted to do a birdhouse. I love birdhouses. Right. really fancied that. And then I thought, well, actually... I like a peg bag and it sort of both went together. Okay. I can't really remember. I just really, really wanted to do a birdhouse. Right. And I wanted to have everything. In fact, I gave Amy a list. I'm not sure she could even fit it all on. I, it had to have everything. I wanted picket fences yeah. and and everything. So it Okay, did. apparently can't be seen over there. So bring them. Oh yeah, I'll tell you what, Susie won't mind. Put them here for this hour. Well, I'll keep this one here and then I can show oh, you oh, what you oh, do. Right then. Um, so what you have to do first I'll just get this all, one, shall I then? <laughs> is um, cut out the panel and on the panel um, are all, all the pieces are labelled. Actually, can I just go nip over and pinch one? Oh, you where that? you going now? Get the goldfinch while you're there. Get the goldfinch while you're there. I'll have the goldfinch while I'm there. I'm just going to pinch the panels. Oh. <laughs> you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> what, pinch the panels? Well, I'll give them back. I just want to sort of show. Okay, what are you doing? I'll move that out of the way. All right. Did you want the goldfinch? Yeah, because they're going up here. Okay. So, sorry, we're, b we're back on track now. Uh, back. We're back. I'm back. I'm back. So, when you um, get your panel, open it all out and give it a nice press. And you can see that all the pieces are labelled. You need to have your tummy on the orange label there. 
That's it, perfect. There we go. All the pieces are labelled, so it's important that you remember which piece is which, which, so cut out the label and pin it above. Now you'll also see on the panel there are lots of other labels, so like Bluebell House is an extra label, so you don't have to call it that, you could put your name of your own house on there or whatever. Yeah. Um, there's also things like um, a bucket, a pair of wellies. I said those, yeah. Um, bird fan. So all of those, yeah. those are optional applique pieces you don't okay. have Did you put to them on yours? No, I didn't. Okay. I put the bluebell house on. That was it. All right. So just lay, just cut them all out, just so you remember which piece is which. Also, you don't have to do the door if you don't want to, do No, you, you don't have to do <coughs> the door. Because you could just look in and see the little bird yeah. in there all the time. So it's just printed like that. So now, you don't have to do that. Am I jumping ahead? Because the shape looks different on this. As in, this, 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 you've got the um, that lovely kind of birdhouse yes, shape so on I, it. Yes, and I took me ages to work that out and get all the angles. Uh -huh. But I think when you stuff it, it sort of gets a bit lost. No, it's it a does, little yeah. bit disappointing, no. really. Because you see, it is narrower here and it does yeah. like a bird. Maybe you need to put more stuff in at the roof. Or maybe less stuffing. Maybe I overstuffed it. Now, the wadding really helps. That's why I've put it in, because it does give it more structure. Because when you don't wad it, it all really bulges. Oh, it's OK. quite okay. hard to understuff, yes. isn't it? Yeah. To get it to stay up. So it does sort of do that. Yeah, lovely. So you don't even need to put the perch on if you don't want no, to. No, but that's part of it, it's isn't so it? Cute, the trouble it? is people will pick, throw that on because people will automatically pick it up by the perch. Yes, but it's got a handle. Yeah, but I automatically went for that. Did didn't I, pick it <laughs> well, up I, did, I do say in the instructions, I'm like, say it on three times. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. keep going round and round and round. Anyway, so once you've cut everything out, then um, you need to do all the wadding first. If, okay. So what I did with mine, so I everything pretty... Excuse me, I'm going to reach you because I've got all of those over here. You can have those right. back again. Um, pretty much everything is wadded. So I cut them out. I found it easier to cut them out roughly and then press them onto the wadding or tack it or quilt them and then cut them out to shape. Right. So that's entirely okay, up to you. Okay, quilted them as well? Yes. So what I did with mine, you know, you don't need to quilt them, but you'll just find it gives it more structure if you do, because um, yeah, it just gives it a bit more stability. So all I did, if you haven't ever done this before and you think, well, I don't know what quilting is, I don't know that. You, or it's just stitch, just stitch. I stitched along the um, the lines of the wooden panelling, and then I stitched. Depends how much you want to do. I stitched around the windows and the shutters. I didn't stitch around the um, fence. Yeah. Because that would have taken ages. One unit of the wadding is p more than enough because it's two and a half metres wide. And one, although the H640 sold out today, but that was wait, plenty big enough as well. Yeah, it does say in the instructions and on the website how much you need exactly. I can't remember, but it's... And the, free, and the free demo is up now, is it? Yes, it is. So if you, when you get your instructions, it tells you where to go. But if you want to have a look at it before, if you go onto the Amber Makes website, it's there. Oh, for anybody to go and look at? Yes. Okay. I mean, it'd be very difficult to make it without the kit, but yeah, no, 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 no. it's there. Oh, yeah, try telling that verb upstairs there. <laughs> try telling patterns with things that go with, bun with <laughs> panels. So, yeah, if you go onto the blog section of the Amber Makes website, it's up there already, so you can follow along with me and make it. Yeah. Because the idea is, you know, I want somebody maybe who's done a bit of sewing before, wants to have a go, think, oh, I don't know whether I can do this. Well, mm -hmm. if you follow with me, you can. Yeah. It's only a hand you're following with, though. Yeah. I'm a voice. And, uh, yes, I do uh, talk. Yeah. In it. I hope so. <laughs> anyway, so also at this stage, if you want to add any applique pieces, like I've added the name, you can just cut it out and sew it on. I actually pressed a little bonder web to the back of it just to keep it mm -hmm. nice and still. And I just sewed it on with normal straight stitch, nothing fancy. Definitely. So embellish it as much as you like. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it explains in the instructions that with you, the piece of wadding, you need to c cut a couple of squares out first that you're going to use for the roof put them to one side and use the rest to do that right and that's it now when you get on to the next stage this is the bit that i wanted to show you so i have marked the back of mine with a quarter of an inch because in order to get the roof to all sit nicely if you mark the quarter of an inch sewing line it's much easier to get it to fit okay so what you do is you mark the top edges of the front and the back and the best way to do this is if you've got a rotary ruler use the quarter of inch mark a on rotary it. ruler i don't know what the rotary cutting ruler a ruler a ruler yeah but it's especially for rotary cutting how is it? it well as in it's acrylic yeah and it's thicker and it's got lines and on. it's see-through yes yeah or right. any ruler, but the see-through bit's quite good because it's got a quarter of an inch. So um, just mark that. If you haven't got one of these, don't worry. Just mark it with no, a tape measure. Graphics coming in. These are quite handy. 
I mean, I know they are rotary cutting rulers, but yeah. I use them a lot for marking. Yes. It's because they're right, because you can see the marks. So mark just your quarter of an inch. Use an erasable pen is perfect for this because although you're marking it on the back, um, it will yeah. disappear. So that's we what had the I new oh, uh, the, um, the clicky, cl clicky friction pens this I week. I love them because we? I constantly forget to put the lids on. Yeah, and, and it dries them, up, yeah. and then they dry out. Yeah. Um, so mark. So only the roof. Are you own? Oh no, you put it all the way around. For those pieces, just the top and the bottom. Okay. For the side pieces, the top and the bottom. For the um, the inner roof, you do all the way around. It says all this in the instructions. Oh, okay, that's fine. But different marking. So I've marked all mine in advance. Take the time to do that because it does make putting it together a lot easier. Right. Right. Then when you've done that, take a front and a side. It doesn't matter which one because they're exactly the same. And put it right sides facing. It will match up. Do the flowers match up? The garlands, flowers, and everything, and the fence. Yes. Okay, lovely. Yeah, look. Perfect. Um, so it will match up, but ma pin it together at the bottom. I find that's the best place because oh, you've got funny angles going on there. So yeah. match it together at the bottom and then at the top. Now this is where your quarter of an inch lines come in, really useful as well at this stage because. You need to start and stop finishing quarter of an inch from the top and quarter of an inch from the bottom. That means that the base and the roof will fit nicer. Fine. More easily. So when you've done that, if you just lower your needle into the mark that's a quarter of an inch from the top, mm -hmm. do a little reverse Shall stitch. Let me move that out of the way. Do a little reverse stitch. I'm not using um, Cat, a walking foot with this. I mean, I didn't even use a walking foot for the quilting, to be honest. It was fine. Right. Because it's not that thick, is it? No. So you've got to continue doing this all the way around. So there's one, you take the back, you put that right sides facing. It's easier if you sew it from the side of the, um, the side. So turn that one over, just because of the angles. Right. I don't know. There's it yeah, because it it's not going to make a straight line, is it, at the bottom, or is it? It will make a straight line, as long as you you need to match up the point. Right. So it looks a bit funny. Yeah, but yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It will be straight when you do it. When you send it. And okay. again, because you've take the, taken the time to mark it in advance, just go forwards and backwards. And also, if you're, if you're new to sewing, then by marking these lines, it means you can sew along them as well. You know, when you're more experienced and you think, well, I know where my seam allowances are. Yeah. But I know a lot of people go, oh, I can't sew because I can't sew in a straight line. Well, if you draw them on, you can. That's so. the sewing machine there that uh, Bex chose to buy. She yeah. hasn't given it. She was bought it. Uh, the 720 Excellence. It's one that uh, Delphine's got as well. Yes, and I love it. It's not built for beauty, but it's built for speed and... Oh, Hannah thinks it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful. It's oh, all right. I'll take that back then. It's beautiful and... Um, I've discovered the HP plate, which I've had it for six months, taking me that long to discover. It's amazing because you can sew really fast with the HP plate. That's your, that's your professional plate where you do straight lines. Well, and it doesn't pull in, your fabric doesn't pull inside yeah. the body of the machine. Leave it on all the time. Oh no, because if, if you come to zigzag, it won't yeah, make no, you do it. Yeah, no, then I have to take it off. And yeah. also, I'm not absolutely certain. I haven't even tried it. It work, use, works with the walking foot because it comes with the walking foot. Oh yeah, it will do. So I take it off when I use the walking oh, foot. Oh no. I know, because I'm just worried about breaking something. Anyway, there we go. So I've now got a little row. So I'm going to join them all together to make a whole thing. But it's easier, and I don't know why, but... It, just because of the angles, but always ma match up the bottom. Because I know that this is the tricky bit, right. is making sure that when you put the roof in that it all matches up. So if you just take the time to match up the bottom and mark everything, it's yeah. easy peasy after that. Also, you don't have to worry about quarter inch foot or anything like that, because if you've got your lines drawn, yeah. just have your normal foot on, can't you? Well, also, when you because you've wadded these and quilted them, I just think it makes it a bit easier. Yeah. I mean, you know, for though for everyone out there who's super experienced who knows what they're doing, they won't need. They'll understand all this, but I just think um, it just makes it easier to match everything up. Yeah. And you know, if you get your seam allowance slightly wrong, the roof is not going to fit. No. So we're ready to add the roof now. What I will say with the roof is that I, it will fit beautifully, and I'm going to show you how. Right. But if you get anything slightly wrong, don't worry because this big main roof covers up everything. 
So there's a roof on the inside. That's yes. not the outside no. roof. There's a roof on the inside a... to, to encase everything. And then you've got a decorative roof. That's over. put on afterwards. Oh, well, that's fine then. So if you get anything slightly wrong, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Right. So what you do next is you make the handle. The handle is on the panel. It's um, slate tiles with birds and flowers. Oh, nice. Obviously. So you make the handle, and I've done mine in advance, really easy. You just... Turn it, turn, turn it, it, turn inside out. Do you turn it? Is it a ruler the route that you pull through, or is it one you turn them into the middle no, and then to the side? tube. Okay, it's a tube. And then you turn it right inside okay. out, and then you top stitch. So place the short ends together, mm -hmm. and then take one of your inner roof pieces. They're exactly the same, so it doesn't really matter. And find the centre of the top edge. Mm -hmm. The top edge. Well, when you see the panel. The label is at the top, but I've got the lines going that way. Right. And then place the handle in the centre, mm. but make sure it extends by half an inch. Right. And then it makes the handle stronger. Mm-hmm. How? Um, well, because if you've got that right on the edge, when you lift it up, you could pull it and the fa just the fabric threads will just pull through. But by having it there, it won't pull out. Kay. So you can measure that if you like, but about half an inch. Half an inch. Then take the other roof piece. You can take the labels off now, but if you keep them on, you see, you can then see what the top yeah, yeah, is. Yeah. Put that right sides facing. And remember, we've already marked the inner roof um, lines all the way round, quarter yeah. inch all the way round. Now you can tack that handle into place. I was going to say you've got a pin on the inside. Or then. you can just move the pin. Yeah. So when we sew the roof together, again, start and finish quarter of an inch from each So end. all of these seams are starting and finishing quarter of yes. an inch in from the raw yes, edge, they aren't are. they? So, just a little reverse stitch. When you get to the roof, um, the handle, sorry, go slower because it's yeah. thicker. And then do a couple of, go forwards and backwards, and then that's extra strong. Right, because obviously, yeah. if you fill yours with lots of weight, you don't want it to, the handle to come out. Yeah. So and I just pick mine up with the handle all the time. I don't even think <laughs> about that. It, you know. But if you've got the X, so that will stop it coming yeah. out. So there we go. There's the roof. Now Lovely. We, now it's ready to sew on. So that's super strong. Um, so I would start sewing in the top point of the roof. Right. Now, normally... So I'm, putting, I'm getting a bit hot. Why have I put my sleeves up? <laughs> You're hot. I'm getting a bit hot. So I, put the, I put the aircon on earlier. Yeah, it's fine. It's still on. Um, normally, when I sew on something like this... I, oh, no, it's that one. I... Um, pivot the needle so I'll sort of sew one side pivot the needle turn it round, pivot yeah but to get this absolutely accurate I would start and finish each time right particularly if you're new to this yeah I would as well um, so you don't need to press this open just open it with your fingers now you can see that I've started and finished quarter of an inch and then you can see where the quarter of an inch and the reason you did mark it like this because obviously that's more than a quarter of an inch yeah, from there yeah. to there so pop a pin through where those lines intersect and then put that through where that st seam starts. Then you know you're starting in the right place. Mm -hmm. Now you could turn it round so it all matches up, then take another pin, keep that, that seam needs to stay open really. So what I tend to do is pop a pin vertically that way. You can take that pin out and then put one that way. And then when you get to the other side, again, open up that seam just with your fingers I find when they're wadded, they don't press open very well no. anyway. So, and then if you match up, because you need to, that the end of that seam, that quarter of an inch, needs to match up with where those lines intersect in the corner there. Yeah, listening. So just pop a pin through. I mean, this seems like a bit overcomplicated but it will mean your roof will match up. So, I've so I'm going to sew now, starting quarter of an inch here, and then I'm going to finish at the quarter of an inch stop in there. If you hold that seam open and sew over it, it will just lie a bit flatter. While you're sewing that, I just need to do a quick round up because they have things flying out the door. The Lavender Bundle is on here. Uh, the Lavender Bundle, is it on here for me to order? Maria, yes, I'll, I'll, I'll run them all through. You mean the bundle of both of them? Or, right, okay, let's put that in for you. So that what this one is, is you get the Lavender um, doorstop and the Lavender peg bag, all with their instructions there, 29 dollars 
29.95 so you get the panel for the lavender hanging um, the peg bag and you get the panel for the lavender doorstop and you get the instructions for each of them 29.95 beautiful right lavender bit separately that's your doorstop Amy's answering people's messages. <laughs> she said, next on my list. Oh, Mojito, next on my list. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's, first of all, she put someone, uh, uh, Julie puts, I love a pina colada, and Amber makes it, oh, this one's lovely. Then next on my list is a Mojito. Okay, so that's that one there, 14 99 that's your, door, uh, your doorstop. If you want the peg bag in the lavender, that's that one there. Panel, and it's right. Half the stock of this one's gone. Over half the stock of that one's gone. So that's your lavender and lavender. Then if you want the bluebell doorstop, oh no, I'll do bluebell bundle first, bluebell bundle first. So the bundle of both of them, both the instructions, both the panels, 29.95 in the bluebell. Make sure you check out. Then you've got the doorstop. Gemma loves my shirt. Lots of people have mentioned that today, Gemma. Thank you. There's the doorstop in your lavender. Bluebell, bluebell, bluebell. It's because I just looked at lavender on there. Bluebell. Then you've also got your peg bag in your bluebell. Of all the things we've offered today, that's the most popular. We'll have to go on to demo that. We've only got a few minutes left, but we will do. Don't worry. We'll get there. Yeah. Right. Rebecca Reed, what have you done? Um, right. Well, I've sewn a few more on, but what I've done is I've done them all separately. So you can see that I've sewn each one separately. I do that anyway, I think. Just, just... With this, yeah. I mean, yeah. sometimes when I do something like sewing the base on, oh. I would sort of... Yeah, go all around. the way around, yeah. Um, so, I bet, anyway, you carry on doing that, and then that's how the roof fits on. Yeah. I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but as again, as I said... There's a whole tutorial that you can watch every, every single bit it, of it. And I show one seam at a time in yeah. detail. Um, and then this is what... That's what the door looks like when you've made it. You just sew it right sides together. Have you stitched that on before? Yes. When I it was on the flat? That, yes, which I forgot to say. That's right. So all you do is you put the door on the front so it covers up and then I have just sewn along this line for about an machine. inch and a half, yeah. yeah. And then it just gives it a hinge. Yeah. And then if you like, you can put a press fastener. Mm -hmm. I've got a button on mine as well. Mm -hmm. And then this is what the roof pieces look like. Right. So they're just um, wadding between them. And then I sewn along with slate lines. And these are then hand stitched to the top of the roof. You hand stitch them together? Yes. Or you just hand stitch it they're straight hand -stitched. on? together oh yeah oh yeah so they're hand stitched together whilst they're on there just so that you've got the handle sticking up between right. okay and then i've hand stitched oh because you have to put a hole you have to put a hole yes yes yes, yes. so you hand stitch gap. those on with the handle sticking through yes yeah and then i these are hand stitched on all the way around oh okay but because you've got the lines of the slate it makes it quite easy yeah. to know where you're going perfect um and then there's the little perch which oh, is yes. just two pieces of fabric so right sides together and then you stuff it but really 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 stiff. stuff it yeah and then when you sew it on you just sew it onto the front of here and then if you push pin because what you do is you um you sew it on after you've done all of this before you've stuffed it otherwise when you turn it right sides out i thought it might make move so right. you sew it on afterwards um and then you just sew just by little stab stitches by hand and go around about three times okay we haven't done a bottom yet then have we not no so, well once you've done the top you put the bottom on Right. In exactly the same way right. as you do the And top. you leave a bit open. And you leave a gap on one side, then you sew the perch on. Okay, how did you put your pellets in? Right, so I explained in the instructions, and I've given you the size, the a fabric, you make a fabric bag, I think that's the best way, otherwise they might start escaping. So the fabric bag is twice the length you actually need it, and you half fill it, so that you can put like an egg timer, so you put heart, the fabric in. An egg timer? Oh, like an egg timer. Yes, yes, yes. I you think you're you filling it using an egg timer. So you've got all, the, so that because the gap is small and you've got a lot yes, to put yes, in, yes, so yes, you yes. sort of fill it like an egg timer and it yeah, goes to that and little hole. and then squeezes through. Yeah, so I put on the instructions, the site, it's just a piece of fabric that you need, that you make into a bag. 
Right. You could just use scraps from this, could you? Is, it big, is that big enough? It's about that long, but you'll have somebody will have. Yeah, you might do. Yeah. But it's quite long so that you can do yeah. that. Otherwise, you'd never get it through yeah. the gap. Yeah, but any old bit of old fabric. Anything any bit of could old be cotton, anything. Yeah. But it's just a bit safer Lovely. rather than pouring them in. Yes. You can imagine oh, yeah, yeah if you pour them in, then stitch it, then they could be going. Well, they'll be going yeah. all over the place. So you stuff it, you put the filling bag in, and then you carry on yeah. stuffing it. So Lovely. it's really simple. Perfect. Right, let's get on to the peg bags now then. If that's all right with yes, you. Yes, that's fine, guys. Well, I've shown, I wanted to show you the, the quarter of an inch starting and stopping bit that was quite important. So, peg bags. Both the peg bags are really, really popular. Blue one's absolutely flying out. It's because it's perfect. Oh, fewer than 20 of the blue ones. And how many? Okay, and there's more people going in the basket. So if everyone checks out, that's sold now, the blue one. And the, line, the lavender one's not far behind. Right. Now, this is really easy. I see. Okay, really easy. So if you've not done much sewing, this is easy. Yeah. So there's all you, again, with the same thing with the doorstop. You've got all the applique pieces. You choose whether you put the name of the house on. You've even got a label that you can put on if you're making it for somebody. Yeah. Write their name on. So there's all the pieces. But you also get, because there was some space, so Amy filled it, you get like a couple of little charm squares. Lovely. You can make whatever you like with. Mm -hmm. Wellies. So there's yeah. all the extra bits on the panel. So the bit I wanted to show you. Now, you need the front outer and the front lining to start with. Now, if you look on the front outer, this is a free bird because we're going to cut him out. Oh, OK. So you can have him. Because the idea behind the peg bag is I wanted the bird in the nest to show through. Yes. So we're now going to make a hole. Yeah. So you have to make a hole. So he, so the bird in the nest, oh right, you, you're cutting that one out. Yes, he, you do it we now, won't. do you? Yes, so we, because we're going to make a hole. Oh. But it's just Amy filled that. Well, it yeah, yeah, rather waste it. Space. Yeah, good on him. So what you do, if you turn it over, you can see the black line. Yeah. If you're unsure at all, I mean, I said hold it up to a window, but you really can't no, you see can the see black it. line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you want to be absolutely sure, just take a pencil or an erasable pen and draw around it. Do you not like saying friction? Fri a friction pen um, it doesn't but it, that it's up to you if you it just depends maybe on what light you're sewing in because I I think it's really clear yeah but obviously we couldn't print on the back of the fabric so we could only print on the front anyway okay. then take the um, peg bag front outer that's why it's important that you put the labels on because we've got front outers front linings back outers yeah you, you'll forget make sure everything lines up all the way around they're exactly the same size so it will but you just make sure that it's it like one of Hannah's t-shirts <laughs> it's, it's the weirdest shape but I really wanted a roof because I've seen peg bags but they don't have the, the, the arms yeah I wanted arms so make sure everything's lining up that's really important um, and then pin it together you're going to be sewing along this line and it's easier to keep it nice and straight if you don't have to take the pins out. Yeah. So put your pins in about half an inch to an inch away from the line, and mm -hmm. then you will have to take them out. Because that's a bit annoying, isn't it? It will just stay straighter. When you get yours, make sure yours hasn't been folded up overnight like mine is and has gone and been yeah, pressed. Yeah, you press those out. Mm. Right, so just take the time to just pin it, but away from the line. Now I'm going to sew all the way around the line. I'm going to reduce the stitch to about two for this. Oh yes. Just because I really want to stay. I mean, it's quite a gentle curve because it's a big circle, but just to be certain. So again, easy because you've either drawn the line or you can see the line. I mean, you might have to pivot occasionally, but because it's quite a gentle curve, it's only every few stitches. Stop being impatient. Wait till your needle's down before you pivot. I'm so impatient. If your machine's got a needle down setting, make sure you put that on, then it always lands up at the in because you want to try and pivot it while your needle's up. Yes. It gets cross if you do that. That's what I love about this machine, is that if I do something it doesn't like, it just gets cross with me. Yeah. And complains, and then it won't let me do it. Yeah. Like Ian, really. <laughs> Which is great, isn't it? Because you sort of want... You, you don't want to be allowed to do things you're not supposed to do with it and it won't let you. Yeah. Now, I've got a question. Nothing to do with sewing. Mm. Has Happy gone on his flight of fancy yet? To, what's it called? Finding himself. And, do no, next Thursday. <gasps> next oh. Thursday. So he's finished work now. So you've been your hot potato. He finished work. You've been yes. on your double holiday. Yeah, we went to Portugal. Yeah. And then he's And had you stood next to a... 
beach hut and had your picture taken. Yes, yeah. in the pyjama beach hut yeah. place. And then we, he's had a couple of weeks. Um, he's actually got a new job. Oh! Thank goodness. Yeah. Because obviously he finished the other job. Yeah. And then With the nothing. week before he finished, he got a new job. And it's in Bath, so he can walk to work. Oh. Which makes it so much easier with the dog. And then he said to me, he can't start because he's got to go and find himself in yeah, Kuala Lumpur so or somewhere. Go, so. Well, he's going next Thursday going to Nepal for three Oh, weeks. that's right, Nepal, yeah. And um, he's, it's been quite handy because he has been cooking tea. Well, yeah, but you know he's not going to be there. It'd be different if he knew he was, when you got back. He hasn't hope. got the concept of that I'm working. Yeah. That's what he seems to have missed. He'll go, oh, Bex, you'll just come and tell me. And I go, no, no, no. I'm working. So anyway, he's going on okay. Thursday right. for three weeks, and that's it. The house is going to descend into chaos. Oh. Me and Sebastian, it's just going to, I don't think we'll even wash up. <laughs> or wash. <laughs> well, you think it's going to be wonderful. <laughs> then he's back for two weeks, and then he's going off cycling in Spain for two Hang weeks. Hang on, when's he starting his new job? June the 15th. Oh. I don't know how they've let him get away there. He has been in twice for like... Um, we could be, Dover. you know what, we could, we could be spoiled. He could have gone in going, oh, I'm not allowed, because I did this once, <laughs> oh, I'm not allowed to leave my other job until June. <laughs> and then I went on holiday <laughs> and came back and went, well, I was like, well, well, you know, but anyway. Right, go on. So you've sewn around the stitches. Yes, I've sewn around that. Now I'm going to cut it out. <gasps> so with we, normal scissors. With normal scissors. Now, if you want to keep this bird, yeah. then cut around the edge of it. If you don't care, then just cut through the middle. Yeah, but don't cut through the layer below. Yeah, we're going to cut through all of it. Oh, all of it? <laughs> yes. So, if you want to keep the bird... You cut it through all of it? Yes. Oh, OK. Right? So then it's not... OK. Don't cut through it. Then yeah. start cutting there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Now, you need to cut about a quarter of an inch inside from the edge. Oh, I see what you're doing. So I thought it was going to be reverse applique, but it's not, is it? No, well, I think this is the the neatest way. So no, this and is it's stronger. It's a yes. stronger way to it, because that's where you can put your hand in and out, well, isn't it? Well, that's got the time, most... Yeah. The area of most... Stress. Stress, yes. Um... And I, as you can see, you don't have to cut it neatly. No, it doesn't matter. About a quarter of an inch is about right. Yeah. So cut it all the way around. So it's a bit like your post box opening zip, isn't it? Well, except, yeah, that's not round. <laughs> same same <laughs> principle. So if you do want to keep your bird, then cut around the edge of it, not through the middle. Yeah, and you get a piece of lilac as well, yeah. lavender as well. And then little snips all the way round, about a quarter of an inch, half inch apart. Try not to snip into the stitching. If you do, don't worry, just pop it back under the machine yeah. and stitch back over it and go Ugh, like that. Because <laughs> I did that. Okay. When you when you're rushing. So you do need to do this though. Yeah. I mean you could cut it with pinking shears mm. and then you wouldn't need to do this. Mm. I don't own pinking mm. shears. Don't you? No. I thought you would be a pinking shear no, person. No, never. We weren't allowed to use them at college. I well, see, that's why I'm surprised, because I thought that's what everyone did, rather than all that zigzag business. I thought. Well, no, when we first started, because we were doing period costumes, we had to um, hand whip every seam. Oh. We f so we'd overlock by hand. Yeah, but then at least the fabric wouldn't fray if you pinked it. Well, it doesn't, pin doesn't fray if you hand... No, I guess not. So... That actually, I would probably do pink and shears. I didn't put that in the instructions because everyone's got them. Yeah. Now, the, the, this is the important part. Right, okay. We need to press this open. What you, a circle. Yes, you don't have to do this, but Ooh. the time it takes to um, do this saves more time than trying to get this to seam line right on okay. the edge you turn it right sides out. So do take the time. You have to do it, unfortunately, after you've snipped it which is a bit annoying because then you've got to turn every tiny little bit over. Whereas if you could press it open before you snip it. You could press it open before you snip it and then yeah, it you've got twice as much snipping to do yeah, and you're and too impatient to yeah, do that. Yeah, exactly. And also it, the little iron might be good for this rather than a big, big iron, do you think? Like little hand. Yeah, probably. So press it open all the way round. Just aware of time. Yeah. Um, it's fine. Once you get the point of your iron in, it starts, you sometimes can pick it up. Yeah. So I'm not going to do that because it's going to take No, no, it takes too long. Right. Also, that, oh, I can't get to it. Those little stilettos are really good for that as yeah, well. Yeah, so you could use, then when you've done that, we're going to post one through to the other. Why do you think you need to, why do you think you need to press it open? Um, just because that seam has got to lie on the edge and if you press it open, it just lies on the edge easier. Okay. Even if you did it with your fingers, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just find that the time it takes to get that rolled and all right on the edge, it's quicker if you do it to that do it way. This way yeah. So just post one through to the other, and now, once you've done that, they are wrong sides facing, mm -hmm. and you've got a lovely circle. So that's easy, isn't it? That's not. Also, once you've 
done that because we obviously we're not putting zips or anything in. Then when you come to do a post box opening zip, it's the same principle. Yeah. It's just not a curve. And then roll it sort of with your fingers to make sure that the um, seam is right on the edge. Yeah. And give it a good press. So I would spend a little bit of time getting this right and a bit mm -hmm. of steam, and then I would turn it over to the other side. Just to make so sure. So I, I think because the quality of the cotton and everything, I think it's quite, it, it does it it's, yeah. quite well without, you know, if you didn't want to do that Because I haven't, thing. yeah, because I haven't pressed it all open. It's just a bit quicker, that's yeah, all. Yeah. And then what you do is do a top stitch all the way around the edge. That just neatens it and it holds it inside. Okay. It just gives you a slight neat yeah. edge. So I won't do that now. No. Then when you come to join them together, this is the bit I like. It took me ages to work this out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Turn the top edges of all of them under by a quarter of an inch and press. Don't sew it. All the way around? No, just the top oh, edge. Oh, just the top just edge. That right. top just that top edge. This is where your coat hanger is going to go. Oh, of course, yeah. So turn them all under. Please do measure it. I'm not, obviously. But do measure it because they need to be the same. And press them. You don't need to tack them or pin them. Just press them. A yeah. pressing is enough but turn all of those short edges under, because this is the only raw edge, if you see what I mean. Yeah. Everything else is in case, because I was trying to make it, because this is going to be hanging on your line, you're going to forget to bring it inside, yeah, it's if you're going to get wet. like me. Yeah. Um, so it needs to be quite durable. So take the front outer and the back outer and place them right sides facing. Right. Matching up the raw edges, and then we're going to sew them together all the way around. But what you mustn't do is sew into the lining. So, what you do is you fold it like this out of the way and pop a pin in it, and then it won't get caught. Right, because if you sew into that, it won't work. No, it's not going to say no. Right, so now I can pin them together. So, you're going to pin them together all the way around. Is there a video for this as well? Yeah, yes. So, you, and I do all of this the whole stage yeah. of this. So you can see. So they'll all match up easy because they're all the same size. Pin it together all the way round. Mm -hmm. And then you will sew it together all the way round. And what you do is you start and finish at the top of this turn. You don't do I leave the whole of that turning the open? The whole thing. So you start sewing at this end yeah. and you finish it and this stays right. like that. Mm -hmm. And you don't top stitch that down and anything no, like that? No, no. Because... Um, I mean, you could if you wanted to, yeah. but you don't need to. Okay. If you wanted to add a bit of extra top stitching, okay. because you'll sew those together later. Right, you know. So have I got time to sew this together? Not really. No. Okay. Unless it's going to make a. Yeah, go on, do it. Go on, do it. Are you sure? Yeah, go on. Okay. We'll go do it. Okay. I'll just start dressing the set for the next hour. <laughs> It's, um, it's difficult fitting in two projects in one hour. Yes, it but is. But they kind of went together, so it had to have two. Well, you should have had two hours. Did you not ask? You come back. Oh, no, you can't come back. We haven't got a spare hour today, have we? Because I've got no. Scott's birthday at 12. You've got Scott on. I haven't seen him yet. Apparently he won't he's be gone out yet for, for 12 o'clock. Apparently he's gone out for breakfast. And he's taking his girls to school. That was why he said he couldn't be in at eight. Oh, well... You just dropped him in it. <laughs> well, only because I saw Cat earlier, and she said he was Which going Cat? To, not this cat, the old cat. Old cat, the old cat. <laughs> She's not, that sounds old. Yeah. The previous cat. Yeah, cat, producer cat. Yes. The old one. And I said to her, um, oh, I haven't seen him this morning. She goes, oh, he's gone out for breakfast. Oh. So she's dropped him in it then. Maybe he took his girls to school, and then he went out for breakfast. Yeah. Um. All of the, it's quarter inch seam allowance, all the seam allowances are on the pieces, so you don't yeah. need to think about anything special. So it was really important that all the raw edges were all inside, because otherwise, with your pegs going in and out, they'd all get caught up, wouldn't they? Yeah. And also, if you've taken the time to make this, you want it to last a good few yeah, years. Yeah, exactly. I've got a peg bag that Crazy Lorraine made for me. Have you? In Tula pink fabric, and I haven't got a washing line. So it, hang, no, it hangs in my hall because my office at home is upstairs now. So it hangs in the hall and any receipts or anything I've got or anything that needs to go upstairs to my upstairs oh. office rather than just leaving it on the stairs or losing it, they, I put them all in the peg oh, bag. And then when I go to do my accounts or when I need to do something, I take it all it's upstairs all up and I take it up the stairs. Why then. haven't you got a washing line just reversing a minute? Why haven't you got a washing line? 
How do you hang your washer now? How do you dry your washer? I don't, in the tumble dryer. Oh. Well, I do in the winter, but it's nice in the summer, isn't it? That smell of... Yeah, but I've got... I put all my quilts outside in the summer. I like that smell of the washing in, on the line. Oh, it gets crunchy, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does a bit. And then men's shirts. If you put them out, they dry too much outside. True. So my, sh my shirts don't go in the tumble dryer. My shirts just get hung up in the spare bedroom. Yeah, no, I do do that with shirts. I do hang them up. Yeah. I love the smell of, like, especially yeah, yeah, duvet. Yeah, 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 not now. Well, I suppose it would be nice now because the weather's nice. But oh yeah, only when yeah, yeah. when it only gets used, then you have to wash it. Yeah. So there we are, all the way round. Yeah. And then what you do is you do the same with the lining. Oh, so you scrunch this one up now. Yeah. So you take your lining, your front yeah. lining, and your back lining, and yeah. you sew those right sides together. Yeah. And to make sure you don't sew through it. So it's almost like doing a burrito. <laughs> but you're keeping it all in the middle, you don't have to turn it out, but you're just making sure it doesn't get caught. So you sew all the all way around. All the way around. So you put, uh, uh, where is it? Where's the other one? Oh, sorry, I haven't got them. There they are. Oh. It's in there, you folded all I of them I folded up. the whole lot yeah. up, didn't I? Only need to fold the middle one Yes, yeah, so just that. So, yeah, that's, so that sews to there. Yes, yeah, so the front lining and the back lining sew together. Yeah. Then when you've done that, you turn it right sides out through the turning gap in the top. Oh, okay, brilliant. <laughs> and then that's it. And that's it. And then what I did is I, you can either machine sew or hand sew the because these edges are turned under yeah you can either machine sew them together or hand sew oh them. okay and how do you get this in and out well it just goes in like this you see so what you need to do is if you um i used a normal dry cleaning hanger because i figured uh, that everyone will have one of those they're not very beautiful I haven't, my dry cleaning hangers aren't like that well yours has probably got a bar across the yeah bottom, but they do so what you do and i've even put that in my video is you lay it on top and then you get your pliers and that bit that's on the end of the pliers cuts wire yeah and you just cut it can't you leave a normal coat hanger in there well because they often have a bottom bar yeah and it was a bit longer and it would have gone across and i didn't oh, like okay. that all right then. but if you've got a coat hanger with a nicer one that will fit yeah. i just wanted to do it with something where you didn't have to buy anything special yeah no exactly I agree. Buy something specific. I agree. you will have to cut it but he's arrived place. after his breakfast out is he back he's here um, is he drunk has he been to mcdonald's no he's not drunk oh is that where they went i don't know no i thought that they could do you think they there. went somewhere nice no i don't think he goes there he'll go somewhere posh mind you uh, anyway <laughs> well greg's <laughs> yeah. So Got anyway, message. so that's Hi, it. Hi, Rebecca. I love the peg bag. A smaller version would be better. Oh, no. A smaller version would be great, great for, for sewing, sewing clips. clips. Yeah, that is a good idea, isn't it? I made a little bag for my sewing clips. So much better. Just got the peg bag. Can I quilt it? Do not use. Samantha. Ooh. Do <laughs> Samantha, not... do not use. Could you quilt it? Uh, you could quilt it, yeah, if you really The only thing you have to be careful of is when you're turning it in, it's going to be bulkier. Cause you're it gonna, is, yeah. Cause but you, you could just say quilt the front, couldn't you, if you wanted yeah. to add all the details on. Yeah. yeah. And don't forget all the applique pieces as well. There is, yeah. I was looking for my clip. Yes, yeah, so you do need a little back. I made this as a, um, a practice one for a kit that I've got coming up at the end of May. No, we've already done this. Yeah, I used a bit of spare fabric, but I was doing a little oh, prototype yeah, for another kit. Yeah, for the kit. new one. Oh, and okay. it's so cool, because look, I've got all of my clips. You know how when you... I've had them in plastic bags yeah. and all sorts. So pleased with that. But they see, if you have lots and lots of clips, like Susie, <gasps> you could fill all of that with clips like next to your sewing machine. You just could. dip into it, couldn't That's you? That's a really I won't good idea. Good idea. Anyway, thanks ever so much for coming in. There you go. It's for the hour. Just for the hour. I'm going home now. Yeah, she's going home now in the sunshine. As well... I've got to go and... Oh, I'm doing another recap. Oh, I've got to go and recap. Okay. Sorry, oh, I thought we'd gone over, up. we couldn't recap. I can tidy up while you are. Right. Bundle with both bits in. Hang on, hang on. That's the light lavender one and the lavender one there. So you get the... the um, Doorstop and the peg bag and both instructions in the lavender, $25.95. Then you can get both of them with the blue bell, $29.95, sorry. Blue is the bit more popular colour. That, right, now uh, you can have these individually. They're both birdhouses. <laughs> it's alright. In the lavender, in which one? The doorstop. Doorstop in lavender is that one. You've been very invested, John, with this morning's fabulous demos. Do you mean I'm not, Julie Vaughan? <laughs> not normally. And then I've got the peg bag in lavender. More people in baskets. 
more people in baskets than we've got available check out check out check out then i've also got them in the blue the uh doorstop in the blue did you want the doorstops no thanks okay well, no, as in, did you want them with you now? Because I kept them with you. And you've gone into Susie's hour already. Don't be started to make it even longer. <laughs> 40, she'll be so angry when she gets in with you. 14, 19. I'll go out that door. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we've got two doors in that. And then the blue one with the peg bag. Check out, check out, check out. Loads of you got it in your basket. You need to check out. All the other bits and bobs, like the iron interfacing, the toy stuffing, the pellets, are all on, and wadding, they're all on the website now. Oh, don't forget, we've also got a few of the garden birds. What kind of bird's that one? Goldfinch. Goldfinch, goldfinch, the blue tip sold out. Don't go anywhere. Susie's up next. We're doing a sunshine and a rainy day cushion. We will see you in four minutes from now. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day.
Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. It was just, Darius has just been in, right? Don't know where Roy is. He's got the longest shorts on. He usually wears shorts like this big, right? He's got really long shorts on today. Oi, showing off his muscles now. Oh, yeah. Anyway, Susie's back. Oh, yeah. Look at these, look at these, look at these. Aren't they gorgeous? Oops falling over gorgeous 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 come rain or come shine or sunshine and showers <laughs> beautiful now you can make both of those out of the bundles that we've got today so whichever bundle you choose you could make one of each of those i know so let's start at the very beginning with the ones that these are made out of which is this bundle here so what you get here is you get susie's instructions now in each instruction there is a template there's a template there, but all the instructions of how to make both. There's another template page as There's well. another template further on is the for the umbrella. Is that your handwriting? Yeah. Big. It's big for me. Yeah. So that's your instructions there, and this is the bundle. So what you get in this one is you get your half a meter of your cream splodge, and then you get four fat quarters. This is gorgeous, this. Is that it biscuit, is. carpet biscuits or something like that? Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, I love it. Okay. Oh, hang on. This, I can't. I can't catch, Hannah's just saying something. Yeah. I was going to say this. I was gonna, this is cave. Yeah, this isn't Liberty. Yeah, it is cave. For some reason, I've only put Liberty in it because there's Wiltshire Shadow. Yeah. There's your Wiltshire Shadow. There's your cave. Now, I can't remember. I, I think. You see, I think that might have been the one that was called Carpet Biscuits, but then I got the name wrong on the day, and it's, I've remembered that it's Carpet Biscuits. Can you remember? Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's beautiful. Whatever it is, it's gorgeous. So you've got Wiltshire Shadow Liberty, Caif, whatever that's called. You've got the Yellow Splodge, and then this. That's cute, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know what that one is. No, I didn't. That's get not either Caif or Liberty, I is it? I didn't get a name on my salvage either, so I can't help you. No, don't worry. It's beautiful, though, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Like, they automatically reminds me of sunshine, the whole of that bundle anyway, but you're going to be doing sunshine and showers. So with these four fat quarters and that half a metre, you can make both of these cushions. And the backs. And the backs. And the backs. For £24.99. How much could you sell those for? Oh, hang on. I should have to ask that, shouldn't I? Are they allowed to sell them? So what the cushions they make? Yeah, absolutely. Oh okay. yeah, yeah. No, yeah. just because that makes your policies. You can't, can you? See? Yeah. Oh, now mine's fine as long as you don't um, sell the pattern. Yeah, or give the pattern. Don't photocopy the pattern. The pattern and give yeah. it away. And if you do sell them, give it. Say it's a Susie Duncan design. Yeah. You yes. need to get. 
you need to get because you're only down as Susie Duncan on my Facebook, oh, and nice. ev everybody else I put su I put uh, you know kind of Joe Carter from Two L's Design, right? And I only have put Susie, Susie Duncan. I don't put anything else. Yeah, but because that's me. That yeah. is it. That's it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm quite simple. <laughs> so I, yeah, you said it. Twenty four ninety nine. Of course, there's loads of you coming in. It's what, Han? $24.99 and you can make both of those cushions. Both cushions for your $24.99. Now, if I only wanted a sunshine, yep. could I make two sunshines using different fabric? Yes, because the way I've written the instructions tells you which bit you're cutting for which cushion, right. so you can cut accordingly. Perfect. Yeah. So you can make, if you wanted two umbrellas, you can make two umbrellas, if you wanted two cushions, but they'd yeah. have to be different. They'd have to be, you'd have to yeah. use different fabrics yeah. You haven't them. got enough in the bundle to make two sunshines. No, 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 but if you, you could make that yeah. one, but then you could use what the leftover fabrics from there to make another sunshine there if you yeah. wanted to. Anyway, they're gorgeous. I love both of them. In your conservatory, I'm thinking. Yeah. Twenty four ninety nine. You can get both and the backs. Oh, what are you eating now? <laughs> when I went through earlier, she was on just eating. And now she's and then she was eating a cake. And now she's on parsnip soup now. Oh, love a parsnip. parsnip. Is it cold or hot? Uh, what cold? cold? No, Ooh. Hannah. What are you doing? She likes cold soup. Parsnip, apple, and ginger. I like. Pass oh, that sounds nice. I've got a soup maker now. Oh, it's going have summer. It? I don't want that. That's winter, isn't it? Why? Pa we have soups all year round. Yeah, parsnip. Anyway, what can? Parsnip and honey it is. And, uh, and um, is that no points? That's seriously a lot of sugar. Yeah. But it's free. On, it's weird on Slimming World. You can have things with a got lot. Like, you can have potatoes and pasta. It's really weird. Anyway, it works. I've never done it. 24 99 Gorgeous. Now that's only the first colourway. I've got another colourway now. Well, it's sort of the. Oh no, it's not the same colourway, but it's got the same gorgeous colours in it. Got a in cafe it. in it. So this one, you get your um, cream background. You've got a different. See, that one might be carpet biscuits, mightn't it? That's what. That's what. Carpet cookies. Oh, carpet cookies, not carpet biscuits. <laughs> No, anyway, that may, might be the one I got the wrong way round. But anyway, so you get a, a fat quarter of that. You get a fat quarter of your blue blender. You get that lovely print there. And then you get that gorgeous, like a Tudor print there. $24.99. $24.99. Uh, Christine, message Susie on her Facebook. She can send you the, the recipe there. We haven't got time to get into the recipe now. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You get the instructions and the templates. One for the sun rays, the ray sunshine, and one for the umbrella. What recipe am I doing? Me message for your soup. Oh, my soup. A recipe oh, yeah, for your yeah. soup. Yeah, of course. Uh, $24.99. You can make both cushions, remember, and the backs of both cushions for $24.99. So that makes them £12.50 each. That's ridiculous. Oh. No, good. Ridiculously good. But it also, you don't, and you get very little leftovers. I yeah. mean, when I say very little, very I little. mean, re it's oh. Susie's scrapbook. Oh, worth no, of right. <laughs> very, very using every, but some people love that, don't they? They don't want anything left over. No. 24.99. Beautiful. Keep going through for that. Right. Instructions on their own, if you don't want to use our fabric colourway, because you might have a, a room that these will go perfectly in and you want them in a different colourway. Right, okay, the instructions will reference a ruler. If you have the ruler, it makes life simpler, but you don't need to buy it. Because you do get the template for the sunshine, which is a separate piece of paper, and you do get the template for the umbrella, which is a part of the pattern. $9.99. I will show you in a minute uh, something with a ruler that you may already have. Lovely. Right. Shall I do the other bits and bobs while I'm here or shall I come back? Come back. All right. <laughs> no. No, John. We'll come back to that, she said with a mouthful of parsnip soup. <laughs> so oh, she, I'll bring these with me. She's now bring got a, a screen covered in parsnip. Yes. Go. Awesome. I can go. Um, so when you, the division of fabric if you buy the bundle is fairly obvious because your blues will be the showers and your yellows will be your sunshine. But um, 
I would, yeah, it's on. I would suggest Just that you read the destructions carefully. Oh, yes, I would. There's a lot of cutting out there. Well, it's not as bad as you think. I mean, I cut it out fairly rapidly. Oh, yeah. But it's important that you get the right piece of the right pillow. Yes, of course. So have two piles of one showers, one sunshine. Yeah. Label them. So this is where you can get your label maker and label your little What, clips. did you use your cricket for that, did you? Uh, I have a, another quick gadget for that. Um, oh. But I have labelled some with my cricket, yeah. And then you're good to go. Lovely. Really easy. Now, as John has already said, I have written the instructions where I have suggested a couple of rulers from Creative Grids that you can use for your triangles. Uh -huh. We found another one as well. Um, but uh, we've also given you the template. Now, I've cut my templates out already in Mylar. Yeah. So there's my umbrella, my umbrella handle. And I've actually cut the triangle twice because I've cut the smaller one as a separate one. Right. To the big one. You've got both. All of these templates are in your pattern when you get it. Is the little one on the, on the paper then? It is. Then? It's yeah. on the paper. Right. It's just a subcut. Oh, it's just cut. small. Oh, OK. It's same. the exact same shape, but, but it's just, just shorter. Sh yeah. shorter. But I cut two because it's easier. Lovely. Um, so I would recommend not using paper as templates. No. Mylar is always your best sh shot. But also, if you are going to use that, if you're going to do this again later on, yeah. you want to place it. They're Absolutely. sorry, they're easy to do, yeah. to fussy cut. And, and of like course, that. exactly, mylar is such a good one for fussy cutting, particularly as we've got these beautiful cookies mm -hmm. um, from Cave that we can fussy cut. So if you wanted specific pieces anyway, you can do that. I've done that for the handle for yeah. my cutting. Um, the other thing that I have done is I photocopied or reprinted actually because obviously it's my pattern yeah um, the cutting sheet and I've double checked that I've cut everything every time right and if I've used a different clip code I've put that on so I know exactly which piece is which okay because there are quite a few pieces and not all of them are obvious. Right. So are we starting with sunshine or showers? Have you noticed I've gone showers? Yeah, I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. Um, so let's start with the sunshine because then we can get rid of this ruler as well. Right. So for the big rays on the cushion, you're going to cut a strip of fabrics from your, your two sunshine colours. Um, now you can cut these uh, together the triangles or you can cut them one layer at a time yeah. but because we're on air we're going to do them together so you need your large triangle template right or the ruler suggested and it will be the size of your strip yeah which is six and a half inches and then now because mylar again is quite fragile what i tend to do is to get my normal cutting ruler oh yeah we'd never cut against and the, put it yeah. over the top <coughs> because that way I know I'm not going to be reducing the size of my template yeah. with every cut. So I'm going to cut those. Now you need three of each, so I'll do two with this one. So to do the other way, don't f you can flip it if you've got a rotating cutting mat, or you can just flip the template. That doesn't matter. If the oh no, because it's going to be going it's round going anyway, round isn't it? It's going round anyway, so, yeah. so it really doesn't matter. So that again is a great one you haven't got to think about your fabric orientation or anything. So I've got two of each, so one more. So the ruler, the other ruler that we found that works, it has any ruler you want to use must have a 45 degree and a true 45. Right. So obviously that isn't going to work because no. you've got a 90 here. But if you turn this ruler, ignoring the markings on the ruler. Ruler has this angle. By Rebecca Reed, sorry, she's disturbing Hannah. Oh, is she? <laughs> she's just nicking more cake for the journey home. Yeah, excellent. Because um, I need the tin emptied. Oh, okay. Because uh, that's going to be my seed tin. You need um, to cut your triangle with your 45 degree yeah, angle, yeah, yeah. and that is. So if I then cut up here, I've cut a 45 degree triangle. Brilliant. So you might already have that. You might want to get it because it's a is it the Lone Star? It's the one? Lone Star Diamond and Bias. And you can make, so the William Morris quilt we had on, the, you had on the previous show, you can actually make using this. Yeah, 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 Lone totally. Star. It's a really useful um, ruler to have. So I'm going to put that out the way. Uh-huh. So 
and then with your leftovers you're going to use for other bits uh, for your little piece yeah pieces as well or your leftover um, yellows when you come to sew whatever you want to do so when you stitch these together I've cut too many but never mind mm. when you stitch these together you're going to place them alternately right so I just want to make sure I'm putting them on the right sides because that's important so you lay them all out so that they look like an octagon yeah yeah and you're going to piece them in pairs now these ones have got a flat top if because I've used the template well if you haven't used the template and you've used another ruler that's a point then you just have to watch when you get to the point stop and start a quarter of an inch before because then yeah. you'll allow for movement so I'm just going to pin these and I do clip or pin because it is important that these line up so we're going to do a quarter inch seam mm -hmm. down these. Have you best pressed first? Um, I haven't best pressed this, no. It's not in here, Bruce. Oh. Let me set this going though. So we've got a quarter inch seam. And oh, hang on, my foot pedal has gone walkabout. Mm -hmm. There we go, we're back in the room. And you can chain piece, of course, which makes life a lot quicker. <laughs> can you tell I threaded the machine? Yeah. You always end up with a massive length, don't you? So these ones you're then going to press out. Okay. You need to press them all in the same direction, and that will make sense when you come to put it. So I've suggested you press them towards what I've called fabric one, which in this instance is the dark yellow. Right. So set your seam and then press out. Same again for this one. And then we're going to join these two pairs together. So when they come together, again, make sure you're keeping it all in the same order. Yeah. You're going to line these up again, mm -hmm. and you'll find that these seams will nest really nicely at that point, which means that your middle isn't going to be all bulky and yuck. Yeah. <laughs> that is a technical term. Yeah, of course it is, yeah. <laughs> and then we're just going to stitch those down. And then this time, when we press, we're going to press it so that everything's flowing in the same direction. You're going to press towards the other fabric. Oh, OK. I know that sounds weird, but that way, everything then is like a carousel yeah. on the back. So you're going to do that with all eight of the triangles that you cut. And yes, you should have this quarter inch difference at the point, mm -hmm. because then when we put these two together, they will all line up. So I nest those two together first. And then bring out my others so that they all match. Mm -hmm. And that one doesn't quite, so I've done something wrong. Oh. oh. What have I done there? Done it on a different machine. Oh, no, it's all on the same machine. Uh, Is this yours? Have you brought yours with you? Well, I've got one, mine's at home, but it's yeah, no, the no, same no, but machine. Yeah, even, even, yes. even so, sometimes yeah. it's um, it's not there. That out. It might just be the way I've pressed. It's okay because we're going to even it out anyway. Okay. So then we're going to stitch that down. Just as you go through that center, just. Be aware that you've got a lot of bulk going yeah. there, so don't rush it. That was a very wibbly seam then, to go with my sunshine and showers. 
Right, and then this time we're going to press that seam open. Now look, I'm off. I will unpick that at home and redo okay. that. <laughs> well, your centre's off. Yeah, it's only very slightly. And bear in mind, I cover the centre with a button anyway, because by the time you've done all your applique, the centre looks quite messy. Oh, OK. Um, because you got, you've got another four. If you yes. want to, you can add another four little rays. Yeah. And I just covered up the centre with uh, a button, which I think adds detail anyway. Mm. Um, yeah, you can have buttons on cushions. Well, you can if they're decorative cushions, mm. can't you? If, you? if it's one that's supportive, I no, wouldn't no suggest zips. it. No, I'm not a zip fan anyway. Yeah, button just leaves a little round, like, beauty spot on your face, a zip can leave behind. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. So what we now <laughs> need to do is to decide which way you're going to orient it, and then you're going to court the corners go on and the corners are squares from one of your blues and you're just going to cut them in half <coughs> so it's just a diagonal corner to corner cut in half and then we're going to stitch those on and they should overlap the edges because yeah. that way when it goes on the cushion it'll be the right way round. Mm -hmm. So we would stitch those on and you're doing it's quite easy because it's at every alternate fabric yeah. so as long as you start with one. Now the other thing you can do is draw or just yeah, by can you, eye. Can you do, uh, Bruce saying can you do yeah, it over there? I can, can sorry it, Bruce. Um, what you could do is pinch together, match those two seams, find the centre point so you know where your centre yeah. is. Oh, we had this yesterday, indent and outdent. Indent and outdent. Yeah. So those went right sides together. So these need to go wrong, wrong sides, sides together. together. Finger press. And then they'll flushly, yeah. flushly. They'll sit very flush together. Flushly, they'll flushly. sit flushly. They'll flushly fit. Gosh, it's been a very long week. <laughs> It's only Thursday. I oh, know. What do you mean it's only Thursday? There's only one more day to go. <laughs> Don't count the weekend. Okay. Don't you work at the weekend? Yeah, I so. work every yeah. day. <laughs> I work at the weekend. I do. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. That's that one. Mm hmm. And that one will go on there, and we'll ignore the fact that that one's not quite right. No. Just hide that with the I'll piece of fabric. I'll just hide that, because it's not the end of the world. No one's going to lose any sleep over it. Well, I probably will, but that's my issue. Oh, Susie in Denmark is watching. Oh, hi. From S&J's Crafting Space. That's exciting. Oh, now I've already bought a quilt, says Julie, and now Susie is raising temptation again. Oh dear, I'm sorry, Julie. I don't know, where are we? I was, you're What's the matter shrapnel. with your thread cutter today? I don't know. It has cut. It has oh. cut. Um, you coming so, over here? Yeah, I'm just going to press this one because I know we're a bit short of time, so and the other one is probably going to be the longer one. Oh, so. okay. So you do all four corners, and then I recommend that you then square off. Yeah. Um, and then what you're going to do is from leftovers of your fabric, you can choose which you use. You're going to cut the smaller. Um, rays. Rays. Gosh, I couldn't think then. And you can either use the template and just cut it down, or yeah. you can cut yourself another one. So I'm just going to use this one that I have here uh, from earlier and just cut it down slightly. Let's do it about there. As long as they're all the same size, you can cut these any size, to yeah. be honest. Mine's well, you don't have to have the same size, you could have different they sizes. They could all be you? different sizes, and if you've got a 30 degree triangle, uh, 
ruler. Ruler. Why don't you? You know, you can even make them a different angle, which would be exciting. Hi, John and Susie. Well. Love all of Susie's demos. What size is the rectangular you're using, please, from Bex? This one is the six and a half by twelve and a half inch. Graphics coming in. Boots. There you go, twenty-three ninety-nine. This is the one ruler that I would recommend everybody has in their stash. Yeah, definitely. Bex was using it earlier as well. We didn't have to put the graphics through on so that. So you can either keep them so that they're larger, or you can cut them down. I think I cut them in half actually. Yeah. Which is much better. Yes, you did. Yeah, I did. There you go. And I think you might have cut the end. Of, well, let's say, put it on. Let's have a look. I think the end looks, looks like it's on a jaunty angle. Oh, no, it does it naturally. No, it does it naturally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, you've, because it's a 45 degree angle, yeah, yeah. it will cut it smaller. So what I do is put, I use Bonderweb on the back of my... Yeah. And I just put Bonderweb on the back. And then you just use whatever applique stitch you want. And Lovely. then I added some top stitching to give it that sort of ray look. Yeah, you even out. did the uh, blanket stitch around the big ones as well, even though, they were, even yeah. though they were set, I did. sewn I down. Pique, I looked, made it look like the whole thing was a plique. Mm -hmm. um, and all your points will meet in the middle. But as I say, by well, the right? time you've applique, mine did. Well, that one didn't, but <laughs> mine did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you still um, put a button over and it. And then I put a button over it. Well, because I like the button detail because it's the centre of the sun. Yeah, which well, should be hotter then, shouldn't it? Well. I'll just use the fabric yeah. that was sent on. Nice. Okay, so Lovely. that's the sun. And your backing for the, uh, your borders are. Um, oh, yeah, here. Yeah. yeah, so the border. Oh, it's a, diff a different one, yeah. Is, so your, is your. Is your. back. Same one, yeah. yeah. It's the creams. So you're going to just put them, uh, I think I did side side and then top and bottom. Yeah, and then and you then did the binding. And then the binding, you just cut strips of your second fabric that you've chosen and join them end to end, press those seams out, uh -huh. fold it in half and that's your binding. And I I like to hand sew, so I um, stitch mine to the front, take it to the back and hand sew it on, but you yeah. use whatever method you like. Lovely. Um, but I have given those instructions in the book as well. So that's the sunshine. Okay. The backing is one piece of your Right. I was going to say you're going to have a bit because you haven't used as much yellow in that one, but it's there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you use one piece for this. If you don't want to and you want to make you know, other cushions, yeah. then use your own fabrics for the backings and then you've got them, haven't you? And um, I did a stripe with this so mm -hmm. that when you turn it round, you've got like a stripe yeah, effect. Yeah, lovely. Bumblebee. Things. Yeah. So that's the sunshine. Brilliant. Um, Before you do that, I need to give a stock warning. The one, these ones are samples made out of. Just well over half the stock is gone. Okay, we're at the situation where if everyone checks out, they've all gone. Oops. Oh, sorry, I can't hear you today, Hannah. It's really quite, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, no, they've not all gone. There'll be eight left. When everyone checks out, there'll be eight left. Okay. So let me just find me other templates so the the, the instructions are written so you, you're making one and then the next one yeah. because that way you can decide you don't, if you, I don't you don't, don't muddle them up muddle. yeah exactly yeah. so again you cut all your pieces for the other one for the showers and I start by making the the pointy rim of the umbrella yeah so we're going to do that first oh, hang on, there you go this bit here. Yeah, lovely. So we're gonna take, oh, you know what? I've forgotten to get out my bag. Oh, what? It's all right, no worries, it's in here. I got a bag within a bag. I know, well no, that's a, a roll for my scissors. Oh, and this is just a traveling kit? Yeah, this is my travel kit, yeah. Oh, that'll do. What are you looking for? One oh, them. friction pen. <laughs> Nothing important. <laughs> yeah, so, your little squares that you're cutting, you're going to mark one diagonal. Right, yeah. Bear in mind you're going to cut one bit off. So just if there is a picture on there that you want, make sure your diagonal goes accordingly. Yeah. Or just go with the flow. It's up to you. But if you start at the middle and work outwards, your fabric's less likely to ruck. 
than okay. if you go straight across. So the first one, and you can you must do these one at a time. If you do them together, it doesn't work. So you're going to place the first one on the left hand side with the point going from to, not just over the middle to the bottom left. Okay. And we're going to stitch a straight uh, line. Shh, please, thank you. Are they being noisy? Yeah, they're getting very carried away in there. It's too much sugar, that's what it is. Hannah's, Hannah's encouraging them, that's the thing. She's so in. Could, what we want? We could, don't forget, we can see you from here. <laughs> so I'm just going to bring this back to <laughs> yeah. the plain stitch. And we're just going to stitch along that marked line. Yeah. If you don't want to mark the line, you don't have to, but I like to have something to And you're sewing on follow. the line, yeah? I'm sewing on the line, yeah. yeah. Oh. What is going on? There you go. Has it done it? No. Has my bobbin run out? No. What's gone on? Bear with, caller. What have you done? I don't know. It stitched it and then undid it. Let's try well, that's again. clever. A machine that stitches and and and, and does it. Does yeah. Gosh, that'd be amazing. Wouldn't it? Right, that's it. Thank you very much. There we go. Lovely. So you can use your rotary cutter you, and a ruler if you want to, or you can use a pair of scissors. But all you're doing is cutting away that seam allowance yeah. there. I don't use those I for don't anything you. other than stuffing. You do want to press this out to make it a square again. So you press out towards the corner mm -hmm. and then we're going to put in this other one. So the other side goes in the opposite orientation. So the middle one's at the top and you've got it coming down towards the side and they Kay. should overlap in the middle. If you don't want them to overlap in the middle, then cut the squares smaller, but use the same method of attachment. Mm -hmm. And I would still do one at a time because that way you're not going to risk anything not being where it should be. Thank you. So I've gone ahead and done the others already. So we can put this row together. So mm -hmm. you're going to do four of those in total. So we're going to join two together and they will you need to match those point pieces there. Right. Which they should do quite easily. And then we'll stitch a quarter inch uh -huh. seam. So we're just going to switch our feet again and put it back on a quarter inch foot. That's it. And we're good to go. It's all very quiet, isn't it? Yeah. We're in the sewing room. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, before I press this, I'm going to add the other pieces. Uh -huh. So I've already done one side, right. so I'm working the other way now. Oh, okay. So this one goes on here. Now do watch, if you're buying the bundles, the cream fabrics have got a right and wrong side. Yes, they have indeed. Because there's a tiny little yeah. spotty dot on one side. So do watch that you place them in the right way round. Yeah, so it's got like a little yellow speckle, hasn't it? Yeah. But it's... It's so subtle that it's very easy to get it the wrong, the way, wrong around. way around. And then when it's all put together, you'll notice it. Exactly. So that one then joins onto these two. Like that. And then last of all, we've got this one here. So we've made like this row to go at the bottom of the umbrella. Uh -huh. And 
all of those seams I'm going to press open because it just makes life a lot easier when you then come to put the rows together. Uh -huh. Your bulk is very much reduced. So a little iron would come in handy. A little iron would be perfect, which is what I have at home yeah. on my table. I have this one upstairs for the big pieces and our clothes. Not that we iron many clothes. Uh -huh. I miss, I miss ironing actually, I used to like ironing. Did you? Yeah. What, clothes? Yeah, I used to do all the, because my children's school was proper shirts. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So I had 25 shirts every week Oof. to iron. Did you great. do them all in one go on a Sunday night in front of the telly? I did. Oof. Yeah. No, I don't do that, I just iron as I can eat, iron as I go. I'm just going to square this off a little bit, just to take the dog ears off more than anything. Mm -hmm shouldn't have to take too much off but it just gets rid of all the loose threads and saves me cutting them in between because I'm rubbish at doing that yeah so then you're gonna layer up so I've done some already so I've already done the handle one so right. this is the critical one that it because you don't want your handle splitting no too. exactly yeah so this one you need to make sure you get them aligned okay have I done it right? No, you've done something different on this one. Yes, I have, because I run out of... I oh, OK. But you won't run into fabric at home. It's not that you run out. If you don't cut it according to the instructions... And you didn't cut it to your own instructions? No. Fine. Because I was busy watching a film. <laughs> <laughs> no one to blame but yourself. Exactly. All, all we mean is, you see this yeah. panel here? Yeah, that doesn't that's normally... That's got a seam in it there. It doesn't normally have a seam in it. And the one on the it. wall behind me hasn't got a seam yeah. in it, that was all. But it, it just goes to show that if you do make an accidental mistake, you can always get round it, because as long as your final piece is the right size, you can piece yeah. them. Um, but yeah, it was because I was watching watching a film and got carried away. Oh, you see, I can't do that. I can't even... T t answer. If, if I get a text message that needs to be answered in the middle of a film or a TV show, yeah. I have to stop it answer tech message and then yeah. go back to the telly I can't because otherwise you miss it I miss what oh Ooh. oh does this table. Does well, let, I'm gonna let Scott lean on this table he can see how it's broken does it not? yeah it's one of those supermarket things um, and I've my these pieces on the end that I've put on are deliberately longer because it just allows a bit of wiggle room right, okay. and you can trim them because you're going to square it off when you finish doing all your rows mm -hmm. anyway, so that's fine. So we're going to stitch that down. Um, I quite like having something. I, d I don't watch anything that I need to concentrate no, on. No, exactly. Well, you have to concentrate on Married at First Sight Australia. You can't be dis. Oh, I don't watch oh, things like oh, that. Oh, you sure? No. I tend to watch all the old films. What, like now Voyager and All About Eve and things like that? Yeah. 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 Um, or ones that I know so well. Yeah, that well I that's could it. In I fact know uh, All About Eve and, 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 yeah. and um, Now see Voyager my, so well. See I could mine just, are the Kelly yeah. Grants and, yeah, exactly. and all the Audrey yeah. Hepburns. I know all of those. Or I have an audio book of a classic in my ear because, again, I know all of those. So. Or classic like John Scott's Threads of Life, one of those. Yes, yeah. I have, have been reading that again. But at the Actually, moment, it's, it's on a cruise line or it somewhere. It is. It's on a cruise. It's gone on a trip, which is quite exciting. So again, make sure you've got your fabrics the right way up. Yeah. Because they have got a spot one side and not the other. And so this is the top bit of the umbrella. So you haven't you haven't I've done your applique yet? No, then. because, and I'll explain why okay. when we get there, but yeah. let me just stitch this down and then we can s trim it off. Okay. I'm dying to see which sewing machine Scott's going to use. He's not doing any sewing. Well, there's a surprise. Uh, uh, well, so not as far as I know. He it might looks do. a bit weird at the moment. Yeah, that looks weird. Yeah. It does look weird. Um, but I'm just going to press that. Now, I pressed this. Because you've got a lot of seams there, I pressed this row up towards the top right, plain yeah. row. Yeah. 
but you want to press, really press this to get it as flat as you possibly can because we are going to applique over it. Yeah. Um, and that is why, and, and likewise at the bottom, I've done the same at the bottom, mm -hmm. I've pressed down there as well. So the, when you come to applique the umbrella, and this is why I do it the way I did, your umbrella template is in your destructions. Mm -hmm. Um, I've done it so that you place it on a fold, but obviously if you're cutting it on mylar, you can just flip it and yeah, make of course. yourself yeah, make a full the whole thing. one. Yeah. yeah, but you'll need a full semicircle. Yeah. Your umbrella, I've handle. done it so the handle goes towards the left, but if you want your handle to go towards the right, all you do is flip it when you put it on your fabric. Okay. Yeah, so you can have your handle either way. Some people hold their umbrella in the left hand, so their handle. It doesn't matter. I'm, no, no, I'm just trying to think if I drew an umbrella, I, I do it going that way, the opposite way See, to you. See, I always yeah, do I that always way. Yeah, I always draw it that way. Yeah. Well, that's why having a template means you can do either. Yeah, of those. exactly. So you're going to cut your strip that you're going to cut your temp your pieces out of, and cut your them again. I've put bonder web on the back before uh -huh. I've done it, and then these should line up, but they obviously haven't because I haven't cut them big enough. Um, mm. And your, the reason why I've done it so that you piece it first is because I tend to sit these just over the edge. Oh, okay. So it's not sitting on that seam. Yeah, yeah. And by the time you've appliqued, if I bring yeah, this yeah, in, because I haven't got time for this bit. Um, by the time this you've appliqued, anyway. yeah. It's meant to be. Yeah, it is. I've oh, you've done it the other way around on this one. Yeah, I've done it the wrong yeah. size. Um, when you applique, can you see your stitches hide that anyway? Yeah. But it means that you've not got a step. Yes, yes, yes. Because otherwise yes. you'd oh, no, hit the yeah, step, so you'd jump you? up. Yeah, exactly. Um, so you you applique that one on. You'll applique the handle. The handle, if you want to make the handle longer, you can just cut it longer. Mm -hmm. But make sure that when it goes on, it doesn't go too far down because otherwise it's oh, going to fall yeah. off the edge of the cushion. Yeah. But you've, you've got it going down into the border. Into the border, but yeah. you can choose to put it higher if you want Lovely. to. The other thing with the handle, um, it's quite easy to stitch this tight curve. Just take your time as you do it. And mm -hmm. it, it moves, it's quite a good one to stitch. Um, the only extra thing I did, um, with all, both the cushions, once you've done the front and you've put your borders on, I then put H640 or wadding, whichever you prefer, uh -huh. and a layer of muslin. Right, I, I wonder why we've got the muslin, you? yeah. Yeah, um, and then I quilted so that you get that effect. So you did fabric, H640, yes. muslin as your sandwich? Yes, yeah. yes. And the quilting that I did on the umbrella top, I drew, used my template again, just moved it out a bit, made sure it was at the top and drew round with my friction. Oh, pen. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I didn't, and I just angled it at different angles yeah. to get those to curves. To get the spokes, And yeah. then that was a straight line and obviously mirrored it the other side. Lovely. And then just shadow quilted around the umbrella uh -huh. on this one. And again, Back. the backing was a big piece of one of the fabrics mm -hmm. and a big piece of the plane and my binding was the one that I'd done the umbrella out of. But um, you're yeah. going to use every scrap of you fabric, aren't you? Literally, you really do. I think you're left with about that much of two fabrics, so a strip like that, hardly any of the plain, mm -hmm. um, and very little of the others. But enough, so these are my trimmings from cutting my triangles, yeah. I've got enough to do my button covering. If you want to cover button if on umbrella. If you want to cover um, umbrella button, yeah. Fabulous. So that was it. Lovely. When Good. are you next then? Um, what's the date? 24th of May? It's oh, just okay. before the, the big... Oh, that'll be me. I think I'm doing the whole of that week, it looks like. I think Excellent. I'm doing 4th, 5th and 6th or something like yeah, that. Yeah, well, we're revisiting a cushion pattern and I've got a new quilt. That I, not my pattern, I'm doing somebody else's quilt that day. Oh, very so, nice. Yeah. We'll see you then then. Indeed. I'll just do a quick Enjoy. recap of everything that you've used over here. Hang on a second, I'll just clear up the party wear wrappings. <laughs> the what one? 
the bundle we started with okay then that's this one here it's like it's, it's, uh, they, they've got to get the sound in here fixed because I can, literally you and Ben I can, you can just hear a little distant voice in the background anyway so you got half a meter of your uh, lemon uh, that's cream blender mm -hmm. then you get fat quarters of the yellow blender fat quarter of the liberty fat quarter of the cave facet fat quarter of the yellow floral plus the instructions in the instructions you do get a separate template for the triangle and you get a template for the umbrella in there as well uh, plus all your instructions uh, that's 24.99 now remember you can make both cushions for 24.99 both cushions that makes a work they work out at 12 pound 50 each the cushions and that, that's the backs as well it's not just the front it's the back as well 24.99 for that bundle and then the bundle that susie was just demoing with is this bundle here where you get the cream fabric which has got tiny 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 little yellow dots on half a meter then you get these fat quarters cafe uh, the blender then that lovely that looks like a lewis nairin but i don't know if it is I'll just have a quick look. Again, I didn't get salvaged. Oh, yes, it's this, Irene. Yeah. Folk floral. I got one with writing on that time. It's really pretty. And then that beautiful, like, Tudor print one. That's lovely, that one. I don't it know what that nice, one is. Uh, gorgeous, lovely fabrics all mixed together there. Remember, you can make both cushions, and you get your instructions, both cushions for 24 99 front and back. I know. Beautiful absolutely gorgeous right other things that Susie has used in that hour oh instruction on their own instruction on their own $9.99 you get all the templates and everything in there that you need lovely and then you get the instruction for both cushions as well in there right then we've got the um mylar which i kept calling kevlar the other day kevlar. Uh, yours won't come like this this is after susie's chopped her bits out of it <laughs> i'll give that to cat now there you go cat there you go so there's your heat resistant uh, mylar yours will be a whole rectangle <laughs> imagine the whole sheet uh, we also use some Bonder web. Oh, and I think the Bonder web sold out, is it not? Or oh, has it? The little Bonder web. Sold, oh, sells uh, out all the time, doesn't it? Okay, got the little Bonder web. Two ninety nine. It was in twice. It sold out in the other hour, but it was some in this hour as well. Oh, that's good. Lovely. Then we have the muslin cheesecloth. One piece. Oh yes, plenty here. Nine. This will be. A, do you know what? This will be a brilliant pressing cloth. Yeah, um, uh, uh, muslin is brilliant because you can get really really wet and then put it down three pound 49 that yeah. one three pound 49 it's also good for putting over the top of when you're bonder webbing or putting on heat heat bondable vinyls oh yeah to stop your it sticking to your iron as it's also well. good for draining your cheese as well yeah or your jams or your jams <laughs> <laughs> or if you're making what linseed hair gel apparently it's very good for as well or lavender bags for or lavender bag oh it's endless yeah. endless we could have a whole show on that exactly. uh, then we had the h640 do we have actually no we don't have h640 in this yeah oh, i sold use out. it I sold out yeah sold i was out, gonna sold say out. it sold out but Wadding? i did use it Waddings you can use as the alternative you yeah. just use your spray don't you this is by the half meter remember this wadding mm -hmm. Six ninety nine, eighty twenty. That's half a meter. It's two hundred and forty four centimeters wide. Two and a half meters wide. That so you'll get a lot of cushions out of that. Okay. Half a meter would be absolutely ample because you could you'd fit the whole of the front of your cushion on there, wouldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. Five oh five spray. Seven ninety nine. There you go. Two hundred fifty milliliters of five oh five spray. Seven pounds ninety nine. Susie, thank you very much thank indeed. Thank you very much. Love to the family and the thank dog. You. <laughs> uh, we'll see you on Coronation Week. Yes. Make sure very you're wearing red, red, white, and blue. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, do don't go anywhere. Scott's up next. It's Scott's birthday deals coming up straight <laughs> after this four minute break. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift. 
Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. For ideas for the perfect gift, why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. 
Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. So did any of you get it right? How old is... Hang on, this isn't fair. You're standing on the great big... So I look, look even, even shorter. shorter look, yeah, that's better. Uh, like that. Happy birthday. Thank you. And it's actually today. It's actually today, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't fake it. No, it's today. And how old are you? 34. 34, yeah. I d did anybody guess that? No. So, uh, do you know where this all came from? What? So I accidentally... What, well, you were born 34 <laughs> years ago today. No. So I accidentally told probably the person who's got the biggest mouth in the office that it's my birthday today. Because I didn't really, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not like that out. I, I try to keep it to myself, right? So I didn't, well, I just walk in to work, it's absolutely fine. So I told Liam Dickens, if you don't know oh, Liam Dickens. Oh, munch. And Liam just told everybody. So, so much so that then the hobby maker schedule changed to Scott's 40th celebration. To which I was like, Liam, I'm not 40. Well, no, it's only because he's older than that, that's <laughs> and fine. Then, um, and then everybody was like, oh, you can come on here, you can come on here. So here we are. So this is how it happens. Oh. So basically, you don't tell Liam anything. No, exactly. We don't tell much anything. But no. I can tell you lots of secrets about him if you want to get him yes, back in the we future. Need to get him back. He's on air an awful lot next door, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, he's enjoying it now. He's, he's even got his own little wardrobe with yeah. all his shirts hanging up next door already. He started getting all fancy shirts. He's got his own little persona now. He'll be taking over with your shirts. He'll have more shirts. Oh, than no, you at no, some no, point. exactly. I mean. Except he's a short sleeve and I don't wear a short sleeve. <laughs> so I think people didn't think you were 34 because you're a man of huge management in the building. I know. And you've been doing it for quite a while. Uh, a year. Well, I've been doing this for a year and... Oh, no, hang on. So what did you do? When I used to come to Jewelry Maker, yeah. you were always there. So what were you there? What... Sales manager. Sales manager of Jewelry Sales Maker. Sales manager of Jewelry Maker. And yeah. then when we all merged, you became... What are you now? What Managing is your director of <gasps> Gemporia Craft. So right, okay. So three brands. So us, uh, Jewelry, Jewelry Maker, Maker. And Hobby Maker. Yeah. Oh. That's been, what, a year and nine months. So you can just bring us discounts whenever yeah, you fancy. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. Discounts. Bargains. Perfect. I don't like the word bargains. But no, discounts. no, we don't use that word. We discounts. Don't use, we don't use discounts. Bargains. Okay, so what are we starting with then? We're starting with this rainbow of fabric. Bundle. Look at all those fabrics. There's, uh, there's, tw and you'll need to talk the other way. I'm ever so sorry. 20 meters. This is the other thing you need to sort <laughs> out. No, 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 no. Um, oh. uh, Han, Han, the producer's microphone isn't working properly. So I hear Hannah through Bruce's microphone. Oh. So it's, it's, if she turns away, I can't hear anything. That's okay. the problem. But a, a close promise is that there is a new one bought. It's there. there. Is. It's sitting in the office. Stall, but we're just having the trouble. The box was there. Oh, there you go. You could have brought know, it with you. I know. Anyway, so look, 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 look. 20 meters. Each of those fabrics are 20 meters. Right? It will be Ooh. the most enormous saving. Look at the colours you get there. Uh, it, the thing is, when it's like this, it doesn't actually look like 20 metres no. of fabric. So what we always do, no, we go like How this. You, you do this. Stretch out. Yeah. Or you get a metre of each colour. Look, so it goes from the white to the cream to the yellow to the cats go mad to the bright orange <laughs> to the red. This is where, how you realise how much fabric is actually in this bundle. Now, £151.60, pence, a brilliant price on split pay. Oh, happy birthday, Scott, from Margaret in West Yorkshire. Oh, God. Um, Every time I come in here, I get told off about split pays. Why? 
Oh, well, just gets sold off by finance for split pays. Oh, by finance, not by us. Because we love them. You do cheeky things on split pays and they get sold off by finance. we love them. We love them. This is where it does show how much you got here. Yeah, we're not even halfway through yet. Look, yeah. Sorry, cat. <laughs> Look at this, so you get a meter of every single colour. Go on, you go next. Yeah, What's your favourite colour? What is your favourite colour? Uh, I've, it changes with my mood. What's the matter, Han? <laughs> oh, he's dishy. Oh, thanks. It's not my birthday, though, Hayley. I oh, know. From County Mayo. He is, though, isn't he? I wish. <laughs> What, what was that? I for? never, I, well, I can't stand next to you because it makes me look even older and uglier. Happy birthday, Scott. You'll be pleased to know I guessed your age right from Stephanie. Stop Thank creeping, you, Stephanie. Stephanie. Thank you. Right, hang on. We'd still go. Look, no, look, it. look, look. This is all, this, every single thing you get is here, right? You have to tell, you have to tell, what, what? Oh, we're down to single figures already. You don't even know the price. And that's not the price. £30 coming off that. Let's go for it. Can you work that out then? Oh, what are you making? Don't know. Oh, yellow's not your colour. No, it's not. <laughs> £121.60, <laughs> split pay £40.53. We're down gray, to single figures. More a grey kind of guy. No, no. You Message on the bottom. There's going to be loads of these. Move your hands. Hi, ah, happy Hello. birthday, Scott. You don't look at over 33 from Eileen in Merseyside. That's a very Merseyside uh, Thank humour you, going on there. Claire says happy birthday. £121.60. You get 20 metres. Now, it's all. It, now, I need to also tell you, it's not like, oh, we've gone out and bought cheaper fabric to make. This is our regular core fabric from Rose and Hubble that we sell to you every day. Our crafting weight, quilting weight fabric that you love. You buy every day from us. It's that. But you've just... We've just cut it into a metre piece of every single colour. Yeah. And Another there's no reason the why bottom. we should be at that price, just because I'm here and it's my birthday. Exactly. And Angie sends love from Great Yarmouth. Happy birthday, Scott, from Angie and Great Yarmouth. Thank you very much, Angie. Happy birthday. You I love, love white in the bug. screen. It's in the little bug in the corner. It's just like my little head. Like a little thumb. The oh, thumb look at head. you. That's Scott's birthday, dear. Is that your... um? Oh, um your past picture. No, it, do you know what that? No, it's not the past picture. And I'll tell you what that is. That's when we grew my, November, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Have you seen my past picture? No. It's from when I first started the business. It oh, is awful. Oh, no. It yeah, is awful. How old I'll have to show you. I, I think I'm like 21, <gasps> 22. Maybe. You've been here that long? No, you've been no, and gone. Before, you went away. been gone. Moved back. I'm like a boomerang. So when you're not going soon, though, are you? No. No, no. I'm not here. I'm not going anywhere. There's how many? Oh, you better start folding up yeah. now. There's only four left. Gosh, four here. left. Check out, check out, oh, check out. Hour. Message on the bottom. Message Happy on birthday, bottom. Scott. How much is your birthday going to cost me? Well, Lynn, whatever you do, you're going to get money off. That Look at it that way. It's not how much you're spending. Yeah. It's how much you're saving, isn't it? And then what I'll say is, how much is it going to cost us? Well, yeah, well, In then. the savings. No, that doesn't sound... That's not a very... Good, oh, well, anyway. Yeah, it's going <laughs> to cost us a fortune. <laughs> going to cost John us a fortune. John didn't like that. John didn't like that one. Another happy birthday. Happy birthday, Scott, from Andrea. Andrea? Uh, well, it's just when you don't work in the warehouse, isn't it? Sorry, Kat. <laughs> Here you go, Kat. Uh, have they all checked out? <laughs> once you've all checked out, they've all gone. They've you know all gone you know once you've checked out. With you, I'll just John. put it there for you, Kat. So it's easy. Do you know what I enjoy about being on air with you? What? You keep me in check. You humble me. What, you bring, what does that mean? You just keep me in check. What? What, what do you, you mean? You, you don't let me loose. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. He's doing it all himself. I'll just stand there being quiet. What you mean? I don't treat you like a boss? Is that what yeah, you mean? Yeah, I like it. I okay like it. then. That's how I like it. Right. What are these? I then? think if we were on like after the watershed, though, it'd be completely different. We did like a late night sewing street. Well, you're the boss. Bottle of champagne on the side. I don't drink. A sofa and just sit back. Yeah. Well, I can drink. You yeah, yeah, you can drink. Yeah. Then I have to drive you home. Then afterwards, <laughs> you have to drive yourself home. Right now. Well, we can drive him anywhere he wants, you know. I don't know what's going on. I'm no, sorry. I don't know what's going on. Either. Now, why are these all different sizes? Let's have a look at this. So, we've got barley pops. These are batiks. Yeah, look at your piece Just of paper. Just doing my admin. Yeah. You've got coral reef. You've got 1895 watercolours. You've got dew drop. And, oh, hang on. They're two different colours there. So, that one's harvest warmth. And that one there is ambrosia. Now, is this all four of them? We m mustn't. Mess, mix don't these mess up. This one no. up. Don't mess this Not one up. Not mess it. Okay. Don't mix it. Right? Don't mix so, it up. Don't mix it up. Okay, so look, uh, one hundred and seventy nine ninety six. Let's do the price first. Scott birthday special Hoffman barley pops mega bundle. One hundred and sixty strips in total. Right, okay, one hundred and seventy nine ninety six or fifty nine ninety eight on split pay. Where are we going today? We're giving you a price, which is you buy four and you get one free. 
What? You buy four and you get one free. There was a there was a strange commercial that used to do that, isn't there? Yeah, you buy one, you get one, one, you get one free. free. You buy pat, four, you get one free. Uh, right, okay, okay. I need to just tell you, normally these work out at a pound each. When we sell these, they're just over, a, as in each strip. Right, so you're getting 160 strips, but you're only paying 134.97. We'll open them up one at a time. You're saving over 40 pounds. Mess that, oh, mess that up, haven't I? There. Now you can mess them up, but you can't mix them with these. What are you saying, Han? Oh, I can. <laughs> no, I'm thinking. Remember the old days it's when Ian great, used to come in. It's such a great name, barley pop. Isn't barley pop, exactly. But they're, they're, what they are is they're um, they're batik fabric. So they're mm. the same. these are brilliant if you're doing confetti quilting, Delphine's confetti quilting, uh, or something like that, where you need a fabric that's not a, a white or a different colour on the back. But they're also gorgeous because they're the same on both sides. So it doesn't matter which side you get. Have you got incredible colours? Do what? What? Have you got incredible names for this? Incredible names. So normally when you do the colours, you have incredible names. Oh, no, colors, because every time it's, it's different. Every, pattern, if you look at how, imagine how many oh, no. names I'd have to get for all you of these colours. You can't carry on with no, the names. No, no, not so. I just, when I open, I'm going, ooh, 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 ooh. But I love the colours. They're beautiful. But you know how, how um, batik is made, don't you? No. Right, so they get a plain fabric. Okay. Right. They then get wax, liquid wax. Amazing. And they paint the negative... Yes, of okay. what colour? So if you do the blue one, you paint the negative, you dip it in blue dye, you lift it out of the blue dye, you let it dry, no hang on, then you take off the wax, then you draw the negative of the second pattern, because okay. all of these are different yeah, patterns, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so the amount of colours you've got on there, they've had to paint the negative in wax, then they dye it, then they pull it out. So, so each time, only the bit where the wax isn't dies. That's incredible. So you have to be able to work like kind, kind of. Um, have we ever showed that? Have we ever? Have we got? A, we need a little. What do you need to send me to Bali? Too, yeah. Hannah says she'll come with me. A trip to Bali is yeah. what we need. Yeah. A trip to Bali. Hannah and John in Bali. Yeah. No, well, I'm not we, sure how I feel about that. Yeah, but you can come. <laughs> if you came as well, then it we would... need a cameraman, though, don't we? Alan. Uh, Alan. Hannah oh no, we're John. not going with Alan. <laughs> Alan, can I imagine Alan needs speedos on the beach? I don't think so. I think Alan will keep you in check. No, Alan loves us. <laughs> anyway, look, 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 look. So this is just one, this is just one of That's them. That's just one, yeah. You got three more, four Hang more. on one second. Three more. Four in total. Drawing your arm. There you go, there you go, there you go. All the different colours. That's the first one. Then we've got this one here, which is more the purples and blues and spiritual colours. You're getting all of this, you don't have to pick. You're getting all of these. But the thing that's lovely is when you get them home, you don't need to keep them in all their separate ones. We're just doing this because poor old cat's got to fold them all up. But if you think all of these are all going to go together, aren't they? Whatever your project is. Now, there's all there's, there's Amanda Little's uh, Jelly Roll projects. There's also, also uh, yesterday, we did uh, Yvonne McAtamney, didn't we? And she said that the quilt she did was a Jelly Roll friendly. So imagine if you get mm. this and you did that, like the huge version of her um, chevron quilt from yesterday. These would make a few incredible shirts, John. I don't have a lot of seams in them. As in like the pattern. Oh yes, they? no, no, batik shirt like, fabrics are beautiful. Incredible. Yeah, like that. I've seen batiks being hand dyed in Barbados. Oh, should we go to Barbados? Barbados. We'll go to Barbados. Kat says, happy birthday, Scott. Thank you for the amazing discounts. Now, Kat has got dreadlocks and she's got pink hair in dreadlocks and she has pink eyebrows. Amazing. I know. That's phenomenal. <laughs> Remember, you get all of these, all you four do. of We've these. We've two so far. So basically, you're paying for three and you get one for free. Don't mix them up. Don't mix them up. We haven't messed that one up too much. Look, Kat, that one's all right. Orange. It's all right. Keep going through for this, keep going through. It's a Scott birthday deal. It's only till midnight, by the way, or until they sell out. Yeah, we only had 60 opportunities as well, so not a lot. How many? 60. Oh, no, they'll go. 60 they'll euro. Go. Okay, we're going to come back to this one in a second, so I'm going to pass okay. you. I'll quickly do that. We'll show the that. last one when we come no. back to it. Yeah, that, that. Give me those, and you take those. Say this one. Right, so these are also made by the same people. These are oh, no. Hoffman uh, layer cakes, 10 inch squares. How much are we saving on this one then, please, Scott? Uh, oh, sorry, admin, I'll, I'll hold those. My admin suggests yeah. we're taking 20 pounds off that price. 
69.98. Brilliant. Now, these are gorgeous. Delphine has used these in a lot of her projects as well. Now, on the website, I think they've taken the picture and it's just the green one, the purple. You think you get the whole thing. But look at all the colours. Oh, excuse me, the colours you get in here. This is Ambrosia and this is Rainbow Sweets. When we first introduced these, they both sold out in minutes on the day that we launched them. And that was without a discount, without a Scott discount. Nowhere near this price. No. Um, very nice that they fold up the corner so you can see them all. Well. It like is. That. It is. Clever. So you can see all the colours, which means we'd have to open them all yeah. sort of thing. And then Beautiful. we just put them everywhere and, and then, what, what? then we just put them everywhere and make it look a mess. Yeah, exactly. But again, they're batik. So it's also to show you that this is the same on both sides because yeah. most fabrics would be white on the back, wouldn't they? So if you're doing confetti quilting, applique, anything like that, they're gorgeous. Single figures on this bundle already. I keep my off, off your list. Tick off my list. Tick off my list. Tick off my list. Beautiful. Keep going through. £69.98 pence today. Are you Gorgeous. Both? Mm. Oh yeah, no, use both because you can use both them together. Look, you can use both those two two colours together. When we sold them originally, they were separate, and we didn't give you a discount like that. You get eighty pieces in total here for sixty nine ninety eight. Again, they normally work out at like a pound each, don't they? The ten inch squares, just over a pound. Oh, that's the other thing we need fixing. The desk moved the, then, didn't it? it yeah. It's the locks are Not on, but on. it keeps moving. Yeah. Oh. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. 69.98. These are all going to sell. These are going to go. Beautiful. Keep going through for that now. Oh, you're right, Cat. Cat needs a plaster. Oh, no. Thanks for trusting us on that one. 69 pound and 98. Pounds. I know. I know. Brilliant, isn't saving. it? Gorgeous. Brilliant, saving. So, what? Are you going to a party? Are you having a party? Uh, no. What am I doing? Uh, just dinner tonight, dinner at home, and then going for dinner Saturday night. So oh yeah, where uh, kids are with uh, mother-in-law. Oh nice! Gonna, oh lovely! So yeah, so we're gonna go for dinner Saturday night. I do anything with the kids as well. Uh, yeah, so tomorrow we'll be like going in wherever. So we're going out tomorrow. So we're going to for the day. So I'm off work tomorrow. So we're going to Broadway for the day. Oh, all around. Well, because you normally have Thursdays off, don't you? Tuesdays and Thursdays, and Saturdays <laughs> and Sundays. I'm always here. I'm always here. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Right. Moving on. <laughs> right. I've got st two starter kits coming up next. Which one do you want to do first? Headline gold first. Now this is. Hi everyone. We're going to the lowest ever price on this. Who are you waving at? Just the, just everyone. Okay. So just what we've got everyone. here then? Just everyone. That's not a panini. Ooh, I'm quite pecky. I know I am. But <laughs> well, you tried doing five hours. I went for breakfast this morning. I'm still right, Hang on a sec. So this is forty nine. Already, this is a brilliant price. Let's just go through it before you do anything. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Right. Because you get a self-healing cutting mat, right? Which I'll do it from upstairs, do it from upstairs. So you've got inches on this side, and it's the hemline gold, and then on this side here, you've got all the centimetres. Self-healing mat, right? Then you also get this ruler, the hemline laser cut ruler. You can't really see it there, but it's got all your inches and all your increments on there. Then in here is that gorgeous gold rotary cutter. Is it in that? Is it that in there? I don't no. think we've got one in here, no. No. Oh, what? As the desk moves. <laughs> Can you imagine just sliding yeah, away over? Yeah, that will happen. Right, okay, before you do anything, don't do anything, don't do anything. Open it, open it, open it. The rotary cutter, we've got a price comparison just for the rotary cutter on its own. It's not a panini. Not the panini, that's why you can open it. Look, 20 pounds. 20 pounds for the, that's it. Beautiful, now that there, uh, elsewhere, just for this, is 20 pounds ignore the, that ignore that that on its own is 20 pounds so you can elsewhere so you can see oh. that 49.99 is a good price this doesn't feel right why what are you doing the price we're about to say the price that's about to cut i'm about to say really doesn't feel right when you just show me that it's 20 pounds just for that alone um today because it's my birthday 24.99 has he said the wrong price yeah. hannah says you've said the wrong price Sorry, Hannah, I've said it now. I have to commit to we've that. We've never, we have ever. never, we have done discounts on this before, as a, a, like on special days, that we have never gone to 24 90. Right, okay, okay. So you get all three, remember? You could go to the other no. shop and pay £20 just for this. Not just the one, all three of them, £24.99. Uh, we didn't have many, John. We only had 34, so I don't think that's going to oh, last. Oh, no, that won't last. £24.99. Now, you can either, half the shop's gone already, there you go. Now, you can either keep it all for yourself presents because people go on the internet and look at this they're gonna think oh she spent 20 pounds oh. well you spent 20 pounds on me for that but you how much is a ruler like that <laughs> of course you do <laughs> oh, do you really you of course you do i don't how much do you do that 
Yeah, Hannah leaves the labels on so I don't have to do it. I've done that occasionally though. I do leave the label on just to see. Yeah. I did that for somebody. I bought them a camera once, right? And it was a really expensive camera. She wanted my assistant. It's really expensive. And she just went like that. She went, oh, camera. Just threw it on the desk. And I'm like, look at the price tag. Look at the price tag. I, I walked in this morning into the office with two, three presents from people. I didn't expect it at all. Oh, who from? Uh, well, I won't give it away because that's, that's, that's not really fair. It'll make you all feel bad, won't it? No. I'll look for mine after. And you can have yours. Oh, I'll bring it to dinner on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> you can have yours. Um... No, no, I'm just thinking, so I'll, I'll open my invite to the dinner on oh, Saturday yeah, course, night. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Me, you and your missus. Yeah, my one, my one night off. John's there. Hi, John, you're all right. One night off. <laughs> Single figures now. Right, but, 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 right, this is important. The single figures left, but there's over 30 people got in their baskets, so loads of you are going to miss out yeah. on that, on that Scott deal. And we can't say we're going to bring that back at that price. No, not at that price. Not no. at that price, no. That's a very special. Special for today. Right, graphics out. Right. right. Oh, yeah, put that on there. Put that because there. I've got go. this one now. Okay. The other starter kit. Just different my, size ruler, different size up. mat. It's all different. But this one, this one, this one. This one's perfect for if you go to classes, if you go to the caravan, if you go to the holiday home, anything like that. This is brilliant. Or starter kit for something you know that might work. Look at the price. Look at the price. Look at the price. And that's not the lowest price. No. Let's go for it. Twelve ninety nine. Okay. The right. Price okay. Ever been to. Okay. Twelve ninety nine today for manager special. It's not manager special. It's, it's not manager special. It's birthday, birthday special. Deal. I'm getting confused. It happens with your age. I just did it. I'm getting older and now I can't uh, talk. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Before we get all carried away here. I've got carried away already. How much do you pay for a 45 millimetre rotary cutter? That's more than 12. Oh, 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 I, one of the cheapest ones you've ever seen. 12.99, I'd say. 11.99, maybe 12.99. Then you've got the ruler. Now, we had this size ruler earlier, didn't we? The six and a half. And then you've got your cutting mat. Self-healing cutting mat, inches, and uh, this is just such a brilliant buy. For £12.99? Yeah. Okay, we've got a comparison. It's not a direct comparison. Okay, this is a Millwood one I'm going to show you, and this one's quilted bare, but have a look at this. It's the same principle. Should be £36.99, and they've reduced it to £31.99. Now I have to say, I think when we first ever did this back in the back in the day, they were in that they were thirty pounds. We thought they were fantastic price then. Yeah. But nineteen ninety nine is a fantastic price. Twelve ninety nine is a ridiculous Even price. Better. It is isn't ridiculous it? price. Do you know what? Wait, I need you to go upstairs and write down the way because when you come to look at my figures later on mm. in a few months' time, they'll go, oh it, well. <laughs> and it's not, I made all them to write next to it. It wasn't me and Hannah Remember that did, did it. Yeah, we do talk a lot about it on a Monday when we go through how the week's been. Yeah, we just exactly. Go, what, 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 what was he doing? doing? What were they doing what in that last hour? Doing? What happened on that Thursday? What were Hannah and John doing? Well, I want hey. my, your name put on the, on no, the graphics. 12 o'clock on that Thursday. What were they doing? Yeah. Well, it was supposed to be 8 o'clock, wasn't it, this morning? But somebody didn't come in. Did I had a lion, didn't I? I didn't. I went for breakfast. I thought, now hang on, get your stories right, because you told me when you were on the other day you had to take the kids to school. I took the kids to school and then we went for breakfast. But then you ju I just said to you, you take them out of school tomorrow, you went, oh, they're not at school yet. They're at school today. Nursery today. See, if you tell a fib, you have to tell a fib and Tuesday keep it and going. Tuesday and Thursday nursery. Yeah. Tuesday and Thursday nursery. I dropped them at school this morning. Okay. Nursery. John knows everything about my life, more than I know about my life. I don't. I feel like you remember. I, I, the trouble is, me and Hannah, we may not be academically bright. Well, no, Hannah is academically bright. That's why the, she's, oh no, no. She's doing, you know, she's doing an MA, right? In a spot. Yeah, yeah. Every single, I say this all the time, I'm like a proud dad. Every, I know it's Scott's birthday, but I can talk about you. Um, well, talk about every you, single assignment she's done, she's got, what's that higher than the best, you know, highly commended yeah, and things well like done, that. Well done, Hannah, well done. I, I know, she's brilliant. Anyway, yeah. that's nothing to do with it. What was, what was I saying? Oh yeah, we remember, here's another crisis comparison, I'll tell you about this. Buy Millwood, look, £39.30 or should be £42.90. It's just, I know, same thing, same thing. Different make, different make. But we do remember everything. And I only have to mention something, Hannah goes, is that when you went Good to... memories. Yeah. I have a terrible memory. Yeah, see, disco dancing in Barcelona. Yeah, I feel like I've even heard that about the disco dancing in Barcelona. I feel like that's a common theme. Oh, is it? Yeah, I feel like I've heard it when I'm on here. I'm not sure about that one, but I feel like I've heard a few Which one did she, I can't hear. What did she say that time? <laughs> Something about a raincoat. Oh no, the plastic Mac. Yeah. I went to a party in a see-through plastic Mac. Nice. No, it wasn't, because by the time we were at the theatre, I got to the bar. You know it was see-through. 
Pardon? Do you know it was see through or it just. No, no, well, I went to the bar, it was the theme yeah. of the party. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, but by the time I got to the bar and got my gin and tonic, it had sweated, it had all sweated and condensated, and my whole body came out in pimples. So I had to go back to the costume department, <laughs> oh, no. and I went to this party with a theme <laughs> as a carrot. Anyway, 20, what, 12 99 The carrot costume is brilliant. I'll, brilliant. I'll show you a picture. What? Yeah, what's the theme? I can't tell you what the theme of the party was. <laughs> yeah. I was is naked that, in, in a plastic book? mac and then a carrot. Is that story in your book? No. Should be. Well, next one? Next one. Twelve ninety nine. <laughs> You'll be in the next one. Yes. Will I actually? Yeah. I'll have to you find the this. photos though. Twelve ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, loads of these have gone already. And now I've been at a ridiculous price. And because we crashed it, it'll go back up at midnight, remember? When Scott's birthday, when he turns into a pumpkin at midnight tonight. <laughs> this is a perfect introduction, though, as well, isn't it, John? If you've got somebody that just wants to dip their toe into beginning, this yeah. is at 12 pounds Perfect, perfect, amazing. perfect. And also, like I say, if you go away to the caravan or the lodge or, or any, mm -hmm. any old treat or something like that, perfect to slip into your suitcase and your bag, that one. Yeah. Message Easy to on travel the around with. Hello. A very happy birthday, Scott. I hope you have a lovely day and thank you so much for the discounts. Nora from Clackmanninshire in clack Thank you She's done much. it phonetically for me today, yeah. look. clack Manansha. Aww. Thank you very much, Norma. Keep going through, keep going through. Taking that one out. Where are we going next? Got some pens. What are these then? Oh, hang on, hang on. Which is the open one, Cat? Only one? came back into stock very recently. Yes, they did. This one's the open one. We're going to open back here. Right, now look, good little you see, look, like you get, they, they come in a little case like that, which turns it, you take the top off and it turns into a stand. Now, normally, these are the non-clicky ones, look, so there you go, you take the top off, they've got the pen, at the, the rubber at the end there, because it's friction, but you can take these off by using an iron. Now, they're usually, right, first of all, that price is too low, because if you buy them individually, low. they're £4 each, aren't they? Okay, we can do a price comparison with ourselves. I like those ones. Those ones are the good ones. Here we go. Oh, there you go. There you okay. go. Three ninety nine. I was a penny out. So they're three ninety nine normally on their own. And when you buy one on your own, you don't get the little case for it to stand in on your desk, right? right? So that would be twelve pounds. But then we've reduced it already to ten ninety nine. And today, eight ninety nine. Birthday special. Midnight. Where does it go, John? At the Oasis. <laughs> Goes back up at midnight, eight ninety nine. Friction pens or friction. Now friction. you know we always say this though. Always test your fabric beforehand because it it will go off with an iron. But sometimes on black fabric, some black fabrics it leaves a shadow. And also, uh, this is something that all fr uh, all friction pens do is if it gets really really cold again, the line can come back. So if you put it in the fridge, not that you're going to put your quilt in the fridge, but if you go somewhere really cold, the line could come back. But no, one lady was in their caravan oh, in Scotland and all the lines came back because it was so oh. cold. <laughs> and another lady did a gorgeous quilt. She wrote all her friction, did her quilting, sent it in, sent it in the hold of the aeroplane. When it oh, got yeah, to, the, uh, to Canada, when it got to Canada, they opened it and oh, all the right. lines were back. But yeah. you don't have to worry about it everyday How life. It's fine. In there. Get your iron out. Get your iron on them. I'm all here for this. this is, I, I love things like this. I love it when they just think of like little things that just make it even better. Oh, the little case yeah, But But case. also, 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 it's, it, it's brilliant because you don't just have to use them on fabric. You use them on paper. Just don't use it like a project and, and yeah. then put it through a laminator or something like that. Yeah, quick math. Oh, that oh yes. Uh, hang on. They're oh, I said over 12, but they're £4 each, aren't they? Four. Yeah, 16. Four fours are 16, aren't they? Do you put me off then? <laughs> yeah, no, my math is normally spot on to and I was like, I'll just do a check And as you said, you don't get the case. No. And now you get the case that stands up perfectly for £8.99. Yeah. And then if you don't want the case, just take it off like that. Yeah. Put it back on there. It's perfect. And give that, you can gift the case afterwards. Gift the case, yeah. Always think it. <laughs> Thanks, Hannah. Throw that Hannah away. said to me, she's already got my birthday present. Thanks, a case, a friction pen case. You can't, well, you can't then Google that to see what the price is, can you? How much would this case have cost? Oh, no. You can't work it out, though, no. can you? Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, she's just giving me random things from her house now, so I can't Google them. Well, I wouldn't know they were from my house because I've never been invited in, have I? Even when we had a car crash, she didn't oh, really? invite me in. She sent me a packing. Someone <laughs> bumped me. How much did it cost me to have that fixed? Just make you wait outside instead. No, you can wait there. You're no, not no, allowed. no. We were crashed. We stopped at the roundabout. I said to her, "Take pictures of it. Take pictures of it." She was like, "Oh." And then, and then the, the family went off. He'd given me a wrong phone number. Didn't oh, even give no. me the. They were off to a wedding. The wife was swearing at us and everything. And anyway, then I got to Hannah's house. Dropped her off. She went, oh, "Bye then." <laughs> and I was like, "You carry on. You carry on." Right. Okay. Take the graphics out. Eight ninety nine. You're not coming in. 
Keep going through for those. Keep going through for those. Keep my admin ticking on. Yeah. Keep that on there. Oh. You're taking them over there, are yeah, you? Yeah, keeping okay. them there. Just Which one am I doing next? Away. Okay, hang on a sec. Cat's just got to get it for us. Right, so what's this? You get two design rolls, two jelly rolls. Right, they're not random. These are the two that you get. So they're called... Oh, I've got a name on there. Normally, they cost £100 or £97.88. So hang on, we've got... Oh, it's Janet Clare! This what? Could... There she is. That's what a is Janet there? Clare one. What are you doing that for? I knew that one there. Katie. Is it Katie? Kathy, Kathy Schmidt's that Kathy one. Kathy Schmidt. Uh, right, so these should cost you £97. Oh, Janet Clare pounds. in there, right? Janet Clare. Now, the other thing about Janet Clare you need to know before you do a price, Scott, is when she does a range of fabrics, they make, they print up and make jelly rolls and everything. That's it. They never, ever, ever do reprints. Oh, okay. So we cannot get. Once they've all sold out, Astra. Is, and she said, even she's only got a few bits of it at home now. So that's it. So just remember that because we can't I remember that, that when I this 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 number that's yeah. supposed to. I'll remember yeah. that. And then when we say that number, then are you going to say the number? Are you going to say that number? Thirty pound discount. We're going to sixty-seven pounds and ninety-eight pence. No. Scared everybody then, didn't I? Sixty-seven ninety-eight for two jelly rolls. For two jelly rolls. This is the other one here. Now obviously yours won't look like this when it comes, but this is our own. Well no, because once you've opened them, that's yeah, what happens you, you can't really you fold can't, them back You can't get again. it back to that, no. that precise level. Well you can if you've got two forks yeah, and a friend. Right. Apparently you do. Well, to us. Okay, well, that, okay apparently. maybe. I'm trying it in my head now to figure out how that works. Yeah, I've never tried it. No. Uh, uh, I've tried most things. Anyway, 67.98. Gotta be honest, two forks and a friend sounds like something. Yeah. Or oh, is it one fork and two friends? I can't remember now. But both, both of those things sound like something I wouldn't want to Google. No, it was two forks because you have to put. The, yeah, you wouldn't Google it. No, 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 don't no, 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 no. Especially, when not work, especially not on a work computer, guys. No, no. <laughs> when Paul Demers is in, you can you can Google it then because obviously it's fine. What on his computer? Yeah, sixty-seven pounds and ninety-eight pence. You get both of these. Remember, I'm not going to open the Janet Clare one. So Astra. <laughs> Astra, <laughs> and you've got the beautiful red, white, and blue one there. Now, this is brilliant. This is American, this one, but there's only a couple that give it away that and it's red, American. Blue, yeah. well, the rest of them, like these, are just beautiful, beautiful yeah. really quilt nice. patterns and stripes and reds and grudges. But then that yeah. one's obviously got American yeah. writing on it there. Yeah. Say that again, Ham. 12. Only 12. Okay, how can you hear her? I'm hearing. Oh, because you're 34 and I'm, I'm 63. I'll turn it up a little bit, to oh, okay. honest, so I am quite loud. That's fine. Yeah. No, 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 it's fine. It's because there's lots going on. It's got to get overexcited here. <laughs> Under the desk. Anyway. Uh, um, Diana. <laughs> single figures left. <laughs> now even I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I do apologise if you're having your lunch and that's put you off your lunch. <laughs> if you're having chipolatas and chips for your lunch. Right. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, D Dinah, oh, Dinah, you're right, Dinah, you're right, I got it wrong, I had oh. it up wrong, you're right, Dinah, thank you. Uh, oh, God. John, you didn't tell Scott what you were wearing under the <sighs> Mac. Oh. Yeah, no, th that's uh, probably not best to talk about that after what I've just suggested. Yeah, after yeah, just God. suggested, no, I'm, yeah. Anyhow, anyway, single figures, guys, please check out. 67.98. Uh, you see, we needed the little gosh, Deldre um, what time is it? vacuum. Uh, oh, hang on, what time is it? Oh, got ages to go, yeah? yeah. And Hayley said we had to go slowly. I'm scared about what might come out anyway. Anyway, what's that picture of? Yeah, what are we doing now? We're oh, what's on. that picture of? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's gone to pot, guys. We've all gone to pot. I broke everyone. Right, okay. So let's give Sorry, that, sorry no, John. You, that's you, right. You, you do what you need back. to do. Thanks. Kat. We're moving on, I think. Yes, we are. You've got a preview then of what it was. You're not getting cat, but you Could are you, getting. I know, I know it's live television. Can we delete just a little segment? Yeah, that won't go out. That edit bit that, won't go edit out, yeah. that bit out. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take out the yeah. end of the desk bit. Don't put well. that on YouTube and everything else. No, exactly. Just, yeah. Right, what have we got here? Cotton, cotton, and that's just. That's your 70. They're both cottons. They're both cotton there. And that's your 70 weight for your top stitching. There you go. So 52 97 is how much you'd buy all these three for. £10 off though. £42.97 today. Oh, right. These are your cotton threads. These are really, really, for everyday sewing, brilliant. This, These here are 70 weight. So they're lovely for your top stitching detail, for your decorative stitches. I wouldn't put them in my bobbin. I'd just have them in the top and have a bobbin fill or a normal thread in the bottom because they can't be... 
Works out less than £1.50 a sport, but these are more expensive normally than those anyway. Yeah, generally £1.50 each. Well, these are two pa these are two pounds each. If you bought these individually, they're one ninety nine each, aren't they? Those normally Gutman threads there. Oh no, they're more than that because it's the cotton. It's the cotton one. Sorry, I'm talking about the polyester one. So yeah, you're getting a really good buy there. Forty two pounds and ninety seven pence. You get all three of those together, and look at the array of colour. All the threads, all the colours you can need there. The rainbow of threads, and then these beautiful variegated um, decorative and top stitch ones there. I would think this will be another sellout, John. We couldn't get many. We could only bring 12. I oh, believe. no, that's not enough. So, ooh, unfortunately, yeah. we're £10 off today as well, to £42.97. Keep going through it. Are you going on cardboard this afternoon? Cardboard. I'm, I will be on Hobbymaker this yeah. afternoon, yes. Yeah. Cardboard. Oh, Wait yeah. until John's on there. On if you call it cardboard, when, we'll get well, you I'm on air. We'll get you They've on never Hobbymaker. Asked me. You've never asked me. I've offered, you've never asked. I'm I going as a guest. I'm going as a guest on Jewelry Maker. You are over the birthday event. On the birthday you? week, yeah. yeah. I know, Wayne. As a guest, not as a day. presenter. As Wayne a guest. says to me the day. Yeah. Guesting. Mm. But you are, you've got too many people on Hobby. You've got Princess Cena, Princess, Princess Cena, the warrior, haven't you? And they don't need me. What? Amazon, Amazon, Long River. One thread of your green cotton. No, that's silk and cotton, that one, Hannah. That was, ignore that, ignore that one, ignore that one. That one's got silk in it. Ignore that one. Oh, okay, okay. So apparently it hasn't got any silk in. Hasn't got any message, silk in. Message them, Hannah. You tell them. Yeah. You tell Amazon. So, okay, on. then. So the straightforward natural cotton thread from uh, the Long River. Four pounds. Well, work out. Oh, oh, you did you cut me up there when I was talking to Hannah, sorry. <laughs> Forty-two ninety-seven. Keep going through, keep Single going through, keep left. going through. Please do keep checking out. Yep. Well we got we got fifteen minutes. Fifteen yeah. minutes about right. How many, we've got minutes. a couple more things to do, haven't we, Hannah? How many is on the list? My I'm out of my admin. I'm admin out. Oh, have you used all your paper? No, as in like I'm ticking everywhere. Oh, I'm just okay. I've lost my order. Right, that's fine. Try and keep my admin up. I've lost my order. Where are we going next? Multi mats, that's these. Now, just in the one colourway today. I've not seen these before. A multi mat. A multi yeah, I just wonder why it said hand wash only. That was all, because the silk ones are hand wash only. So they've obviously got their things wrong, haven't they? Yeah. This is cool. I know. Do you know what I this like is? This. So this is four in one, right? Pressing mat. Yeah. So you can pin, and okay. you can pin on there. Yeah, pins in, yeah. Open it here. You've got a cutting mat, so you can use your rotary cutter. Lovely. Then in here, oh, I didn't you've got we had um, a... sandpaper. So when you put your fabric down on that and you want to draw a line, the fabric doesn't move and yeah, slip yeah, and everything. Yeah, and so when you use a pencil, the, the roughness of the sandpaper through the fabric makes it draw a really lovely okay, line. Love but it. also if you need to put blocks out, if you've got like lots of half square triangles and you're trying out a block, you put it there, then you put that over it and you can travel with it in there. Perfect to carry around all sorts. Oh no, now already at 19.99, these are good because these are normally more than 19.99. Uh, uh, you know, I've seen them a lot more than that elsewhere. What are you doing then? Now that my admin's out the window, I think I heard fourteen ninety nine. Oh, I think I remember that price is right. Okay, was she right? For? We'll see. see. Fourteen ninety nine. Now Could Emma Bradford yes. never does a show without these, does she? At fourteen ninety nine, at the four in one pad, it's brilliant. It's fantastic. Just the stripey one. So Diane's saying, oh, that's, thank you, Scott, because that thread bundle will go beautifully with the 20 metre fabric bundle you got at the beginning of the hour. You're welcome. Perfect, there you go. So 14.99, <laughs> stop trying to stretch my hand. 14.99. <laughs> oh no, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Keep going through for this. This is how yours arrives, all beautifully wrapped up like that. Did you have no messages about what I inappropriately? No, no. No, okay, no. got away. Got away with that one. Inappropriate doesn't come through here. Got away with that one. Oh yeah, okay. you two are so naughty today, I love it. Oh, okay. So it's Max. I thought I might have got away with it. Thanks Max yeah, for fine. referencing. At uh, 14.99. Right, uh, now. I believe we're over to uh, a bit of Alice Caroline now. I was about to say, first yeah. of all, these are brand, not brand new, but I launched these last week. Secondly, we do not do discounts on the Alice Caroline um, Pre-cuts. They're we not pre-cuts. Look, they're, they're now. What do I, what, that. should I? How many should I have? Yep, yeah, there they are. There they are. There they are. Yeah. Here you go. Right. So in here, 
This is a new laser cutter they've got, right? So they do hearts, they do butterflies, they do stars. And last time uh, Anna was on, we did uh, hexes, right? You get 80 hexes in each packet, right? They're not these just one colors because I'll show you. Now, one of these will be rainbow and one of these will be blue. <laughs> one of them's pink and one of them's blue. Okay. Conscious of time, shall we, uh, shall we take that? We're going to Wait. 32 pounds and 98 pence. How much are you going to? 32 pounds and 98 <gasps> pence, seven pounds off. Right, look. Oh, hang on, I'm in the right place. Bruce will get Just a little bit, there you go. Again, Only right. a little bit over. So what it is, you get 10 of each, well, I'll show you this, right? It's great, isn't it? Good so look, now. you get 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In ten. each little pile. So you get, oh, yeah, you get ten of those. Okay. You get ten of those. They're the same size. Ten of those, ten of those, ten of those, ten of those. And then we have the little size here. Ten of those. So you get 80 in total. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 in that packet. And then you get 80 of the blues <laughs> in that packet. All different shades, that's all different shades of blue. And this is supposed to be all different shades of pinks, but I'd say that was more rainbow. Did you say you launched these the other day? Literally, last when week. Anna was on last, we launched oh, yeah. these. Yeah. Oh, amazing. And then here we are on the birthday, back in, yeah, birthday they, show. Now, the thing about these is that Tana Lawn, they're from Liberty. Now, Alice Caroline has a, 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 works in conjunction with Liberty. And some of the fabrics in here, she's taken the Liberty print and she's coloured them up in her own colours. So literally, you can't get them anywhere else apart from Alice Caroline and Liberty. And some of them you can't even get in Liberty because she has sole right over some of them. It's brilliant. So some of those will be not available in Liberty shop. Right here, got William Morris bundle coming up next. Let me, I'll take that away. Yeah. There you go. Right, so what's this then? Oh, look at this. Four half meters of quilting weight now we've gone back to quilting weight fabric now four half meters this shouldn't be <laughs> this shouldn't be <laughs> yes exactly yeah now we had this bundle scott sorry the other day that's literally literally hannah was de that's probably the it's probably the most forceful i've heard hannah she just went i built this the other day yes Why but, are you doing this? but it Why? sold completely well at 30 pounds and 96 pence at eight o'clock in the morning this is beautiful. You've got your Michaelmas there. Oh, they're just stunning. Look at this. This is from Minerals, I think, this one, isn't well, it? Mor oh, no. Uh, this is Standen there. That one's called Poppy. Then you've got this one here. Oh. Mineral. That one's Mineral. That's pure... S I know you built it perfectly well, Hannah, and it did perfectly uh, perfectly well for your for everything, but £5 coming off today. £25.95. 96 pence. There we go. 25 96. <laughs> 25 Hannah's 96. Not happy about this. No, one. she's not. She's telling us. It's a moment to That's Golden Lily. Turn talk back off. Yeah, you've got your cream sunflower. Oh, they've given them different names to what they really are. They've given, haven't they? Uh, what's that one called? Grey four leaf. It's not. Grey four leaf. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> And Poppy and Cream, that's Grateful Poppy and Cream leaf. there. That's your, uh, that's your, um, too many people, too many people want that message. Happy birthday, Scott, enjoying your wicked humour. Uh oh. Thank you for your discount. You're both a breath of fresh air from Ellen in the Cotswold. Oh, you can Thank pop you in and see you. Yeah, I'll see you there tomorrow. Delightful. Um, I think that one's gone, sorry. Yeah, that one has gone, yeah. I think that might have just been Hannah. Hannah just put oh, them all in her basket. We're gonna make so Scott do so a they, demo. So they can do it again. Ooh, having a shave. <laughs> that's where it comes from. No, that's where it comes from. So, <laughs> we had a show up. with Sally Ann Harrison, and she said she always uses a beard trimmer to... I've heard that before. To Someone's unpick her stitches, before. right? Yeah. And then she bought one for me. The following time she was on, she bought one for me, and it was bright pink, and I was like, who wants a pink beard trimmer? Who on earth buys a pink beard trimmer? She went, ladies do. And went like that, and I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> anyway, so we, we didn't sell the beard trimmer. We found this, right? This Bridgewater stitch, uh, what do we call it? The embroidery uh, stitch, stitch, stitch remover. remover. Embroidery mistake removal tool. Yeah. 
Ooh. What? It's exciting, this. I didn't think I'd be bringing this to air today. This no, is not my original I. list. No, it's not no, on your list. No, it's not no. my original list. Okay. We have previously been to 29.99, I hear. Yes. However, it's a birthday special. I'm only here for an hour, just to give you some birthday deals. Seven minutes now. Seven minutes left. Yeah. We're gonna go to 26.99. Right, right, what you get, it comes in a box with a recharger, but you can use it already plugged in. It has a little brush. It comes with a little uh, empty <laughs> empty bottle. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> this is brilliant. So if you've got stitches that you need to unpick, let me show you close too, so Kat's gonna come in. Can we, this uh... side here is smooth. So your fabric is completely and utterly safe. It's not gonna get damaged. There's your little thing. Now if, you, if I just switch it on, can you see those moving very, very quickly from, there you go, from side to side. That's what uh, that's what cuts the stitches. But everything on this side here is completely safe. It's not gonna damage you or anything like that. Like a beard trimmer, because obviously you don't wanna cut your face up. Don't use this as a beard trimmer. But I'm just saying it's the same concept. And then literally, what you do, I haven't really got any stitches left on here to unpick. You can either do this and just take the top, look, you see how it just takes the top of the stitches off. And then, or you can open it up, go inside here and literally switch it on like that. And just run along there. Look and oh, it's another oh, perfect. Area. And look how it just unpicks your stitches. But if you don't have to just undo stitches with it, you know what? You know you if you. So you know you're in part of that baton twirling company in yes. uh, Birmingham, right? Yeah, and you yeah, moved yeah. out of Birmingham yeah. and you changed baton twirling, but yeah. your sweatshirt had the baton twirling for Kings Heath, didn't it? Yes, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And you needed to, and you, and you just gave it away, the, but you could have taken the embroidery and from the back off this from the back again. and gone again to your new could've, one. Could have, could have. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. do you know with your jeans? My jeans. When yeah, you get a process. hole in your knee, yeah. and you need a patch, and you want to take the patch pocket off the back. It's really difficult to get off. So easy with this. I could do that and then put We're moving okay. like that. Yeah? Yeah. Well. Wow. I'm removing what, Han? Could you do that? Share that. Oh, one. right. See, this is Hannah, that right? One, so Hannah. she this buys handbags in charity shops, undoes the stitching with this, not the metal, but the stitching with this, and then reuses them, puts them on a new handbag. We'll tell Lisa Lamb that. She could go and all the she could go through all the charity yeah, shops in again. Brighton. Yeah, that's not the quickest method for her, no, which it sells not, hundreds like she does. Probably not, but it's worth a try. Uh, 26 99 Which is the lowest ever price. Lowest ever price. It comes in a box, it comes beautifully packaged in a box. And I'm with a charger, and with a bottle that... Yeah, the bottle's empty if you to put your oil in, really. In, but now is... Right, that goes with that, that goes with that. Yeah, stitch, put that there, stitchy, put that stitch, there. Stitch right, remover. Uh, what's this doing in here, Kaif? Couldn't do a show without a cave. No, Brights, this one is. Fat water bundle. Oh, hang on. No. Straight to it, on and gone. 59 pounds and 99 pence. Not got long left, but want to bring everything to you. Okay, so uh, that's 60 pounds, that's three pounds. Does that make them three pounds each? Uh, you'll have to check my maths rubbish today. Yeah, he's got it wrong once already. Vorderman's got it wrong, so. How much are we saving? 25, 25 pounds. Yep, yeah, 25 pounds. I'm sure it works out then at three pounds. A fat quarter. Yeah, 2.9999999, three pounds a fat quarter. Sure does. For Kaif, in the brights, there's all the colors you're gonna be getting. Beautiful, aren't they? 100% cotton, beautiful Kaif. Well oversubscribed. We so that's gone. Well oversubscribed. Is this the Thank last you. thing now? Birthday yeah. bubbles. Who doesn't want bubbles on a birthday? Right, hang on. So you just get three, do you, of this? You get three of these, they're the ones that are open. So these, are a two and a half inch wide strip, right? But they're continuous, but look. I love You're getting I like, I 36 really meters really in total. Look, you get the three different colorways. You get autumn leaves, autumn leaves. Uh, I'm forever blowing <laughs> bubbles beside the seaside and solid rainbow. I think that's the first time I've heard you sing. You obviously don't watch the channel very much then. I don't think, in my time with you on air, I don't think you've sung before. I oh, well, I've never felt this comfortable, have I? Yeah, there you go. It's, it's new. birthday it's treat. Yeah, I'll it's jump out of my birthday cake Little later sink. for you. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? How much are you hey, going to? £44.97. 36 metres. You can use it as binding. You can use it as sashing. I Look. really like this. It's nice, isn't it's it? And fun. then the colours, the colours do repeat every now and yeah, then. I love it. With really the little like dots it. on, they've all got dots on. We do do planes in this as well, but these are your uh, bubbles. Bubbles. Hannah says one pound twenty-four a meter. 
Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You're getting all three. No, no, hang on. You're only getting you three. You are getting three. It's that Mr. Sam. Yeah, they're the new the ones. Top. See, these ones we open and play with, they're the ones that get. Play around. £44.97. Yeah. Beautiful. 100% cotton. Message on the bottom. Uh, happy birthday. You missed your calling, Scott. You'd make a great presenter. Okay, Daniela, I'll go and be managing director. Oh, it's a winky face. She's joking. Yeah. Oh, she's, she's only doing that because you're it's pleasing on the eye. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's not. She doesn't really mean it. She does. She doesn't really mean it. They all mean it. They all love you. I Boys, I I'm a mountain day, biker. Though, you, will you be selling performance technical fabrics to make my clobber? We could try, no, don't we? No. Sounds Probably a bit niche, not. but we could try. Is there, a, is there such a thing as Sewing Street Anonymous? I've got to join it, says Julie. Happy birthday, Scott, says Sharon. I've been watching for months, and every time you've said Long River, I've gone looking for a website called Long River until the penny <laughs> just dropped now. <laughs> Honestly. That's Honestly. great. That's great. What has she found? Googling Long River. What do you find? Right, because well, we just said Amazon's about to. Right, that would be quite clever to, to own the um, URL for Long River. Yeah. Yeah. Thinking. Where everyone anyway. an Earl is. Right. Stri uh, stripper. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> it's time to go home. <laughs> We've only got a few minutes left, guys. Yeah. Sorry. Stitch remover. We'll have to come off air. Are we taken off air? Yeah. We'll be gone soon. <laughs> Should be $34.99. He's taking it to $26.99 as a birthday special. Only available until midnight tonight. £26.99. Well, no, or, or, or if they sell out first. Oh, yeah. Because if they or go first, we'll put more in the stock. That could happen. No. No more coming. $26.99. Which one? The green one. Yeah. Very quickly, and we'll just re we'll the remind you about this one. Oh, Perfect you're not you the price of this. The price of this. Remember twelve ninety nine. Yeah, twelve ninety nine. Try getting a rotary cutter of that size for twelve ninety nine. Can't forget that price. Was no. nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, but nineteen ninety nine is too cheap anyway. That's already a fantastic price. Okay, please be careful because 20 of you got these in your baskets. 80 have gone. We've got to do tomorrow's menu very quickly. I'm not until next Wednesday, so I think it must be Vicks tomorrow. It is. Right, Vicks. so she's got fabulous fabrics at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, the birds and the bees quilt. Row three with Becky Alice under frost. Tools you'll love at 10 o'clock. 10.30 on the go bag with Becky Alice under frost. And then at 12 o'clock, sewing room tools. Right, thank you, Scott. Have a Enjoy. lovely, lovely birthday. Not back to Wednesday. Look at that. That's a nice little break. What are you up to? I don't know. They just didn't want me. They're phasing me out, did you not know? <laughs> That's not, that is not happening, by the way. Um, what are you up to? What are you doing? Anything nice? uh, I can't tell you. Oh, anyway, oh, I'm going to a birthday oh. party on Saturday night. Oh, are you? Is it fancy dress? No, be get sure. That, get that Mac back out. Oh, no, I don't think it would go around me anymore. Look, we've got to go. Thanks for your company. Make sure you check out your baskets. <laughs> now, what time are you on cardboard later? Uh, two and five. Two, oh, it's a long day for you then. I know it is. Blimey. It? Uh, I'll see you next Wednesday. Have a lovely weekend and everything. Uh, thank you so much, Who Scott. Who am I waving at? Uh, see you, bye. <laughs> see you later.